also, I'm not sure what little Paul's up to. If you walk past his desk, there's boxes and boxes and boxes of like control underwear. You know, like I want to say Spanx, but it's not Spanx, it's a different make, you know what I mean? But that underwear, loads of it all around his desk and everything. I don't know. Don't know what he's up to. He's obviously looking forward to the Christmas party. Right, yeah? Make him stand better as well, wouldn't it? Make him stand a little bit taller. YSUI72. I'm going to have to go in a minute. I'll do these last three and then I'm going. Static clouds, this one on move. You'll have to stop wearing your high heels at work. Well, no, I have my big workman's boots on because we were in prep. Uh, anyway, 2 99 2 Right, two more and then a break. All the others that are in pre-order after the show, they won't be done till after the show, they'll all be crashed as well, won't they, Ben? Afterwards, yeah, because there's too much to do in the break and everything. Oh, love this one. Is this one... Oh, sorry, sorry, I didn't give you the number. Yeah, oh, 09, yeah. Uh, yeah. Static clouds in pink, yeah. You know where it's going? 2.99. Fabulous. Did you fall, John? No, I didn't fall. I tripped. There's a difference. They obviously thought, they tested me for, they, they made me do that, that when I got to the hospital. And can you lift this arm? Can you lift that arm? Can you lift this leg? And I went, it's my head. It's my head. But anyway. Anyway, look, they were fantastic. I'll say, have nothing said against the NHS. They were brilliant. Hannah kept texting me saying, why don't you just go to Costa? And I was like, um, it's not that kind. Kind of A&E department. Oh, sorry, number. 83, yeah. And then they're going for a break after this. This is a lilac floral. Lilac flower should be 5 99 2 .99. 2 .99. Go and check my Facebook. You'll see all the details on there. 2 99 I know it wasn't filmed. People have asked if they can see the footage. It wasn't filmed. However, yesterday, I realised there's a camera... In that studio there, exactly where... Because it didn't happen in this studio, it happened in that studio there. There's a camera exactly where I tripped, right? So if somebody switched that on by accident, then it would have all been on. It would have all been on. You'd have seen Hannah stamping her feet and going looking for the accident book. You'd have seen Becky as white as a sheet, just passing me tissues like this. I know. It's all right. I'm all right, though. I'm all right. Right, we, oh, morning, Susan says, morning, everyone. I'm back in Norfolk for Christmas with the family. Oh, how lovely. Right, graphics out. Uh, don't go anywhere. Straight after break, Delphine is here. Oh, look at what we're doing. We've got, the, the, we've got repeat of the cushion that she did before. That one. And that's all uh, jute and, and calico and everything and felt. And we've got this one in denim. Beautiful. Don't go anywhere. We'll see you in four minutes from now. Merry Christmas, everybody. Um, thank you ever so much for all the support that you've given me in 2022. And I cannot wait for 2023 to bring you all the new designs on Seven Street. Happy New Year, everybody, and have a fantastic Christmas from me, Becky Alexander Frost. Bye. Are you a fan of Sewing Street? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing community. See you there! Hi everyone, I'm Delphine Brooks. I've been part of the Sewing Street family now for over a year and it's been the most incredible journey so far. Some of you may already know that I like all things sewing, anything from quilting to toy making, needle felting and of course applique which is my favourite. 
The best thing about being part of the show is being able to share with you my imagination and bringing you new ideas and new designs and patterns and seeing how you interpret those designs and make your own work and then sharing your images of those is the most rewarding part for me. I'm currently working on lots of new ideas and exciting projects that I cannot wait to bring to the show and share with you all. But in the meantime, take care everyone and happy sewing. Make sure you tune in this Thursday for the brand new launch of Liberty Fabrics. Join Vix and Susie Duncan for the next installment of the Flower Show collection with 15 designs available and fat quarter bundles. We'll be bringing a neutral palette of soft moss greens, buttercup yellows and pale blush pinks, which sit harmoniously against cooler greys and charcoals. Make sure you tuned in this Thursday at 9am on Sewing Street. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. If you're a Sewing Street customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Delphine's here. Say hello, Delphine. Hello. Oh, hang hello. on. There she is. There she is. Oh, there I am. Hello. Hang on. You have to wait because you have to press the button. You can't. Oh, hang on. okay. Hello, everyone. You come as Adamant today. Of what? As who? A Adamant had a top like that. Who's... Don't you know who Adamant is? No. Prince Charming. Prince Charming. <laughs> uh, well, it's huh? all trendy, all the military look now. Is it? Yeah. Oh. Well, according to Mint Velvet, it is. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm behind on the thing. Fashion guru, no. Right, I need to tell you something straight away. Both of the kits in this hour are absolutely flying out already. A third of the stock of this one's gone already and I haven't even shown you the graphics or anything. So Delphine was in on... Oh, I can't remember. She won't know. Bring the graphics in, we'll tell you what date they were. Right, so you get the kit to make this cushion. 1999. Say that again. Oh, is it, have we got, does it got different fabric in it from last time then? Mm. Right, let's just have a look. Let's just have a look because there's no history of it. Is it different fabric? No. Oh, no. Anyway, it's 19.99. We'll have to, if any of you know what date Delphine did this, can you text in? Because Ben's got no information on his computer and she, <laughs> she doesn't know what she was doing I, yesterday, I let alone. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, we'll, we'll look it up in a minute. What's the matter? Oh, it was done in November. November, says Becky. Anyway, it was on with me. Anyway, look, 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 look. So what you get, what you get in this bundle for your 19.99 is, here you go. So uh, you've got rustic home sheep cushion uh, instructions. Oh, overhead, overhead, overhead. Oh, it's because I've got so used to not having it. Can you come in closer though, please? Thank you. So you get the instructions in there and everything. We'll find you the date, because we're not going to demo this one today. We'll find you the date of, that we did it on. Then you get your uh, half a metre of calico. Then you get your felt, your three different felts there. You get your jute, uh, and you get your canvas, and you get the this, and you get the plaited. 
19 pounds and 99 pence that one 11th of november oh 11 11 oh that was it was it yeah i suppose that sounds yeah that rings a bell i think i was yeah i was in fact i was wearing this top because it was remembrance day and i didn't mention was it me me yeah i don't remember commenting on your top oh i'm sure though. you commented on something john you be careful your microphone doesn't rub on your um frogging oh yeah Anyway, we'll let you know. We'll let you know. Right, that's to make this. That's to make this. We're not doing a demo on this one today. That's to make this one at 19.99, right? Now, today's kit. Now, it's funny because during the show, I said to Delphine, oh, this is lovely in denim. And she kind of did this face at me like that. And afterwards, she went, the next design is made of denim. Look at this. Oh, it's only 16.99, this one. 16.99, right? How beautiful is that? So you can, you will get the kit, the bundle to make this. Let me show you for 16 99 So let's have a look at the instructions. First of all, let me get in the right place. There you go. So there's the instructions as always with Delphine's lots and lots of written instructions and picture instructions, everything you need to know there. And then there's all your templates and your placement guide, not to size, not to scale, all your bits that you need there. Everything you need is on there. That's your instructions. And then what you get in here is you get half a meter of your calico, which doesn't tell you how much, look, it just says calico. You get your felt, your white felt, and then you get your three fat eighths of denim, of the three different colored denim there for 16 99 Now these will be big fat eighths because the fabric's wider, look. Oh, yeah, look, that's a fat eighth. Normally they're about that big, aren't they, a fat eighth? So you get, because the fabric's much wider, you get a bigger fat eighth. So you get your three fat eighths, your calico, your felt, and your instructions, 16 99 Now you will, you will need to embellish with this, right? So I've got two bundles of embroidery thread. I think one's for one and one's for the other. So I'll do this one first. I think this one must be for the denim, which is 623, 6623. And you get a dark blue, a pale blue, and a white for four forty nine. Denim, yeah, denim rustic home. There you go. So that's for this one. That's for this cushion that I've just shown you. For the other cushion, I've got this one here, which is the six six five nine. That's for your other one. Sorry, I should have shown that when I was doing it earlier. Beautiful. And you'll need some bondweb. Now, if you might already have, in the last, in Delphine's last hour, we've got the big box of bondweb. But if you haven't, if you're just going to, if you've not done it before and you just want to try it out, then this is perfect. This is, this is big enough, isn't it? Yes. This piece here. 2 99 that's your bondweb. That's your fusible. Right, that's all I'm going to show you for now. We'll get on with the sewing and then I'll keep, I'll keep you up, up to date of how stock's going. Right. Okay, I'll put this back up here and just, if you need it, just grab it, Delphine. Okay, right, so where do we start then? Uh, right, so your instructions with your bundle web. So obviously you've got, these are the ones I've just printed off. So the only thing I really want to point out to you now is you've got three different hills on the back page. Uh, one is obviously the one in the foreground, one's the water, and the other one is the, um, I suppose, the sand in the, in the, um, in the foreground. So as you can see, they're all colour coded. So the re the, we've done it in a way, in fact, let me show you. So there's a little join on the template. So if I just, for example, choose the black one, this the hill that's in the background, what you'll do, draw on your glue side of your web, trace over one area, and then you'll see there's a dotted line like a little hash mark because the other part of it is at the bottom there so all you do is line up and then that will be one hill and then you've got you've got two others so just make sure that you match up on the hash line with the black to the black the red to the red blue to the blue perfect um donna says it was the 11th because i recorded it and princess says her 780 arrived yesterday it's huge i, I told you it would be I told you it would be Right. So that's that bit. So that's yes. the only thing. Everything else 
is really simple. Oh, so, okay then. So I'm going to put everything on. Yes. And then we'll go through different ways of embellishing it. Perfect, and, lovely. And also how to create those waves. Yes. Yeah, because that's fun. That looks like my jeans in 1982. That was the year I was born, John. 1992. <laughs> Were you born in 1982? I was, yeah. I was 22. <laughs> You're not to be my dad. I know, thanks. <laughs> Hang on. 82, where was I in 1982? Col uh, no, I wasn't in Mercury Theatre Colchester. 82 was a year. I, I just, oh, I'll tell you where I was. I was at Theatre Cluid in Mould. Just about to go to, or was it York? Yeah, just about to go to York Theatre Royal. That's wow. where I was. Anyway. Cocky me. So, you press your piece of calico. Do I have to cut the calico to a certain size? Yeah, yeah. Is there enough then in the half metre to do the back and the front of the cushion? There is. There is enough to do the back. Um, or you, you, you get so much denim. Oh, you can patch your back. That you can patch the back. So, um, I go through all of the instructions of the, the exact side I use the denim because, yeah, really, can I? Yeah, 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 yeah. Because really, even though you've got three denims, you've actually got six shades. Oh, of course. So I also use the back of the denims as well. Right. So if that's one, you see that they're two different shades. Yeah. And the same when I've done the water as well, I actually use the back because it's lighter. So. You've actually got six colours. Six different shades of blue, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. So I do go through the instructions of the exact shade for which one. So I talk about, you know, if you're wanting the dark side, you obviously press your bond web on the wrong side. But yes. I also talk about putting it on the right side to cut it out the okay. other way. Do you know what would be brilliant as well? It's once you've made this, you've got the pattern, you could use your old jeans. Yeah. If you're going to make another one, you could just use old jeans, old denim jackets, old, you know, upcycling it's called, isn't it? Yeah, and definitely yeah. keep hold of anything like that because, yeah. oh, your jeans are used for needle felting through or patchwork. Oh, do you? Yeah, yeah, because it likes, when you do needle felting landscapes, it likes um, a loose weave and denim is one of the best things. For I watched a bit to... of um, Kirsty's um, homemade Christmas last night. I only watched about five minutes of it because Nicholas Ball was on it. You know, lovely Nicholas Ball who's been on here. Anyway, um, I didn't see his bit because I've moved on by then, but they had three, four ladies making Christmas wreaths mm. and the first lady was a needle felting lady. Oh, really? Yeah. No, I haven't done it. She's making a donkey or something like that. I can't remember. I didn't watch it. But. I haven't done any for ages. I started a landscape back in the summer, but I've not done yeah. anything with it. Hers were like the 3 D sort of animal shapes and things. Oh, like. right, okay. Yeah. No, I'm more, I'm, a, I'm in 2D. Yeah. yeah. 2D. But then my friend Michelle, she makes all three, three, three D shapes and everything from it as well. Oh. It's the same thing, you just... You it's exactly the same, yeah. yeah. But you make it into round. Also, I've, uh, on, one, on a couple of the pieces, I quite like to use the raw edge. Oh, okay. So, cause Do you that, tell us that in the thing or yeah, not? Yeah, um, because when you put it on like that, it almost looks like there's the way... Oh, wow, question. yeah, straight away. Yeah. Clever, isn't it? That looks like when we go on holiday to Catalonia, if we sit on the balcony of our house, there's another island across the water. Yeah. And it's so lovely in the evening just to sit there and watch the water. Lovely. On yeah. the beach. On the, and you can't see any people or anything like that, but just to see the break, the break, the sea break, what do you call it? The waves breaking onto the rocks on the other island. Yeah, so it's going to be all about waves this morning. Yeah. We're going to, I'm going to show you little tricks of, if this is, yeah, obviously basic applique, but it's it's just teaching, uh, playing around with different materials. Yeah, exactly, exactly. And just making things. I really like a lot of texture at the moment. I'm going through a bit of a texture phase. Oh, are you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Just coming means. up with lots of different. Getting broody. Oh no, John. <laughs> 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 no, okay. no. I've had my babies. Well, you still get broody. I can get broody. Can you? Yeah. No, no, definitely not. No, done that. Been there. Yeah. Definitely not. All right, nest bit. All right, not broody nest building then for the winter. Yeah, I suppose. Textures, warm, yeah. cosy. Yeah, I'm sure it means something, yeah. doesn't it? But no, I'm just going through a bit of a texture <coughs> phase at the moment. Oh, blue sun. Yeah. Mm. Why not? Why not, indeed? I've got blue sand, John. Oh, is that sand? Yeah. Oh. Could be whatever you want it to be. So I'm going to do my boat. So the boat's done in two halves. So I've tried to think about the shade of where the light's going to catch. So yeah. it's just going to make it a bit of a more rounded composition. Oh, yes. So that's my boat. I'm going to put my boat there. I'm not going to glue it down yet. Let me just check my piece of coffee. I'm just going off. Yeah, that's that. And then you've got these two other bits. 
that's my flag I don't need that bit just to make the boat a little bit more interesting uh -huh. it's a nice little project especially if you you know over Christmas sit and do a bit of this yeah definitely and if this is so achievable for anyone to do <coughs> but also you're you're taking them through all of these steps at the beginning mm -hmm. and then later on they can if you're at home you can think oh Delphine did this I might try this or I might yeah, try that too you absolutely. can learn different yeah. techniques of course <coughs> excuse me and that goes that's me pole yeah and then mast I'm, I think it's called yeah well, I don't know I don't know boats don't you yeah. weren't you in the navy <laughs> no it's in the air force same thing. <laughs> no, <it's not>. <laughs> <laughs> the only boats I know is cruise ships. I like a cruise ship. We're going on another cruise in May. Are you? Where are you going? We're doing the fjords again this year. Oh. Next year. Yeah, next year now. Yeah. yeah. You're taking the kids and everything? Oh, the kids love cruising. Yeah. No. It's really good for the kids. Is it? Yeah. Because so there's loads of kids' clubs. You wake up in a different port every day and. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. No, I could love it. We've been. Do you have a balcony it. view? We had a balcony the first year. <coughs> we were really lucky. We were right on the bow of the ship the oh, first wow. time. It's we the went. bow, the front of the boat. F front. <laughs> front. Okay. Yeah, yeah, because the back's the stern, isn't it? I don't know. I thought you'd know all of that, John. Why? I don't know, because she. Yeah. No. I got seasick on the Royal Iris on the Mersey side when we were at school. We went on the Mersey, went on the Royal Iris, or was the Royal Daffodil or whatever, and that got seasick. On the Mersey River, River oh. Mersey. No, I don't get seasick. We did have um, the last cruise we went on. Um, it was pre-COVID, and we went through um, a storm, and we the whole ship listed, and uh, it was really quite scary. Even the captain on the uh, on the tannoy. tannoy, he said, you know, take one hand for yourself and one hand for the ship, and we were walking, and it was like this. And we went to our cabin and the we were literally looking at the water. <gasps> um, we've got a video, there was the re in the restaurant, the, there was uh, all the, the swimming pool on the top deck to sort of No, no, my next door neighbours went on one and they yeah. took a video of the swimming pool and the water was going all over yeah. the place. Yeah, and then there was plates crashing, yeah. people falling well, you're over. you on the same boat, on the same ship. Right, it was really bad, it yeah. was like a gale force. Yeah. It was like a, um, there's a number, isn't it, when it's a gale force. Yeah. But it was really bad. The thought of the kids were really quite little, so they didn't really. No, they didn't really no. notice. But there's, we've we've got a video of it. But you th I mean, obviously scary. you're safe, but you kind of think if if it's rocking that much. Right, stock update, the denim one. Third, of the stock of the denim one is gone, and we had lots of these. I tell you what, we had lots of these. So third, of the stock has gone, and the sheep over half the stock of the sheep have gone. That's the sheep, nineteen ninety nine. That'll make you. This one, there's your sheep one there. 1999, that's your sheep one. Over half the stock of that one's gone. And 11th of November, if you want to go and watch it on YouTube. And then the denim one, which is up there, 1699. Now you see, when I say over a third of the stock, that's hundreds have gone. Hundreds have gone. Right, that's Duffin. Hang on, have you still only using denim or have you used any, oh, any I felt? I yet? haven't used, uh, the only thing I've used for my felt is my flag. Okay. And then I'm going to come over to my seagulls in a minute. So I'll, okay. it will get more interesting in a minute. Right. I know you're just watching me cut out random bits. Of no, that's right. But all these shapes are all in the pattern anyway, so we've not, we're not, one. you've not left them high and dry or anything. No, no, every single one is in the kit. So use your placement guide for the positioning of the... Oh, Thanks. now, Amanda's going on a fjord cruise in April. When did you say you were going? May. Oh, you, she'll be getting off as you get on. Yeah. yeah um, we're going and there. Julie Vaughan says, morning, Delphine. Morning, morning. That's it. There we go. So I've just, make sure you use your placement guides, the position. Do you know they're called groins? Is that what they're called? Yeah, because I said earlier, oh, these got a special name. I think they're called grockles. And somebody mentioned again, they're called groins. Oh, I just call, I've just called them sea breaks in the... Sea breaks. Break water I'm glad break. you did your research. Oh, oh, I don't know what they're called. <laughs> I was writing it and then I was just like, what were they what are they called? So usually with my patterns I usually um 
put a little bit on, sew it, do a little bit more, sew it. But this one, you can put it all on. Oh, OK. Right, let's have some seagulls. We were filming a, a Poirot once called the ABC Murders, right? And we were filming on a beach one day. So I got all everyone ready up at the truck and everything. I wandered down to the set, which was on the beach. And then I could see the crew over there. So I just walked across the beach, the crew, and they just spent hours raking it. So it was all beautifully, sh so they could shoot it. So I can unwalk on bit. And there's my footprints of me walking. So they had to re, re um, rake the whole beach. That's a lot of effort, isn't I it? I know, I wasn't popular that day. And I was like, they were waving at me. I'm like, I am um, just coming now. And they were like, just get <laughs> off the sand. I'm like, yeah, I'm on my way. <laughs> so with the birds, I'm just put the, the, the felt on. So the felt is the body, is it? And then the wings of yeah. the denim. Yeah, the wings of the denim. And then just make, oh, and just make sure you leave a little gap because I stitch the feet and the beak on. Oh, OK. Oh, well, yes, yeah, so it looks like he's hovering at the moment. Yeah. So I'm just putting him on like that. See, it comes together quite quick, this one. There we are. That's my last details for now. And yeah. then... Will you be doing any sewing? Yep. I'll be doing quite a lot of sewing in oh, this. Oh, good. Yeah. Good. I'll be doing lots of sewing today. Yeah. Because I'm going to show you all the different techniques. I'm going to show you straight stitch, free motion, Brilliant. blanket stitch, hand stitch, the lot. So, that's it for now. Right. Oh no, I knew there was a... That was annoying me. Oh, what's that bit? I, I, I One of my stones. It didn't look right there. So there we go. There's my last one. So there's all the bits that you're going to put on first. Right. And you're just going to go round and stitch them down with... I've, I use a blanket stitch. I know it's not everyone's favourite. But if you're new to a PK, just stick with a zigzag stitch. Yeah. Oh, I'm a bit messy, John. I'm just going to... There's a, you've got a bin. Don't throw it on the floor. Oh, yeah. oh, half it went on the floor. I'll pick it up in a bit. There we go. So I haven't, no, I haven't done the waves yet. I'll come back to that. So okay. I just want to show very quickly. No, no. Um, Do you so know what? This would be good for a beginner because you've got really, really stable fabrics on there. You've got your calicos, yeah. your basis, and your uh, um, denim. Uh, both really, really easy to sew and work really with, aren't they? Easy. So fantastic for a beginner. If you've not done anything like this before, fantastic. For it would be nice hand sewn as well. I oh, think. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It would look really yeah. nice if you've got the patience to do it. So go around zigzag stitch and everything. In fact, I did hand stitch down the seagulls, but you can do it. Oh, did you? I'm sure I did. So I'll just do a little, just to hold it all down. And also, because you've also got the, the white threads running through the denim, you, you, you can hardly see your stitches. Right. So what thread have you got, sorry? White? I've just got white, um, and I'm just using zigzag stitch. So my go-to on this machine is, the, is mode 2, number 43. Right. That's if you've got the L, the 720. Yeah. So I'm not doing any fancy stitch. You can just stitch it all down and leave so it. So not free motor, is you're just doing a normal straight stitch and just following the edge of the denim. Um, this one I've done a blanket stitch, but oh, I've just followed the edge stitching. of the denim. So I'm just going to sew around the main part of the boat, and then we'll start yeah. adding a few details. Oh, now Marina thinks it looks like Lou Island. Is that where you got the... Um, the... Oh, Lou. I love Lou. We went there in um, in the summer. We I stayed remember. down in Lou. Yeah, because it was you that was telling me about all the different yeah. places to go to. I suppose it was actually inspired a bit like that, because I was looking through some of my old photographs of what where I've been in the summer. Yeah. And, also, uh, didn't you do some little, like, like miniatures? Was that where you did your little miniature paintings yeah, as well? Yeah, yeah, that's why I did my little mini one. Not that I'm stalking you or anything. You can stalk me, John. Aww. Yeah, that's where... Um, yeah, because I was torn between doing... Two lovers. <laughs> I was that's torn... a song, by the way. <laughs> I know. <laughs> not, I'm not accusing her of anything, it's a song. <laughs> So I was torn between doing um, this this one, or um, I did have a photograph on my phone of oh where was it, it down down near Lou, 
And it was a gorgeous little seaside town. You know, when you're looking down the streets to all the different buildings and houses, oh, wow. I thought that would be quite nice. Yeah. I might do what that next time, I'll see. Did you go there, Ben? Ben thinks he went there when he went down to uh, Cornwall. He did a tour of Cornwall. Yeah, we're going to go again next year. What, with those little roads? Yeah. Well, I'm never going again. Nick towed the caravan down them. Oh, well, he's more of a man than I am. He, like, he doesn't mind towing. I, I, was, I don't know. I I spent... Towing's not the bad bit. So if, what happens if your bus comes? You have to re reverse oh, with a caravan on the back. There was, what, um, there was one of the days we were going down into... I can't remember it now, but it's, again, it's like a little seaside town not far away. Yeah. And it was a boiling hot day, and then there was there was a car coming the other way. There was a, the road was blocked, and he completely burnt his clutch out going around down those roads. There was a bus coming the other oh. way. Luckily, we were all right. Yeah. So it'll have been Liskyard, no doubt. So I've yeah. Liskyard. That, miss, that there was also Talon Bay, where Richard and Judy live, where the hotel, Is lovely it? hotel I stayed in. Yeah. Oh, I thought Not, you meant Richard. Giving anything away. I thought you meant Richard and Judy from. This morning. I right? do. Oh right. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> That's the only Richard and Judy I always yeah, think yeah, of. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. They've got oh, the right. Talon Bay there. Yeah. So I've just gone round a few bits there just to show you how. Was it Foey, Mevagisi, or Polpero? Polpero. Says Alison it, it Marion. Was, it was Polpero. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Lucy oh. Pixley says beautiful project, Delphine. Really oh, enjoying watching you. you. Happy Christmas to all. Going to Australia in March and cruising the Pacific Islands, says Sharon. Oh, oh nice. Very nice. So, all I'm, you can use the straight stitch now to just yep. add a little bit of details to the boat. So, I'm going to do that. Gorgeous. Yeah, we've got ages. And then we'll... Oh, yeah, Marina said Polpero as well. And then uh, Susan says, morning, everyone. Upbeat John and Dynamic Delphine love the project and my ex-neighbour loved the Staghead Delphine. Have a lovely Christmas. Aww. Can't wait to see what you've got lined up for the new year. That's a lovely message. Thank you very much. Yeah, that was Susan. Thank you. Merry Christmas to everyone. I know, it's, fr it's frightening to think it's at the end of the week, isn't it? I know. I can't really think about it just yet. I'm ready for Christmas, but yeah. I've still got a lot of work to tire. And all your tree up and everything. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the boy, we had, we've had that up since the beginning. And have the boys been to see Father Christmas anywhere? No, no. Oh, do they not want to do that anymore? No. Okay. No, I'm just a bad mother. I'm just oh, you, oh, just haven't taken them. They don't yeah. know that Father Christmas is in your local At yeah, the local garden store. centre, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the in-laws are looking after him to them both today. Your in-laws what? The in-laws are down, Ursh and Peely are looking after them both. Oh, today. nice. I was going to say they'll be on holiday now, weren't they? Yeah. Not Ursh and Peely, I mean the kids. Yeah, the kids, yeah. So Nick's at work. He's uh, he's had to go away with work today. So. Oh, is he? Yeah, so he's in... It's not far, he's only had to go to Birmingham. It's not like the old days, is it, where everyone kind of winds down the week before Christmas. Everyone works right up until now, don't they? Yeah, I'll be working, my, I'll be working Christmas Eve morning, yeah. I think. So that's how I've just done a little straight stitch there onto Lovely. my boat for a bit of... Oh, yeah, to make it look like the planks. Yeah. No, but I thought, yeah, I didn't want to name it because I thought you could... Everyone else can have a look, you know, when you name a boat. Yeah. That you could stitch a little oh, name. Oh, nice, yeah. OK, so then I'm going to show you how I just did... I did... Let's get there. Again, a few straight stitches to the seagull's wings. Now, you're not allowed to do seagull impressions. Well, no, because you do peacock ones, don't you? Hang on. John, you remind me of the two Ronnies when they finish each other's sentences. Hello, Delphine. <laughs> oh. Uh, no, there's no instructions on their own, I'm afraid. Are there, Ben? No, no instructions on their own, I'm afraid. I've got a huge collection of old denim, says Donna. Sorry, Donna. There we go. Right then, so I'm going to leave, leave it at that for now because okay. we're going to, I'm going to show you how to do the the waves. Brilliant. So I'll just pop that to one side. So you need to get, well, whatever denim you're using. So let me just use it. What do you need? I'm just going to get a quick cutter. I only need to cut one strip off. Okay. I've got my pens everywhere. Let me just take... 
one. So you're just going to cut about roughly about a three quarter, uh, sorry, about half an inch. And then what you're going to do then? Do you don't want to go too big, too long, because it will tangle. Right. And you're just going to fray the edges. Are you taking it completely away? Most of it away. Yeah. So you do it on both sides. But make sure, obviously, the, if you cut it the opposite way, you won't have the white threads. No, no, you'll have the blue, you'll have the blue threads, because yeah. obviously it's a denim, which means it's white one way and blue the other way. Yeah, so make sure you So we, do you right remember way. which way you cut it then? Oh, you can see, you can see some fabric. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So you just, um, you've got to have a bit of patience. Yeah. This is what I mean, I was just saying earlier on, I'm just playing around with, trying loads of different textures and stuff at the minute. I just, mm. just makes it a bit more interesting. Yeah. Uh, I recommend you don't do it with acrylic nails. Oh no, are they your Christmas nails? <laughs> well, yeah, well, I've had these since I went to Nick's, say, yeah. Nick's Christmas party. Oh yeah, didn't embarrass him, did you? I don't think so. Oh, okay. No, I don't think I was on my best behaviour. Good. Uh, yeah. What was that uh, about washing, did you say? How, how will it be able? Can you wash it? Um, yeah, I suppose you could. I'll do it by hand. Though. Yeah, I wouldn't. Also, there's a lot of details. Well, I'd wash the if you're going to wash it, wash the denim first because it would be awful if you hand washed it and then the navy denim glared uh, yeah. into the pail. Well, it denim. might look quite nice. No, it might do, but you don't if it, you can't whisk it, can you just think it? No, oh no, because it might bleed into the calico. Yes, yeah, then you'd lose your definition of your. But anyway, uh, you should be able to wash it because, oh, actually, the denim's washed, isn't it? Don't we say this is washed denim? But I'd, I'd rinse the denim through uh, and then I would just do it by hand and don't put it in the tumble dryer. Oh, <coughs> Excuse me. I wouldn't wash the, uh, the. Oh, dear. Oh, what was that? <coughs> oh, dear. It's because I tried to eat a blooming muffin in the break, that's why. I wouldn't try and wash the, the sheep one. No. No, that's just a, a nice put on the bed or put on a chair yeah people can't sit on. on that one no 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 they're not for, they're not for use they're to look at and look but pretty. also you don't have to make a cushion they make that make a lovely picture for the you know for lovely the wall picture but, yeah. yeah picture could be a nice beach bag oh yeah well be beach but i just think either of those would look lovely in a frame with no glass yeah. in it sort of thing they just look really lovely as pictures on the wall yeah wouldn't they? yeah they would that's a nice little collection so you could keep going with that until you yeah. left. You want to make sure that you left with a little bit. Oh, so you left a spine down the middle. Yeah. And then even all this you can use. Yeah. You know, you can use all sorts. So these are the ones I made earlier. Valerie Singleton. <laughs> well, you, too, you don't know who that is either, do you? No. Blue Peter, original Blue Peter. Oh, I used to watch Blue Peter. Yeah, no, but Valerie Singleton was when I was a child, so. Oh. All those years ago, John. yeah, in black and white. <laughs> so you're just going to place them on. I quite like. I wish I'd used this originally. Oh, but you can just use like all these different textures. Yeah. On. And as you can see, I'm twisting it a little bit. Uh huh. And you just want to build it all up a little bit like that. Uh, Donna says, loving the show. Merry Christmas, Delphine. My mum loves watching you guys together. She's 70 on New Year's Eve. Are Aww. you working? I'm not in on New Year's... Oh. Oh. Am I in on New Year's Eve? I don't know if I am or not. It's what? Oh, Stuart. Stuart's New Year's Eve. I thought you were saying Philip. I was like, who's Philip? Oh, yeah, Stuart's New Year's Eve, not me. And, I'm, and Vix is New Year's Day, isn't she not? So she's doing Boxing Day and New Year's Day. Oh. Right, OK. There you go. So I've just placed them on like that. Right. And already it's starting to look like a wave. I yeah. Think. But how are you going to attach it? Wow. So you just do it like that. You can do it in bits. I just wanted to sort of get the picture of how I wanted it to look. Yeah. Oh, it looks fantastic. Uh, zigzag stitch. Nice and big. And just zigzag stitch it on. It's really, okay. really simple. So I haven't put any pins or anything on there. I'm yeah. just sort of going to go for it and see what happens. Alison Marion remembers Valerie Singleton. Oh, 
all day. So what stitch are you using, sorry? Zigzag. Oh, is it big? Is it a big zigzag? It's a big zigzag, yeah. yeah. Oh, and working on the sheep cushion right now. What would you put behind it to make it into a picture? Oh, that's an idea. So if you've made it yeah. on the calico. When I've done the other, you know, I've done the other ones that I've put on uh, pictures for, like the owl and the stag yeah, 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 and things yeah. like that. Uh, it just goes on a bit of the board at the back. So you, you know the, the picture frame? Yeah. Just put it on the back. I use carpet tape. Oh, okay. And it and it's because it's really strong, isn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. I just use that, and it's and it, it stays. Oh, on. so so you, you get some of the card that the uh, picture framer uses. Is that what you? Yeah, mean? yeah. You can. Oh, use, there you go. Yeah. You can get that from next door. You won't be sewing that though. You'll be sticking that with a bit of carpet tape. up a little bit there and sit down there there you go I'm just listening to them talking oh so okay I've got, she hates it when I go all quiet it goes all quiet on me we're just trying to find out the calendars have arrived yet not yet So it's okay if you leave some of them a little bit loose, but make sure uh -huh. they've got a couple of stitches in them at least. Let me just have a look at it. I just want to have a play around. I'm just going to add a couple more around. So effective, isn't it? So I like to twist it. Like could you glue it on? I suppose you could, yeah. If you're not going to sit on it, I suppose, yeah. Well, no, the glue dries. Well, Nobody's going to sit on it, no. Yeah, you could glue it no, on. No, don't sit on it. You could, um, yeah, use a glue gun. A bit messy. Yeah. If you're good with a glue gun. Yeah. I, um worked with a woman once in costume and I'd just finished Wimbledon School of Art and we were very precious when we left school thinking, you know, oh, sewing's everything. And she, we, she was making a cloak for Oberon in Midsummer Night's Dream and she literally, it was all, a whole cloak made of all these beautiful leaves and mm. it was all supposed to be appliqued and look, and she's got a glue cut out and just we were all like, oh my God. Oh no, did no. it ruin it? Yeah. <laughs> You're very honest, aren't you? Yeah. that one down you won't try to buy your turkey will you if you're not eating in on christmas day no no i are you i'm gonna do a gammon though what when you get home and you're Just hungry the sandwiches oh yeah i love a gammon sandwich on christmas day and pickle you need pickle with it oh that's nick nick will i did do a mini christmas dinner for our friends on sunday i had You've already done a Christmas dinner? I did a Christmas dinner on Sunday. Oh. Yeah, we had, our friends of ours are having, um, they're basically renovating their whole house. Yeah. And we went round there to watch the football the other week. Yeah. And I felt so sorry for him because it was just oh. in such a state. I mean, it would look amazing when it's done. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Don't be feel sorry for them. But, uh, <laughs> and then, uh, so we, because the weather was so bad Sunday, I thought I want to do a mini Christmas. Oh. And so they all came round. I did a, the full. You know, apart from, I did a chicken and a gammon, but oh. I did pigs in blankets, Yorkshire puds, all oh. the veg. What was the um, vegetarian option? There wasn't. Had one. I been invited? Uh, vegetables. <laughs> <laughs> I do very nice roast vegetables, though, John. I do oh no, I love, I love, I'm quite happy with that. And vegetarian gravy, I'm perfectly happy with that. Yeah, I do all of that. There we go. I quite like the bits hanging off the sides as well. Yeah. So there you go. You can just. You can add as much as you like, really. Yeah. In fact, I am going to add that on because I really like these stringy bits. 
Yeah, so even all of this, that's yeah. like, this is everything that I've taken off. Right. Keep that, because that can, you, can, you can do so much with that. You can do that like um, sea foam yeah. coming in yeah. on the water, couldn't you? So I'm going to add a, just a few of those. So she's seen being creative in her demonstration, not yeah, just sticking just, to any rules. No, oh no, that's boring. I want to stick to rules. There we go. So there's there's all your water. It looks cool, doesn't it? Lovely. I like it. Right then. So I'm now going to switch to my free motion foot now. Right. While you do that, let me just recap the bundles because okay. uh, I need to just do this. The rustic home sheep which is the one you've seen before, and we got it back in stock today. Looks like it's gonna sell out again. There are only 22 of these left now. 20, and how many in baskets? Oh, 39 in baskets, so it will sell out today. So with that one, you get the instructions, then you get your felt, your calico, your three different colors felt, your jute and your canvas, and then this lovely plaited one here, which is what you make your trees with. Watch the demo on the 11th of November on YouTube, and you'll be able to see how to create that there. 19.99, that one is. 19 pounds and 99 pence. Then today's project, which is this one here, which is one denim, uh, denim, <laughs> Delphine's working on right now, made with denim. You get your calico, your felt, and then you get your three fat eighths of the three different colored denims. But as um, Delphine said earlier, you don't just get those three shades because you're going to use the back as well. And feel free, if you've got other bits at home that you want to add into it, do because Delphine, you don't mind no, people no, um, customizing and changing no. it, do you? 16 99 that one. Right, now, uh, half the stock of that one's gone. Half the stock of that one's gone. Almost half the stock's gone. And loads in baskets. Make sure you check out 16 99 Right. So I've switched to my free motion foot now. Okay. And I'm going to add some details to, what would you call these things again? Groins. Groins. I didn't call them that. That's what they're called in oh. real life. Right, well. I didn't. So, I called them grockles, but that's something different, apparently. So I'm going to just add a little bit of detail to the sides. Right, OK. Now, if you do don't like doing free motion, how could I do this You could do it in a straight stitch. OK, perfect. Just perfect. keep going. Just do go one way, turn it around and go the other. Excellent. It's mainly because I, um, it's just a save time. Yeah. Save time for me. So... Am I all on? I think so. It's funny because on yours, the feed dogs went down the minute you clicked them. Oh. Where's on mine? Oh, is it when they come back on? They don't click back up. They click up when you start sewing. What's that? Oh, the feed dogs on my own. Oh, elbow. yeah. Oh, you just go back and forward, back and forward. So, and I'm just doing it to the sides. And then again. Can we see, put you down, see what, we've, what, we, what you've done? You're just coming in from the upstairs camera to have a look at that. So let me just trim those away quickly. Yeah. So I've just got, like I said, that was just, I did that really quick, but it's perfectly achievable using a straight stitch. Yeah, 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 yeah. Or yeah. A walking just, it's just quicker if you do the free yeah. motion, isn't it, right? And then if you've got a friction pen, have you got one over there? Uh, did I not give you one earlier? There's a black one oh, on this hour. Do. Any, any colour. Yeah, yeah, we've got a black one in this out somewhere. So you can do it by eye, but it, I think it just it helps you out a little bit if oh, you just draw a few lines on. So you want to definitely um, add a few more details for the water. But for water to be realistic, it must be straight. So just do one or two lines here and there, just so you can see where you're going with it. Brilliant. And then again, just going forward. Oh, like now it sounds the same as groin, but it's spelt differently, just so you know. It's not groin as in G-R-O-I-N-S, it's G-R-O-Y-N-E-S. But still said groin, apparently. That's what um, Anna says. Oh, Julie's bought the rustic kit. Well done, Julie, you'll love it. I'm surprised you didn't get it last time, Julie. What's the matter, Charlie? Well, that machine does go very fast, that one. So I'll put a bit round 
empty here. What's the matter with you looking at me like that? It's like what are you looking at? <laughs> looking at you sewing. So I've just added some details to the to the water just to make it look a bit more. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That looks like the um when the moon shimmers on the water. So I'll just get rid of those friction marks. So that's that bit. Uh, did you sign on our cutting mat? Please yeah. don't do that at home. Yeah, I do it all the time. <laughs> yeah, don't do what you do at home here, though. OK, you. sorry. Uh, then I'm just going to add a few details to the to the hill yeah. and to the stones Lovely. now. Lovely. Which way do I... Just check what you did. Mm. You did, like, rivulets coming down the mountain. Oh, you've got some lovely words coming out your mouth today. It's because I've trained as an English teacher, <laughs> you see. <laughs> Fifteen minutes left. Charlie's singing Little Drummer Boy now. It's all getting very festive in there. Are you ready for Christmas, John? Ready as I'll ever be. Well, I'm in here. Well, apart from tomorrow, I'm in here every day now. Oh, yeah. So, uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I'm in here and then I'll drive up north for my Christmas dinner. Now, what I need to know is, you know the service stations up the motorway? Will the coffee shops be open on Christmas Day? Oh, can you check? I, I, I have to check that. Well, it, I'll be going up the M6, won't I, from here to the, to the northwest. Well, I don't know, one halfway. I like to work out one halfway. Well, no, no, only because I said on my Facebook Live on Sunday, oh, well, I drive up from the studio. I drive up from the studio uh, and then I'll be having dinner at half past two. And Julie went, no, we're not having dinner till five because Mikey, their oldest son, uh, works for the um, EasyJet, right? Other pl flight places are available. But he won't be there. He doesn't finish work till two in... Is he Gatwick or Luton on Christmas? Anyway, so he's got to get home as well, you see, so we're not eating till five. So I said I'd stop at a Starbucks or a Costa on the way home and get a little treat for myself on the way home. But then I thought, it's going to be open on Christmas Day. The, the service stations are to be open, aren't they? But I don't know if the things within the coffee shops within there will be open. So I'm just doing little circles on the pebbles. Yeah. The coffee shop won't be open. Oh, OK. Maybe I'll go... Because I don't normally go down the... Um, what's that one you have to pay for it? The toll road. I don't usually do that one. But there's a big service station halfway down the toll road, isn't there? Anyway, doesn't yeah, matter. Yeah, yeah. I'll have to look them up. I'll have to look up which... which You'll have to have a thermos with you, John. It's not quite the same, not putting a latte. And also, I'd have had to make it at 4 o'clock in the morning. Before I come in here, be a bit might be a bit stewed by the time I get in the car. Yeah, it will, wouldn't it? Oh, hello. <laughs> no, no, we've got an update. We're waiting. Thank you. Thank you. Ian's checking the calendars, everyone. Let's put that back on there. I thought my thread come undone then. Right, so there's me. So I've done the pebbles. Yeah. I've done the... Becky's trying to tell me something and she's oh. trying to mouth it. And she's... No, no, go on. It's about the show. So I've just put a... Uh, just put the details on here and there. What have I missed? Oh, I also put like a little stringy thing around the mast and the sail and I'm just going to add a little bit of detail to the sun, moon thing. And then I'll show you how I did the hand stitching. Good, because you've got six minutes. Oh, lovely. Which way do I do it on that one? Oh, there. There we go. So now I'm just going to thread my needle and I'll show you how I did some of the hand Brilliant. stuff. Brilliant. You're right down there. Oh, 
on the your knees. Oh dear. <sighs> oh, beating the dog. We don't fall. <laughs> No, we don't want any more falls, do we, oh, John? No. It was a trip, actually, not a fall. Yeah. Because they joke, don't they, about me? Oh, have you had a fall, John? Because I'm the oldest person oh. in the building, aren't I? Have you had a fall, John? Anyway, they said it when I fell over, when I tripped on Friday. What day was it? Friday? Saturday? I can't remember what day it was now. Friday. Yeah, it looks sore. It's not, the eyes not sore at all. They glued it together. But they were so brilliant. You know what I mean? I, it makes me yeah. upset because the people... When you get there, the people are just amazing, yeah. aren't they? If you think about it, Paul's sitting in this freezing cold, there's no facilities, you know what I mean? It's not been, yeah. the building's not been looked after and broken down vending machines and yeah, nowhere for people, and really uncomfortable chairs. And, and I was fine, so I was just sitting there, but you know, really, really poorly people were coming in and you were like, yeah. oh, and then get the people, how, how do they stay upbeat? I'd be, I'd be so bitter if I was no, a nurse or something like that. I'd be it. so, and I'm not getting political or anything like that, but it's just like, they just haven't got, you know, I moan about, you know, they're not being, I, I, I just think, oh, they're just, they're angels in disguise, aren't they? Oh, People absolutely. at the NHS. Makes me sad. But they, just brilliant. And, you know, no, nothing was too much, try. even the cleaners, when they came, came to clean under my feet and everything, they'd have a little gossip and everything like that. And it was just, that, you know what I mean? And you just think, God, love them. Thank goodness we've got them, you know what I mean? We are very lucky, yeah. aren't we? Anyway, I won't not get on that because I'll start crying. But, so anyway, just, what are you doing now? I'm just giving the, Seagull some feet. Oh, okay. And what stitch are you doing then? I don't even know if there's a name for it. I'm just, oh, okay. <laughs> just a straight one. Have you used a whole strand? I've, I've used a whole skein. Ske yeah, yeah a whole, but you haven't split it down into Not the on this um, things. One. Uh, Carol says, morning, John and team. Sorry I'm late. Just back from a Christmas food shop. I'm all done for Christmas now. Oh, <gasps> blimey. There we go. So give it a couple of feet each. The supermarkets near me are all open quite late, later than usual this week. And then obviously on Christmas Eve, they shut a bit earlier, but. Um, oh, I'll have to go and get a few bits and pieces yeah. for the boys. But the thing is, Nick will have all the cheese and all of that, but I'm just, I don't eat cheese. Don't you? No, I don't like it. Oh. I don't like dairy. No, oh no, because you don't have, um, Butter in your sausage sandwich. I don't have butter. No, don't, just don't like, just don't like dairy. I just never have. Even. So do you have, do you have, do you have, do you have coffee, milk in your coffee? No, I have black, black coffee. Oh, okay. Have you never thought of having like an alternative, like soya or oat or anything like no, that? No, I just don't like dairy at all. I don't oh. like cream cakes. Oh, something wrong with you. I know. <laughs> I don't so what's, like... your, what's your guilty pleasure then? Like, you don't have a bar of chocolate then? I'm not that bothered about chocolate. No. And chocolate cheese, they're the favourites. Like crisps. My favourite, I like a crisp, but my, my favourite foods, like, I love a curry, I love an Indian. Oh, really? Although I haven't had one of those for ages. Um, yeah. She's got a very nice Indian restaurant near where she lives as well. Yeah, we'll have to go soon. Yeah, yeah. We haven't been for ages, have we? No. No, life's sort of got really busy and we've got to remember what's important, really. Yeah. Haven't oh, yeah, we? Yeah, yeah. But, um, Charlie yeah. could bring in a packed lunch for us all one day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he thinks a lovely. Oh no, because when he first started, he used to bring in all these amazing packed lunch dishes. He doesn't anymore because he goes to the gym and he drinks his steroid juice or whatever it is. Now. I, I heard earlier he's doing some. He's sewing. Her, yeah, he's doing sewing at home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But That's he's um, amazing. But he, he doesn't bring in a packed lunch anymore, so we don't see all these amazing curries or anything anymore. Oh dear. So there's their feet. So the seagulls have got feet. Let's. They need an eye now. Language, Charlie. Let's give him an eye. And then I'll show you how I did the beaks. Yeah. That's one eye. Just don't pull it too tight. Too hot, yeah. So I'll tie that one off. What I do as well, if you've got any... Um, Leftover off cuts or bond web or interfacing. When you've done your hand stitches, just put that on the back. Oh, okay, just iron it on. Just to iron yeah. it on, and then it, it just keeps it from coming loose. Quite a big strand here. There we are. So I haven't sewn these seagulls down properly yet, but. But you would have done. I would have done. Yeah. Yeah. So that's, they're nearly done now. Uh-huh. 
I'll just tie that off because I don't want it to come loose. So that's that bit. And I'll just quickly re-thread. I'll show you how to do the beak. And then all around the bottom, all I did was a few French knots and some straight stitch. Yeah. Nothing, nothing fancy, but yeah. it's effective, I think. Oh, got it. Got a, you've got a funny beak as well. Yeah, because their beaks sort of bend down, don't they? Oh, do they? Oh, oh, I don't know. Well, you must I have studied so. one. Yeah, I think so, do yeah. Do they seagulls' beaks? Oh, itchy. Oh, are you all right? Yeah, it's got a bit of a... I think I've got a bit of fluff up my nose. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, their beaks go a bit like that, don't they? The flam have you seen, watched the flamingo eat? Their beaks are upside down like that, and they go, they skim it with their head down like that. Do they? Yeah, it's very interesting. Like scoop down like that. I've never seen one eat before. There we go. So gorgeous. Oh. oh. So to do the beak, then. So. Yeah. There we go. So you just want to do a little straight stitch yeah don't do it to the seagull do it so it's slightly on its head there oh here you go moto service station so they'll have smiths and costas open on christmas day thank you roxana and you could rely on you uh delphine's uh Lorraine says hello delphine hello. and christine says beautiful work again delphine brooks thank you yeah we've got to go now got to go let me do the round let me do the uh, round up then while you finish off that beak so there's only five sheep left. And how many in baskets? 43 in baskets. Wow. I know. 19.99, that, that bundle there. And then the, sh uh, the, the, the sea seaside one, what do we? Over half the stock of these, hundreds of these gone, 16.99. So you get your three fat eighths of denim, you get your white felt, you get your calico, and you get your instructions. 16.99, hang on. <laughs> Then we've got the threads you might need. So you've got the ones that are 6659, <clears throat> which are your ones for your sheep. There's only five of those left and 10 in baskets. Then you've got your embroidery thread for your denim one. 449, beautiful. And then I'll just do bond web and that, that'll be it. Bond web 299. This is brilliant if you're just starting off. We have got the big box of it coming up later. Uh, you'll see Delphine in an hour's time <coughs> when uh, she will be doing a, a beautiful tulip pink quilt like this. It's FPP, but it's easy FPP. Really isn't it? easy. Really easy yeah, FPP. Yeah, really. Uh, and don't go anywhere because Susie's up next with, um, well, I'm really, really looking forward to it. We're doing crystals and chakras and things like that for an hour. It's all about mindfulness and and being centered and everything. I'll see you in four minutes from now. Hello everyone, Staffine Brooks here. I just wanted to come in here and say Merry Christmas. I hope you all have a fantastic day and a happy and healthy new year. It's been a great year spending time with you and being able to sew with you as well and create loads of new projects. Uh, bring on 2023 where we'll hopefully have lots of new projects for you and get to meet some more of you as well. Anyway, take care, stay safe and Merry Christmas. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Make sure you tune in this Thursday for the brand new launch of Liberty Fabrics. Join Vix and Susie Duncan for the next instalment of the Flower Show Collection with 15 designs available and fat quarter bundles. We'll be bringing a neutral palette of soft moss greens, buttercup yellows and pale blush pinks, which sit harmoniously against cooler greys and charcoals. Make sure you tuned in this Thursday at 9am on Sewing Street. 
keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. Head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Hello, I'm Catherine Wright from Leicestershire Craft Centre based in Market Harbour. I'm delighted to be part of the Sewing Street family. I've been sewing since the age of seven when my mum taught me to sew. I particularly enjoy dressmaking and all through my childhood I made my own clothes uh, including dancing costumes and my prom dresses. But I also enjoy patchwork and bag making and hand stitching and embroidery and really anything textile based. The thing I particularly love about fabric and textiles and stitching is that there is always something new to try, there's always a new technique or a new skill to learn uh, and I really enjoy doing that. My top tip for new sewers is to uh, be friends with your iron. Your sewing also always looks better when it's been pressed and it's not like ironing your own clothes, it's much more, much better than that. And also to uh, build your skills up step by step. Don't launch in with the, with the wedding dress first off. You know, start with a simple dress and build your skills up and then you'll see good results right from the start and feel enthusiastic and carry on sewing. So really, just have a go, have fun. It's all about having fun and enjoying it. Um, so happy sewing. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. Something a little different for you now. Now, you know my lovely bracelet that, I, that Susie made for me. I'll introduce you to Susie in a second, right? This beautiful, beautiful bracelet Susie made for me. I've never taken it off. I take it off to go to bed at night time, but I've, and I, you know me, I don't wear jewelry. I only wear this that Lowe made me, and I only wear this. I wear no other jewelry whatsoever. There's something tactile and beautiful about having gemstones around. Now, I know that some of you will be sitting there thinking, why it's so street? Why are we doing? Why are we doing? Why are we doing gemstones? Why are we doing chakras? Why are we doing these? Be oh, I, 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 my house is full of crystals. I need to tell you. Mm -hmm. Also, I've got some. A ve I've, well, I'll tell you, Charles Worthington. He's a very, very, very successful hairdresser. I've got a huge multi-million pound business. Everything. If you go to any of his homes, right, there are crystals placed all over the everywhere, everywhere. Because he totally. I know it's something that you, if you believe in it, then you're like me, you believe in it, I believe in it. Some people aren't going to, but then there's all sorts of things in life, aren't there, that we don't believe in and do believe in. I just think you should sit back and really, really, really enjoy this next hour. This is the gorgeous Susie here, and you might recognise her if you know her, because you're on Jewellery Maker on and things like that. Maker, now, exactly. I first met you when we did a pearl show together, because exactly. you do pearls that's as well. That's my business, yeah. That's, that's a business, see. But then I realised that you were very much into. So would you just like to explain explain first of all how you got into it and secondly why you think we wh wh why we're yeah, doing this hour basically. exactly yeah. I just want to say hello to everybody thank you so much for giving me an hour of your time and I know that you're all into sewing and I just wanted to take an hour out to talk about really mindfulness and well-being and this is where the chakra comes in because if you are balanced and your mind, body and soul is in harmony, you'll feel well, you'll be really happy and that will be a, you'll be able to function much better. And it's all because of our chakras. Now you may think, I've heard a chakra but not sure what it is. Well first of all, here we go here as a little guide. And what chakras is, 
literally is little spinning discs of energy that radiate throughout our body and when they're in harmony they just flow through and we are not only sort of happy and, and in ourselves so we're sort of thoughtful and kind and just generally happy but we actually feel good and if any of our chakras are out of balance that's when we start getting problems that's when we might feel depressed angry um, stressed out shy that's our chakras so you're thinking well Susie explain what chakras so I will chakras will start from the ground because it it relates to the earth mother earth right up to the celestial heaven and we start at the base which is called the root chakra denoted by colors of blacks or reds and that really is about our safety and security so if we're fe feeling safe and secure that's brilliant but sometimes we're feeling stressed and anxious and unsure and sort of quite paranoid that could be because you've got a blockage in your root chakra so that would be an area you might want to address and then the next area is our sacral chakra and that's about emotions and creativity so when we're feeling good and creative and happy that means our chakra is in balance but if we're feeling you know when you get blockages if you're thinking of designing something you suddenly think oh I really can't think how to do it or something keeps going wrong it could be that you've got a blockage in your sacral chakra and then we move up to our yellow which is the solar plexus chakra and that's to do with our willpower and determination and our inner strength um, so if that's blocked what happens there is that you feel very lethargic you don't want to do anything you can't be bothered to you know and you know what is the point if you're feeling like that that could be something to do with your solar plexus so that might be an area you want to look at and then we come to the heart chakra and that's colored by green and pinks and that is about love but universal love so kindness thoughtfulness empathy forgiveness um, and if that's blocked if our heart chakra is blocked that could mean that we're very angry at the world or we're very bitter um, so that might be an area that you need to address and then we move up to our throat chakra which is denoted by the colors blue and that's to do with confidence and communication so when we're confident and we can communicate we can get our ideas across people know what we want but if we become introverted shy um, we feel that we're being overpowered by other people and we can't say have a voice that may be that you've got a blockage in your throat chakra so that might be an area you want to sort of address and then we come up to our third eye chakra here in the area here which is denoted by colors of purples and um, indigos and this is about intuition and knowledge and learning so in this chakra it's all about that you know sometimes when you have a gut feeling about something and if that's working well you know you can be very instinctive and that is wonderful but sometimes if you've got a blockage that you don't want to learn anything or you can't pick up information very easily it might be that you've got a blockage in your third eye and then finally which you can't see here we've got it colored here purple but it's the lavenders through to the whites up to the heavens and that's our crown chakra and that is about enlightenment it's about altruism it's about going on a further journey it's about thinking about others and uh, just being sort of much more empathetic generally to the outside world so if we become very stubborn and set in our ways and, and we won't listen to advice this could be a blockage in our crown chakra and so that might be an area that we want to address so this is the chakra so there we have if it's all flowing wonderfully we'll feel happy with the world at one with the world and we're, we're feeling really good and physically we're feeling very well as well and feeling very strong now adding to that would be healing crystals something i am passionate about and i live my life by and my house is filled with crystals and you might think well really not for me and um, what has crystals got to do with chakra well i look at it as a tool and as sewers you'll understand you know when you get machines now i used to do sewing say 40 years ago and i remember when my mum bought an interlocking machine and before that it, it was like a revelation i'm thinking oh my goodness before that i would have to do zigzag and some of you may remember that and then afterwards 
go up and cut it carefully. Now, I could carry on sewing and not need an interlocking machine, but it changed the way I, uh, I did my sewing. It made it look neater and it was really helpful. And in that way, that's what crystals do to your well-being. So I always say, try and take time out every day for a bit of mindfulness. Sit down with your cuppa, make time for yourself 10 minutes of the day and think about nothing. Um, that's hard to do because we're all really, really busy and we're, we've got this to do, we've got the kids to pick up, we've got Christmas coming, you're thinking, I can't. But it's so important that even if you spend five minutes of the day, make that coffee, chill out. So what I was doing in the green room earlier, I just chilled out, I had a little coffee and I thought of absolutely nothing and I was just aware of just aware of my breathing and if you've got healing gemstones and you know when we talked about the chakras and an area that may be blocked well if say you, you're lacking confidence you, you, you know, you're lacking confidence that is something to do with your solar plexus so you might want a gemstone that's either yellow or one of the crystals that is yellow to hold and meditate with or put it by your bedside if you're lacking sleep Put a crystal by your bedside to help in sleep. That will be either from your third eye because you're thinking too much or overthinking. So this is why crystals will help you even if you're not related to crystals at all. It could be a great tool for you to use for yourself. Is this why sometimes we might be attracted to some colours? Like Absolutely. some mornings you go, I don't want to wear blue today, I really want to wear something yellow. Exactly. And I, I'm not, we're not thinking, oh, what chakra no. is that or anything. It's just a gut instinct it that you kind of think, I need a bit of yellow or whatever. Because we're made up of 80% water and our vibrational levels will change. If we're well, we've got high vibrations. If we're feeling a bit low, our vibrations drop. And we instinctively, with our third eye, as you say, are drawn to colours and mm. think, do you know what, I'm feeling really cheery, I need cheering, I'm gonna wear some yellow, I feel mm. like a bright day. Or sometimes you think, do you know what, I wanna be a bit subdued and I might wear black. But it might be that you don't actually think, think no, that. It might exactly. be just, I'm gonna wear the black one exactly, today. And that's now, good I need you. to just say here, we're not doctors, so we're no. not saying that this will no, heal you like that. Oh, no, it's healing, but healing in an internal exactly. way. It's not, like, not going to heal my elbow, basically. No. It's, been, oh, it's my just eye, about well being yes, and just yes. having time for yourself. Yes. We all need that because we're all too busy and we're always thinking. And sometimes we need to think about nothing. And that five minutes will just tell you what it's like. It's like, you know, sometimes if you've been in, in the house and you've had all the doors shut and sometimes you think, do you know what? I'm going to open all the windows oh, and yeah, doors blow through. and let the blow, blow through, through mm. go through. And you know instinctively, oh, this house just feels so much fresher yes, and nicer. Exactly. This is what five minutes of meditating will do for you. Or, just clearing your mind. Sorry, didn't mean to interrupt there. But yeah. Or, that's beautiful. Yes. You know, just looking at something beautiful. Or like I said earlier, I've got I've got a one by my, my um, computer. I don't know. I think it's obsidian or something yeah. like that. And I literally, when I'm stressed, when I was writing my book, I yeah. just pick it up and I just touch it. The yeah. And this, I love feeling this and everything. So looking at something beautiful. Now, which is the best way to do it? Up overhead there. So yeah. this is the first item that we're going to go to here. So this is, look away, Ange, it's a butterfly. So this is 30 carats of rose quartz butterfly, £17.99. Now, why why would I buy, because I think of rose quartz, I'm going to bring it over to your yeah. side. Why would I think of rose quartz as being like love? I think it it's is. Love. It is universal love. And it's one of my favourite gemstones, and I'll tell you why. It's connected to the heart chakra. It's about forgiveness. It's about acceptance. And sometimes, if in order to I love to, people, I just need to go like yeah, that. There, you go. there we go. In order to love people and to emit love to others, you have to love yourself. And that, you might think no, that's a bit silly, Susie. But you've got to accept you for what you are and accept your faults. And it's about self-acceptance. And until you can learn to love yourself and accept you as a person, accept your faults, um, you cannot move forward and give out love. So rose quartz is so important for that. And it's just a wonderful, wonderful gemstone to either hold or wear or to have around the home. And the butterfly, um, very symbolic because it's about sort of transformation um, and love so fantastic so if you're on a journey or you're just starting a new business 
This is absolutely perfect. Or if you know somebody that is starting university, a new job, give them a butterfly because it's about changes. Or if you're going through a change in life. There's only four, sorry to interrupt, yeah. there's only four left, only four left. Has it got a hole in it? Can I put yes. something through it? Or is, it, is yes. it just a piece to hold? No, it's got a hole at the top so you can actually drill through that. I can't jewelry make, go to jewellery maker and get the, yeah. the findings so, there. Yeah, you would put a little, what they call a peg bale in oh, there to you. <laughs> yeah um and wear it as a pendant it's absolutely beautiful look if I or you can stitch it, it on stitch it yeah. onto something or as well stitch it onto that, or even glue it onto a piece of fabric exactly exactly yeah, absolutely or just leave it by the side of the table perfect so yes, i love I, it because that's the other thing is uh, going on to this next one that i've got here let me which i'm in the right place uh, i went through a phase of buying hearts for people yeah. all in different stones and i've got hematite ones and i've yeah. got rose quartz ones yeah. and they're just beautiful because they're always cool and they're exactly. just always lovely nothing to do with sewing whatsoever but it's just that you know the feeling you get from sewing when you need to escape from the world and you just want to sit down and sew for an hour maybe you haven't got a project on the gut that's silly because you always got a project on go but sometimes it's just lovely to pick something up and just know that it's beautiful and know that you're going to feel fabulous yeah. right so what you get in this one is you get a rose quartz and a moonstone so why would i get two of those together right i'm just going to pass this over yeah, to susie and these two i love and i haven't seen these two before you see i'm actually wearing one of these symbols one is a hands a hand and one is a heart and it's got an evil eye so these are really protective uh, so these are really good for protection as well so these if do you know sometimes when you uh have to deal with a lot of people and there are people there that are a bit negative you 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 know the sort of people um that can you know they take an instant dislike to you for whatever reason and you don't want that to affect you because you're thinking there's nothing wrong with me that energy is your energy it's not my energy so this is really good to repel that energy back and say, you know, I'm not having any of that and it's not going to affect me. Because sometimes it can be upsetting. Oh, that's not your price. Sorry. So I didn't Ooh. know that. Sorry. That's not your price. Oh! Wow. Now, we've already spoken about rose quartz and how wonderful that is for yeah. sort of just universal love. But moonstone is a lovely feminine energy. So this really tunes into your intuition. So if you've got sort of any sort of ideas and you, you've got that sort of intuitive thought, this is the one to stick with. So not only are they protective uh, and will protect you against that sort of negative energy but it'll give you deeper in insight um, into ideas and also that sort of compassion and kindness and forgiveness i also find that i'm not i'm not an expert in in crystal so i just love them right and yeah, told, as i, I told you them. my house is for them but i'm drawn to them because of the beauty of them. Absolutely. Not, I don't go to, I don't go to a, a, a gem shop or whatever and go, oh, right, I'm feeling I need a bit of love today, so no. I'll buy it. I just, I go, you go into a shop or whatever, go on the internet, look at it, you think, oh, yeah. now, I like that. You know exactly. what I mean? And, that's, and I don't know if it's one of my chakras drawing me to, to it, because yeah. that's what I need, it or whether be. I'm just like, Drawn I to think it. that's beautiful. Yeah. But if you've never seen Moonstone before, because some of you are so, and you may not be really, uh, very knowledgeable about gemstones in general but I would say if you're ever going to buy a gemstone rainbow moonstone is wonderful because it has what they call an adularescence which all that means is it shimmers it's mother nature creating beautiful sort of shapes in the uh, stone and it has this lovely bluish shimmer within the stone it's absolutely fantastic what's it called it's an adularescence, oh, okay. so it's a big long word. No, 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 because I'm thinking about labradorite's got something inside it yeah, as well, like it's got, that. Um, yeah, that, that's I can't remember the name of it. Lab, right? Yeah. yeah. I, it's another word yeah, I can't yeah, remember. Yeah, it'll come to me, it'll come to me. But oh, they message, shimmer. Message. It's, it's where the, the light transmits into the gemstone and where the, they're made up. They emit light and it's wonderful. You get this lovely sort of pattern that, that is magical. Yeah, it Kate's really is message, magical. A brilliant explanation. We're all drawn to different things. I personally love crystals. I wear jade every day. Yeah. Got the moonstone for three. Oh, we haven't got wow. to that yet. And also I've got one here. Sam just says, I make myself a, a jade bracelet with a Buddha's head charm. I wear it all the time. I wear mine yeah, all the time. Yeah. Good morning. This is so fascinating. Thank you from Sue in West Sussex. Oh, but, thank no, no, we you. just thought it'd be something lovely and something nice for everybody yeah. to share. Because where else are you going to hear about things like this? No. You know what I mean? And thank you for messaging in. And as you can see, can you hear me jangle? I'm a jade lover too. Yeah. It's just one of those stones and I've given you... Yeah, no, I, I try it, to yeah. gift jade to everybody. I want the world to have a piece of jade oh, in there. Oh, well, I've got beautiful jade. <laughs> All right, so those are 19 yeah, so 99 beautiful. You get the heart, 
the, 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 the moonstones. Yeah, what moon a perfect, I, I don't know if we've got time for Christmas or uh, sort of a belated Christmas gift. You couldn't give a nicer gift than that to somebody. But the thing, if you see, this is where I get angry, right? Not about, I hate it when it's somebody's birthday or it's Christmas and you have to go and buy them a present. Yeah. I would much rather see that on this channel and go, oh, yeah. do you know what? My friend Vix would love that. Yeah. And buy it for them because you want to, to get them something exactly. and not be forced to buy something because it's their birthday or because it's exactly. Christmas Day. Exactly. These are just lovely. You cannot, I always say with gemstones, you cannot give a better gift than a gemstone. You know, like I, I gift Jade. But this is wonderful because what you're saying is, I feel love for you and I want to protect you. What nice a gift can you give to anybody? Friends, family or anything. So wonderful and okay. very, very protective. Also, if you think about that, that's 19.99. You don't yeah. have to, you can keep one for yourself, Let give them. one as a gift. That's yeah. two presents for people. Make yourself a lovely, because we're all sewers. Yeah. Make yourself the most gorgeous little gift bag. Oh, a wow. A velvety gift bag. Oh, you know, the, our gorgeous velvet, you can make a really lovely little bag for it to sit in, in the velvet. Yeah. Right, I'm going to take those away from you and put that back in there. And I'm going to show you this, which is, um. Everybody knows this gemstone. It's an amethyst. Oh, amethyst, yeah. amethyst. While I get it out of the bag, can you just talk to me about amethyst? Yeah, amethyst is a wonderful stone. I have a huge geode at home with amethyst because it's one of these gemstones that will clear. You know when I was talking about uh, chakras that are blocked? Well, amethyst will automatically clear all of those blockages. It's like a magical stone and it creates calmness. So it, it's like a zen. It's like that whoosh, whoosh bring you down and be calm so it's an absolutely fantastic gemstone why people are drawn to it and if you go into people's home the most popular gemstones that people will have will be rose quartz or amethyst for that very reason just creates serenity and it manages to clear the chakra so it's almost like a magical stone and i absolutely love it and it's one of my must-have gemstones so if you get no other gemstone then buy an amethyst also you've heard say. of an amethyst haven't they you know what i mean because yes. people see it as a sparkly ring, ring or something exactly. like that exactly uh, this is just a uh, hang on it says it's a uh, oh it's top side drill that I, I couldn't see a yeah. hole in it i also just realized when you're doing that close-up then how dry my hands are so i've obviously not moisturized yeah. today oh, uh, amethyst top side drill carved flower yes there we uh, go at 9.99 yeah no it's drilled both sides so this is fantastic you could make a lovely ring with that if you wanted to um, put that on a bit of stretchy elastic and just put some beads around that and make a lovely ring or a bracelet what what about that or you know, just again, because you can't see the drill holes, what I love about the uh, gems that jewellery maker make um, and that gem pouring make is that the drill holes aren't that noticeable. So if you didn't want to, and you just wanted that on the side of your table as a little ornament, it will sit there beautiful. No one would ever know that that wasn't what it was meant to be for. No, exactly. But also, I, I don't use mine for anything. Yeah. Mine are in bowls also, around exactly, the house or just sitting lovely. on a table or anywhere. I've got a bowl of the rose quartz wit that's yeah. got with it. Carnelian. Carnelian, and it's also got some sel selenite. 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 In with it You've as well. got to have selenite yeah. in your life. So that's yeah. in the, that's in the top right hand corner of my of my um, bedroom. And then in my office, I've got a bowl of rose quartz for success and things like that. And yeah. then downstairs, I've got my bowl of crystals next to my yeah. my big uh, doors yeah. going out of the lounge and everything. So that one there, that's your um, that's your amethyst Beautiful. little uh, flower there. Oh no, I can't remember where that one came from. So yes, now. You said earlier that you love Jade. Let me get this yes. in the right place. This is one you saw at eight o'clock this morning when I showed you what we had. This is just, just beautiful. Absolutely sumptuous. Now, Jade is my number one gemstone. I'm just bejeweled in Jade. I, I wear it all the time. It's a lovely gemstone. Why is it lovely for you? Highly protective. Um, I've been wearing it since I was a baby. Um, my mother used to sort of give me, uh, make me wear Jade. Really protective. But also, it's for good fortune. So it's saying to somebody, or if, if you're having it for yourself or around the home, it's protecting you. It's also giving you lots of good fortune. And it's one of these magical stones. I absolutely love it. And here we have the Goddess of Mercy, or Guan Yin, as she's properly known as. And she is the most wonderful, wonderful uh, carving to have because what uh, Guan Yin does is she makes sure that you're well. So most um, Eastern homes will have a statue. I certainly was brought up with about three Guan Yins in our home because they look down and they protect the family from illness. So if you've got this, this really will protect you from illness. Or if you are having it in your home, it's to say, you know, 
if you've got an illness, you know, I'm keeping it at bay and it will not get the better of me. It's giving you that inner strength. That's what Guan Yin will do for you. It's not saying the illness is going to go away, but what it's saying is I can fight another day and it's not going to get the better of and me. And it's all about mindfulness, isn't it? As I yeah. said earlier, we're not doctors, so don't, no. be, don't be ringing up going, no. well, I've had measles, no. it hasn't it's, gone away. It's a, it's a it's mindful, powerful thing, isn't it? It's about state of mind and having the gemstones. Now, gemstones, they have their own vibrations, so they vibrate at their own resonance and we vibrate at a different resonance and as I said earlier if we're feeling low or stressed our vibration levels drop what happens with these is they'll bring the vibrations of your home so if you've got crystals and why so many people have crystals around their home like you were saying your mm. friend did I have them because what they do is they bring the vibrational level up so it's just doing it without you realizing so it's just lovely to have I can't I need to ask a question now what does type I mean and what does J die type right. A and what does J right. die actually mean very good question right you get type A is jade that has not been treated at all. You may not be aware of this if, if you're not into gemstones. No, exactly. But lots of gemstones are treated. They're filled and everything. Oh, and nine, I'd say 95% of gemstones are gemstones all treated. Gemstones that you buy on the high yeah. street yeah. will have been treated in some way. Now, to get a natural gemstone is very rare these days because everybody likes to enhance them. But this is completely unenhanced. So this is as Mother Nature had it in the ground. There are three types of jade. If you're looking to buy jade or jade up, there's three types. There's type A, which this is, untreated. There's a type B, which means it's been bleached and it might be polymer filled. So what that does, they might get a piece of jade and as this is out of the, the ground, beautiful, it's got this lovely green. It might be that it's a bit brown or there might be a bit here that's a bit horrible looking. They're thinking, oh, that's not very good. So what they'll do is they'll put it in a hot bath of acid for about three or four weeks and it'll bleach out that colour and make it look a much nicer colour. And then because it becomes a bit brittle, they pump it full of polymer, which is like a resin, to make sure it looks nice and shiny. And, and to make sure it doesn't yeah. smash or anything. Which, in of itself, is fine if you're just in it for, for it to look pretty. But be aware that type B has been treated and that's the way it's been treated and then a type c has been dyed so it will already have gone through the bleaching process but they will add dye to it so it might be that they treat this and they say do you know what if i colored that really dark green and made it look like really expensive i can get more money for that so they might pump in bright green or what or they might think do you know what lavenders really really expensive so let's stick lavender in there and we can sort of double our money with it but it's been dyed so you have to be aware because the prices won't reflect the treatments so what you're looking for really is a type a so if you're ever shopping always look for type a jade dye and jade dye is that what i would know is jade then yeah jade comes under an umbrella jade is a family of both jadeite and nephrite they're two different uh gems but they're part of the same family. And what that means is they're durable. And nephrite is slightly more common, slightly softer. When I say more common, it's more readily available throughout the world. They can find it in more places. Jadeite um, is much rarer and is much harder to find. And there's only a few locations where it's found. And the best jadeite that you can get is actually from Burma, right. which this is. So it's wonderful. It's gorgeous. So you can either have this little, uh, uh, um keepsake for your hand just yeah. to keep it and, and touch it and kind of feel and I think yeah. it's also got a hole drilled in it so if you want to make it into a, a pendant you can yeah. do if you want to make it into an embellishment for your brooch for your for your um, lapel or something like that you can use it for Absolutely. or to adorn like a handbag or something exactly. like that exactly and and you can glue but do you know what I think just put it in a stand or put it by the side and just look at it as a piece of beauty because the carving is absolutely out of this world. She's holding a little medicine bowl um, and you can look at this for hours. It's beautifully carved and that's sort of, you know, a healing. So it's a lovely, lovely carving to have. Lovely to gift as well. There you go. Quite an unexpected show about Chakra, but if it wasn't on, I would never have learnt about it. Explanation excellent. Thank you so much from Danny. Oh, thank Sorry. you, Danny. That's Another wonderful. quick message. Uh, thank you for the uh, thank you for the learning from you. You're amazing. I love crystals. I'm a holistic healer. Just family and me now. Namaste from Namaste Bernadette too. in West Yorkshire. Oh. Thank you, Bernadette. And also thank Shelley's you. messaging saying I love crystal. I'm not drawn to rose quartz. I wear rose quartz and I carry a crystal in my pocket at all times. Wow, it's really well funny because I carry. Um, 
th- my crystals in my bag everywhere yeah. I go. Not huge, like, they're just little hearts like that yeah. that I've collected or have been gifted to me, but they're in my bag. Right, I need to move on from yeah, this sorry. one. Yeah, sorry, that's beautiful. Well done if I've got two more that. jadeites for you. So yeah. which number would you like now? At uh, number 20, so that was 21, number 20. Right, I'm going to put this straight over here. Oh, yeah. This, funny enough, I've just picked up because I, I buy all the uh, gemstones. Now, this is what they call a pixu. And what a pixu is, it's a mythological creature and it's like a chimera creature because it's got legs of a lion, it's got the heads of a dragon, so it's mixed, it's made of lots of mythical creatures. But what's so important about a bixu and to have it in your home because it brings good fortune and retains good fortune. So what you would do is you would have this and you would have it facing your front door if you were just having it as, a, as a, an ornament. Right. And what the pixu does in mythological terms is it goes out, you know, the master, which is you, sends it out on the journey. Now go around the world, you know, and it will pick up all the gold and silver because that's all it can eat. And then it returns to you because they're very, very faithful. And it gives you all that wealth and it retains it. So not only does it give you wealth, because you know uh, and I know that sometimes you can get money in but it goes straight out on bills. Well, this will help you retain those, uh, that money. So if you're going to wear it, and uh, as I say, I've just picked up some little pixels because I'm going to wear um, make them. You could wear it. If you're going to make it into a necklace, make sure it's facing up so it can go up and out and collect all that lovely good fortune for you. Or if you're going to wear it as a bracelet, then make sure you wear it on your left hand um, any of you that are into sort of chakras or Raikou, uh, Reiki will know that the left hand is for uh, acceptance and the right hand is for um, giving. So you want to accept the money in, so you put it on your left hand facing outwards because if you trap it, if you face it inwards, it's trapped. So you want to say, you know, on your way, keep going. So you wear it on your left hand definitely, also connects to the heart, so it's good intentions as well and facing outwards so that's a way to wear bits i absolutely love the bits so you know i'm gifting them this christmas to people because i want them to have lots of i've fortune. never heard of a pixie yes, but i'm going to look wonderful. that one up right then last jade out there is a leaf yeah now leaves are really beautiful this is just a lovely carving of itself and will make a lovely pendant or just something lovely to put on the side but the importance in the carving of leaves is about family and about family connections and about growing as a family and keeping the family together. So a really, really important sign for that. So something lovely if you've got a, a, a sort of a relative that you're really close to, um, you can think about them in, in this leaf and it's all about connection and family connections and growth. Love, love, love this uh, piece of jade. Okay, there's only four of those left. Yeah, there's only wonderful. four of those left now. And it's a beautiful shape. It is, it's gorgeous. And again, it's got a drilling at the top, so that would make yeah. a lovely pendant. Lovely pendant, yeah. Pendant and you could just put a piece of cord. You don't have to put, like, uh, gold or silver. Just put a bit of cord on. You'll find a lot of um, jewellery uh, is just worn with cord, with jade. So, oh, I can see something very exciting. Right, so now, nice. these are um, it's exactly the same gemstone. They're just different sizes. Just, so yeah. I'll hold them up like this, right? Well, they stand up. So this, now they're separate, these. We're selling these separately. There's the little one there, which I'll take those out. Nine centimetres. Is that nine centimetres? And what yeah. is it, please? It is so satellite. Right. Oh, I've got some of this. Yeah. Six pound twenty-nine. Right, I'm going to go through the three different sizes. So if you want the nine centimetre one there, the XGP59, six pounds twenty-nine. The next two are the same size. No, I haven't. The, the, the next one is a ten centimetre one. Let me take that one out then. And there's that. Oh, they're all the same price. Same price, so it doesn't matter. It's just if you only want the size of it, really. And then the 12 centimetre one. Okay, the 12 centimetre goes to 7.69. Right, I'm going to give you the wand because it's 200 yeah. carats. Why, why do I need this? Oh, What's that for? No, this is a must have if you're into well being and mindfulness and to have it in the home. Selenite is part of the crown chakra. And what it does is it really connects you and just gives you that sort of. Um, wonderful feeling of just 
acceptance, seeing other people's viewpoints. It absolutely clears all of your chakras as well and it amplifies and it, it does what they call a recharge on other gemstones. Just like with clothes, if you wear clothes, you have to wash them to sort of clean them. And with gemstones around the house, you have to cleanse them. Now, sometimes that can be just by putting them under water, but some gemstones, like selenite, if you put it in water, it'll start to dissolve. But selenite has this magical power, two things. It doesn't need charging, but it also charges all of the other gemstones. So if you've Which got, is why you gave me something yes, to put in with my rose quartz. Exactly, so it'll keep it constantly charged, and so all of that lovely energy. Yeah. So it's a must have. If you are starting on your journey with gemstones, I would definitely recommend uh, buying one of these to recharge if nothing else but it's a wonderful you'll see if you go into sort of like gem shops you'll see selenite lamps because what it does is it just radiates all this positive energy okay the Ben's put his phone at the end of the table there he said if you bring the phone into shot yep and then we just put it on there like that can you see can you see what that does isn't that beautiful so some people have that as a lamp and what that is doing is just radiating this wonderful positive recharging energy so you don't have to do anything in your home just have this and what this will do is all your crystals in your home will be charged when i make jewelry little um i always put my gemstones firstly i've got a selenite bowl and i will put all my gemstones in the bowl and leave it there for a few hours and it recharge and it charges the gemstones. And when I've made the piece of jewellery, I will say to whoever's going to own this, you know, it comes with my blessings, and I'll put it on the selenite and recharge it because I've been handling <coughs> it, and I don't want any of my, you know, because I might be thinking, oh, you know, I've got to take the tilly for a walk in a minute, and you know, and I might be a bit stressed about that or something. So I recharge everything. So it's absolutely fantastic. So you can put your other gemstones to charge absolutely beautiful as it is but it also is one of these gemstones that just recharges and clears again like the um uh the amethyst will clear all of your chakras perfect perfect right now these this is what i would call tactile this is yes. something i would have i've got these in several different colors i've got one two, three, four, five, seven of these seven different colorways of these so this first one Amazonite. Yes. What's Amazonite? Then I'm Amazonite. going to pass it over to you. Right. Amazonite is one of my favourite gemstones. I love gems, as you can tell. Amazonite, part of the heart and the throat chakra. And what this is, really, really calming. So if you're stressed, um, this will calm you down and it will enable you to have a voice as well. So sometimes, say if you're a bit shy, this is a perfect one to give you that confidence to say, you know, when I talk about the heart and this is say, you know, I am good at what I do and I am gonna say what I need to say. So this is a wonderful, calming, meditative stone, but gives you confidence as well. And I absolutely adore it. So beautiful. And what a lovely, you get the lovely striations through there. So lovely. Can I mix, if I was to buy, because I've just said I've got different colours, yeah. do they like being with each yeah, other? Or absolutely can you, you don't, no. or should you keep them separate? No, no, no. You can see I wear, a, look. Oh, that, yes, 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 yes. And I've got what I call a chakra um, little bracelet, bracelet. That, that just ha radiates all the energy. So no, you can keep them together. Absolutely. And if you've got your selenite, you see, you can uh, keep charging them. The nice thing about round is not only are they beautiful because they've got several purposes they're a lovely shape so you can just hold it if you want to and it will just you know sometimes say if you're going for a, like an interview or you've got a client or you want to sell something just hold that for five minutes and you think yeah i'm ready let's okay, go okay there was a gorgeous message up there from june it said loving susie can i just put it back back up for me again there you go. Uh, loving Susie, such an informative show. Love June. Oh, thank, thank you, June. you. I'm glad you're oh, enjoying it. Number two. Yeah, and, and the round as well, just lovely, because what, what that does in the home is it just harmonises, so you get lovely balance and harmony. It just gently radiates Which energy. Which if you had them in your sewing room, be yeah, quite be nice beautiful. to call them, create Absolutely. that lovely ambiance. Absolutely, just keep yeah. a lovely, um, yeah, ambiance in your room. Now, lapis lazuli is a beautiful stone. Again, this is connected to your throat chakra, and it's also connected to your third eye so what that means is this gives you really good insight this will give you confidence but it'll give you good insight and it helps with your inter 
tuition. So if you've got decisions to make, this is a great one to have in that room. So if you've got lots of decisions, it will give you the insight and the ability to see through all your problems and, and, and problem solves and come up with that definitive answer. Not only that, the wonderful thing with lapis is it's really protective. So this really protects you from like, you know, we were talking earlier, if you've got negative sort of energies headed your way, this repels them and says, no, thank you. So I tell you, who's a big fan of lapis lazuli, Cleopatra. Yes. Because they found it in her um, yeah. tomb, didn't exactly. they? Exactly. And it's really good. If you're feeling a bit low, this is a really good one for you know getting over say you might be a bit depressed about something but you're not quite sure what it is you think oh, do you know you might be that black cloud syndrome yes. you're kind of feeling a bit yeah, miserable, miserable but you don't, you don't know, know why. why exactly then just grab your lapis lazuli and it will just suddenly you think what was that all about you know i'm happy again so really really fantastic and again one of my must-haves to now, gift rhodonite rhodonite lovely now rhodonite part of the um heart chakra and also because you can see the black is part of the um root chakra and what this is it's a great healer it absolutely heals um if you've got issues like heartbreak is is one that comes to mind if you're a bit heartbroken or you're getting over a loss or this will really resonate with you and make you feel more confident because when you sort of when you've got heartbreak or a loss you can feel a bit unsteady oh, and yeah, unsure totally. and you think oh what is the point what is the point with everything well this will absolutely say everything's going to be all right and um, you can carry on and it'll give you that inner strength so i think road night is a wonderful one if you're just feeling a bit sort yeah, of yeah, low yeah. and this is great for issues of the heart uh, and roads like you can get these gems oh i'll go back to my own time <laughs> you can get these these not these but you can get road night as a faceted gemstone Don't, as well yeah. things like that's beautiful. beautiful right so what's this one then that looks like obsidian oh Is no i just said i've got an obsidian my, now my obsidian i'm sure it's got speckles in it oh it might be either a silver obsidian oh okay yeah or it might be a oh, i can't remember uh, not Dalmatian, but it might be. Yeah, one yeah, of yeah. It's got. Uh, oh, uh, actually, uh, that rings. Snowflake obsidian. Yeah, snowflake, snowflake. That's it, yeah. 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 But obsidian. Now, I absolutely love this, and if you get the chance, this is one of my ones that is definitely a must-have. You know, when you, when you get your your little medicine drawer, and you've got your paracetamols and your cold and flu, you always have your paracetamols. This is almost like the equivalent in terms of this is a great stone for repelling negative energies um, and keeping uh, people at bay so it just protects you from all of those negative energies that want to come and sort of invade your mind and say you know you're no good you're no good you know that sort of thing i bought mine because it said have it next to your computer yes you're sitting at your computer yes. a lot have it by your computer because it repels e electromagnetic uh, energies as well okay so it's really good for that and it's almost they call it a mirror stone so what this does if you're meditating with it or sitting with it in a room sometimes you think with pat you know sometimes you have habits and you know and people say oh you know um you, you should do it that way you should do it that way and you're going no 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 i always do it this way I, you know I, and my way is right and, and <coughs> in the back of your mind you're thinking i may be wrong but you know yeah i'm, I'm sticking, sticking with to me i'm sticking with the guy Rainbow obsidian, radio obs obsidian rather, will actually make you open up your mind. It's like a mirror. If you imagine a mirror and saying, hang on a minute, what they're saying might be true. It might not be but true. I'm like that. I'm always like, if it's not my way, then it's yeah, wrong. Sort exactly. Of thing. And then when they leave, you kind of go, oh, mm. actually, what yeah, they're saying. Yeah, you feel a bit bad. So <laughs> no, don't feel bad. <laughs> <laughs> but you kind of go, oh, yeah. maybe what they were saying yeah. there's some truth in it. You know yes. What I mean? And this is a great stone for that. This. If you've got an issue, you think, am I right or am I wrong? Sit with this or have this in the room and think it out loud. And then the answer will come to you thinking, no, I was right. Or no, they're right. Yeah. So fantastic for that, but great for warding off negative energies. So that was your obsidian. So then, oh, now, now when, like. when you get this home, should you wash it or anything? Because I, I, yeah. whoever gets this one has yeah. had your energy on it. It's got Absolutely. my energy on it. So it's got, you know. And this is, yes. Now, I'll talk, I'll do, talk no, about do this, that, do that. and then, then yeah, I'll talk yeah, about cleansing because yeah, yeah. it's really, really important. Now, yeah. this is iolite. Now, iolite is part of the third eye chakra, and this will give you really great intuition into, you know, sometimes you've got an addictive behaviour. It might be, I've got one OCD. I'm 
mad about cleaning. Don't know why, but it has to be absolutely spotlessly clean. Otherwise, I get up in the middle and I'm thinking, oh, I haven't done that. Um, and it's not necessary. Eyelight is really good for actually putting everything into perspective. So it's great for breaking bad habits. So if you've got bad habits or if you overwork, this is really good for that, for calming you down. So it's a really good one for giving you deep insight. Now, I think, if I'm not mistaken, the Vikings used to take eyelight with them. Exactly. And they used to use it as Mother Nature's compass yes, exactly. to find out where they were going. And if they were in a storm, they would throw it over yeah. to obviously give it to the sea gods to say, please let exactly. us get home. And that's so it's that, you know, it's that, it's got that, that much history. Am I on the right one? It is yeah, exactly yeah. that. And, and, it re and that's why it relates to your third eye, because it's your intuition that it absolutely tunes into and says, this is what you need to do and this will show you the way. And, and it's a beautiful, beautiful gemstone. I mean, look at that. To have that just in your home. The thing is, the thing is, if you got a little bowl and bought four oh, of these, yes. they just look beautiful. Oh, wonderful. And the energy that they'd be radiating out. Right. Now, before I talk about this yep. one, I'm quickly going to talk about cleansing because that's really important. I don't want to sort of run out of time and not yeah, have the yeah, opportunity. Yeah. Cleansing your crystals is really important. So when you get them, you, you need to. Several ways of doing that. First way, if you get the opportunity to buy the selenite, then all you have to do is sit it on the selenite, job done, leave it there for a couple of hours, it is job done, nothing more. Otherwise, there's several ways. You can wash them, but you have to be careful because some don't like water, like turquoise, um, I can't think of them, they've all gone out of my head, but there are some uh, that really, opals, don't like water, oh, no, emeralds no. really don't, no, exactly. don't like water. So the safest way to do it is to put it in some brown rice overnight, and that will cleanse it. There are other ways that I don't use. Some is saying that you put it out in the sunlight, and I have done this, if it's been a nice sunny day, I've just put them in the garden and just left them there for a few hours because they say that the, 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 the magic of, of the sun will cleanse all of your crystals. And it can be said of the moon, if, you, if you're into sort of the, the moon. So you put it in the full moon and let it cleanse overnight. Um, you can run it under clean water, but you have to be careful with water, so I'm always a bit reticent to sort of recommend everybody sort of oh, get isn't that weird? Because I, I run mine under cold water, yeah. and then I let them dry in the sunshine or in the moonlight. Yeah, and that's that, good. That, yeah. But because my house is south facing, yeah. so I put them on the, the workshop yeah. in the kit to workshop in the kitchen, and the sun just beams. Yeah. Dry. Anyway, why don't you yeah. have time? What's this one here then? This so is uh, rainbow moonstone. So to me is the, is the best way to do it because uh, it's very safe. Now, this is, sorry, this is... Rainbow Moonstone, this oh, one, isn't it? Oh, yeah. love this. Rainbow Moonstone. This relates to your crown chakra. And it is, again, another one for intuition. And because it's Moonstone, it really relates to the sort of feminine energies. So that is about thoughtfulness, empathy, um, and it gives you insight. So a great problem solver. So if you've got an issue that you have and you can't work it out, then just have this by you and the answer will come to you. You know when I said um, at the beginning of the show, you need to just close your mind for at least 10 minutes. And when I say meditate, I don't mean sort of don the, um, the yoga position and go, um, you don't have to. If you're into yoga and writing, fantastic. But I will meditate just with a cup of coffee um, and just zone out and think of nothing. But beforehand, if you want to have a problem solved, sit with your gemstones and just think of that problem thinking, how do I get round that customer who is always saying I'm overcharging or something? That's it. And then you just sit there thinking, well, I'm gonna have my coffee. I'm not thinking of that anymore. And I'm not gonna think about that for the rest of the day. And I'm gonna think about nothing. All I'm gonna do is hear about my breathing. So I'm just breathing in and I'm breathing out. I'm going to do that for a few minutes. If you've got half an hour, even better. Um, and just breathe in. Don't think of anything, clear your mind. And all you're doing is just thinking about nothing. And then when you come out of that, you might hear the birds. Let's try and hear out for the birds. Just concentrate on what sounds you, you can hear. And then when you're ready to come out of that meditation, you might give yourself five minutes. So you might want to set an alarm or something thinking, right, I'm out of that. Then get on with your daily job. But what that's done is it's brought your lovely your blood pressure down it's calmed you you're refreshed and um, that answer will come to you you'll suddenly go you'll be doing something else and suddenly you think I know how I get around that without even thinking so I always say never worry about your issues um, because there's always uh, a solution to them exactly. all and they will come to you but maybe not when you want it because you know like 
we always say, I want to answer that question now and I need an answer now. Exactly. You're stressing yourself out and that is just no good. Right, I've never heard of this before, Lepidolite. Oh, Lepidolite, this is a beautiful gemstone. This is a part of the heart chakra and this is a great healer. Um, and then this is good for depression and it's a healing of the the, the, the body and the mind so again like the rhodonite it's really good for grief so if you if you're suffering with grief or a change in circumstances and because um of the color it's got some purple in it it actually has it ca it can relate to the third eye as well so this again gives you insight whereas the rhodonite will keep you grounded and think you know, everything's going to be all right and i feel safe with lepidolite, what it does is it says, it gives you the solution to say, right, I need to move on um, and this is the way forward. So it's a different approach to a similar problem. Perfect. So wonderful. So Lovely. if you love the colour purple and white, oh, absolutely no, perfect. The thing is, buy it, buy it because you, li buy it because you yeah, like it. Absolutely. It's just a, a gorgeous little ornament. Just, I mean, you don't have to, no. I'm not saying you don't have to believe in English, no, you but don't. You, if you're drawn to it, there's a reason why you're drawn, it's a reason why we're drawn to K Facet Fabrics, there's a reason why we're drawn yeah. to William Morris Fabrics, there's a reason why we're Absolutely. drawn to Liberty Fabrics, because you love it, buy it because you love it, not because, yeah. You might be thinking, so I'm going, oh, she's talking a load of old pop. pop Absolutely, and I expect a lot of you are that. Are, are, are no, really no, no, I don't think a lot of people yeah. are. The amount of messages we get, that yeah, are positive. Which is wonderful. But, but some people will go. Absolutely. I, I live with my husband who just sort of like um, placates me in it. I'm, I live my life through it. I live through karma. I let all, everything go. If somebody annoys me, I think, somebody else to worry about, I just send them lots of love. And my husband thinks you're a crazy woman. Um, <laughs> but. There's something to it because he allows me when I say, oh, I've just seen a lovely rock I want to buy. They think, oh, you have it then. Yeah. Because he knows that our home is, is but really But also it calm. makes you exactly. into a better person. person. It makes yeah. you into you. So it doesn't matter if you believe yeah. in crystals, if you believe in flowers. or Because yeah. I always have this thing, like my friend Jilly taught me this. She said, no matter how poor you are, no matter how, always, even if it's a bunch of dandelions from the garden, yeah. always have a bunch of flowers in the house. Yeah. And I try, even if it's just the cheapest, cheapest, yeah. I always try and have some flowers in the house because it makes me it's feel energy. better. Exactly. And, it, and these will be the same sort Absolutely. of thing. Right, two more things to, I've just got to talk about. But now I've got eight or nine. Number eight, right. So I'm oh. going to put, give you that. It's a pack of one two three four six multi gems in there oh lovely so, so have i got a list of what's in there then please they, these might be would they be sort of like everyone's different or will they all be the same oh i see oh i see everyone's going to be different, different. so it's just so, you're getting six gemstones in yeah, there yeah so th these are really lovely and these are tumbles so in this state what this does is it gives you that natural just raw energy just resounding if you're going to hold them like this this will just sit with you some people can actually feel the vibrations i'm not fortunate enough to feel vibrations but some people are very psychic with this and they can actually feel the vibrations because oh, wow. they do actually vibrate but I, to be honest i can't wish i could well no no but i think that's lovely because you could stand here going oh yes i can feel the vibrations yeah, but, but no, you're being honest and, you, and this is what no, you do exactly. this is your life but you, and you say i can't feel them yeah. which i think is refreshing because we're on a shopping channel yeah and you know sometimes you see people go yeah, oh, oh yes, yes i feel the energy i feel yeah, the energy you no. go, i know you can't but. but do you know what ever since the child i have just loved gemstones it's from mother nature and we are all stardust aren't we yeah and these you know we've become water. people bit of water bit, bit of water yeah. Yeah. bit of the, the few chemicals and um, we come up as people otherwise we could have come up as a gemstone so yeah. i love them and i just think this is what mother nature's created and they really resonate with me so you'll all get different ones but we've got some beautiful amethyst but what these will do is they will just radiate that lovely energy around the house so you don't even have to believe in it you don't even have to know what the rocks are you just know that they're going to give you positive energies because rocks are nice and they're, they're going to look pretty yeah. put them in a little, little glass tumbler somewhere yeah. no, around a candle i've got a lot of mine with yeah. that surrounding candle bases right exactly so that's actually one of six and in this yeah. one how many Ooh, did you get in this one? 20, lots, did you say? 20 lots. in this one. Wow. Because the nice thing with um, crystals is they're all, they're all positive. 
how often do we find people are just pure positivity yes, yes. and rocks are pure positivity so if nothing else you've just got lovely energy coming through your house um, so here you've got a lovely mix of clear quartz I can see some beautiful obsidian but they all will be different again yeah. they all will be a uh, different yeah. amethyst we've got some red jasper here it's beautiful absolutely lovely just to have that gorgeous right yeah. well, that's not your price yeah. that is not your price I don't know where we're going. And great for anybody that's embarking on geology, you know, that loves yes. geology. Oh, you should talk to uh, um, uh, Delphine's youngest, loves yeah. going to mines and loves geology yeah. and everything like that. Exactly. Yeah. And as a child, because I used to do sort of like, I used to forage and collect rocks, I used to find rocks and I, <laughs> giving away secrets now, I used to put them on the back of a shoe box and sellotape them and then write down what I thought they were as my little collection. Oh. So this would be perfect if, if you want to start a child in that wonderful world of geology. Beautiful gift to have. And again, just and wonderful to have in the house. Fantastic. It's like you get starter 20 in there. kit. Oh, loads of you coming through for that. Yeah, it's wonderful. Lo we don't know why it's this price, but that's what it's we've been good. told by way and it's supposed to be. So, so keep going through for that. Keep going through for that. Right, now, let me put that back there. Uh, I've got some what? What number are they? Number 24. There. Oh, oh, that's pretty. Oh, yes, I. Oh, so please, I thought we had these on, yes. These are peace signs, and we all know that um, sign there, and that's the way up it goes. So that represents peace. So this is your amethyst peace sign. Yeah. So if you like amethyst, as I say, it's a fantastic gemstone to have because it creates calm. It also clears all your chakras, so it's a really all round good gemstone to have and to just wear a peace sign isn't that lovely and you can embroider that or put it in a corner of a piece of uh like if you're making a bed quilt just put it in a corner yeah. you can have a little pocket you sew a pocket in it so when you're washing it take, take it, it out, out. Yeah. but have that sort of radiate or wear it i mean beautiful I, say, so, I, I, I suppose you could get a piece of leather thong and type yeah, a piece of leather absolutely. thong absolutely that's all you would do just put a piece of cord and that's all i would or do cord, yeah bit of cord around there just I mean, great unisex isn't it that, yeah. that's fun. gender friendly gender friendly all ages so can't go wrong with that one and there's only five of those left only yeah. five of those left I love right. before Susie toys. goes I just want to say we're not doctors no. so it's, uh, I'm, and I'm not picking on Susie or anything like that but we're not doctors so no. we think that, that it can heal you can help you and know, everything like that but obviously we're not doctors so we're not saying this no. will cure you of this i've just we just got to say absolutely. that absolutely this is all about well-being and mindfulness and i'm really about being giving yourself the time to be in the moment of now we're always too busy thinking about what we did yesterday full of regrets or what we've got to do tomorrow and we really think about what we're doing now we think about now two weeks later Yes. So well-being and keeping your, your mind balanced is being in the here and now and appreciating the here and now. And if you appreciate the here and now and you have gratitude for the here and now and just make sure that you are really taking time out to look after yourself because if you're healthy and your mind strong, you can tackle anything. Um, if you look, if you like what's been hanging behind uh, Susie, it's a Delphine design. Now, it's the instructions and just the, the logos. It's not all the fabric that goes with it. You'd need to supply your own fabric here. But for 1998, you get the panel. Wow. I'll just hold that up for you. You get the panel there, which has got all the chakra signs in the middle yeah. of them. And then the, uh, the instructions. Could you remember, have we got a date for this? 10th of August, if you want to go and have a look at how much fabric you need and the demonstration wow. for it, 10th of August. A couple of messages for Susie before we go. Thank you so much, beautiful, uplifting energy oh, from thank Bernadette. thank you, Bernadette, thank you. And another one very quickly, and then we'll have to go. Uh, love this show, so informative. If you are left-handed, does this affect the side energies in the body? No, it doesn't, because the energies flow through, and what they do is they rotate, and they, they, they go through both energies, so they're doing this. So you don't have so, to worry about no, being left-handed or right-handed. doesn't matter if you're left-handed or right-handed. Good question, though, no. Joe, because I yeah. wouldn't have thought about that. No. Susie, oh, thank you so much for popping in to see us. Oh, it's been my pleasure. Uh, we'll see you again, hopefully, yeah, in the future. Yeah, that'd be lovely. What we'd probably brilliant to do as well is if we, if we get some kits together that could be 
we could make things out Absolutely, of, like kind of and things yeah. like that, to, and so sewing and things, exactly, all that sort of thing. Yeah. So today was just like an introduction, so, but yeah, then in the future, because it's been it. so well, uh, so well uh, accepted. No, what's the word I'm looking for? Received. Received. Thank you. Yeah. Received. Received. Give. Um, uh, that I think we should we could de develop this into mm. other things in the future to do with more with sewing enough. It'd be brilliant. Mm. So have a lovely Christmas. And you too. Uh, I won't see you again before then. Will no, we're not in again. I'm in on Christmas Day. Oh, I'll see you then. I'll, I'll see you Christmas I'll see you then, Day. Then. Uh, and I'll see you in four minutes when Delphine is here doing a brand new Tula Pink quilt. I'll see you in four. Christmas and a Happy New Year from me and from Freddie. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. Head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Hi there, my name's Alison Marion and I'm thrilled to be joining the Sewing Street family. I live in Staffordshire where I run a couple of sewing groups and I have a passion for vintage sewing machines and also a plique. I've stitched in some form for as long as I can remember but I absolutely love teaching and helping people stretch their skills and hopefully demystifying some of the techniques that can be quite daunting for beginners. So I'm looking forward to meeting the team and getting into the studio. See you soon. Are you a fan of Sewing Street? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing community. See you there! Make sure you tune in this Thursday for the brand new launch of Liberty Fabrics. Join Vix and Susie Duncan for the next instalment of the Flower Show collection with 15 designs available and fat quarter bundles. We'll be bringing a neutral palette of soft moss greens, buttercup yellows and pale blush pinks, which sit harmoniously against cooler greys and charcoals. Make sure you tuned in this Thursday at 9am on Sewing Street. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one P&P all day. Follow Sewing Street on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too.
That was a funny old thing you did then, Charlie. We went Christmas then this, isn't it? Anyway, it doesn't matter. Oh, is it? Are you sure? No, it wasn't earlier. Anyway, look at this. Brand new, brand new, brand new. Big, beautiful quilt. Rise and Shine quilt kit. Uh, featuring Moon Garden, True Colours and Designer Essential Solids by Tula. Beautiful. Now, I'll open it up because it's how yours will arrive. Now, let's have a look what it says on here. A quilt designed by Tula Pink. The finished quilt size is 72 by 84 inches, which is 183 by 213. So it's a biggie. Pieced and foundation paper piecing. Skill level intermediate. And then you've got Rise and Shine quilt pattern with templates and foundation paper oh you get the sheets already in here that's brilliant all fabrics needed to assemble the quilt top and the binding so let's have a look inside then 249.99 split pay 83.33 three times there's so much fabric in here look at all this look at all that fabric beautiful look 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 so these fabrics, you get all of this. I'll go through the pattern in a minute. I'll go through the fabrics first. So you got all these beautiful fabrics. There's your beautiful um, dragonfly. Dragging your feet, I think that one's called, or something like that, isn't it? Then that one comes in the pink and the blue. Then you've got the beautiful owls in the lilacs and purples. Then you've got the owls in the pinks. Then, there's the snake one. Oh, I never saw that one. I called it Hissing Sid just there, but it's not called that. It's, uh, no, I called it Slithering. I called it Slithering. I think it's called Hissing Sid. Hang on, let me just double check. Hissy Fit. Hissy Fit, it's called Hissy Fit. So you've got the snake in the uh, mulberry background, the snake in the black background. And then I love this. I love this ombre fabric. Let me show you this one. I think that one's my favourite. I love those pants. I love this. I saw this yeah. yesterday because I'd not seen it before yesterday in a 10 inch charm pack. And I just love that. Look at that. And then come in close and have a look how close it is. Close. Look. <gasps> love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Then. Let me just fold that up nicely because that goes in there. We've got that one in the golds. Look at those colours. Beautiful. Then you've got your finches. Then we've got this colour uh, finches as well. Beautiful. Then look at all these true colours now. Beautiful jade, chartreuse, purple, coral, fuchsia salmon then we've got these beautiful beautiful um stripy flowers with the bumbly bees uh, in the different colors you've got that one in the jade you've got it in the shutters you've got it in the, now these geometrics are lovely look at these beautiful geometrics in the red in the green in the lilac in the pink then we go back to the psychedelic in the pink and gray there and I think there's other, oh, that's nice. Look at that. All these different fabrics all included in the quilt kit. Then you've got that beautiful um, kind of, uh, I can't remember the name, etoile. Oh, pom-poms. We've got pom-poms in here as well. We love them, that's guava or something like that. Then we've got the hexes. Oh, there's so much here. Oh, now I've not seen these. Look at all these stripes. Oh, stripes and spots, mini look. So you've got the yellow, the pink, the lilac, not lilac, magenta, uh, kingfisher, purple, lavender, pink, bright yellow, another pink, and love. Oh, that's nice. I'd like a shirt. That one. Jade and green, yellow and pink. All of those stripes are in there. Then you also get all of these, all of these solid colours here as well. So I don't know if it tells you the total amount of fabric in the kit, unfortunately. No, it doesn't say. It doesn't say how much there is, but so much, so much, so much. Now let's look at the instructions. Let's just look at these instructions. Well, now the instructions feel like a booklet themselves. Yeah, exactly. Oh, it's because you've got all your um, FPP charts in, isn't it? So let's get rid of those, first of all. So, Delphine explain all this to you in a minute, but if you look, there are two different blocks, right? The rest, it's all made up of two different blocks, but it's just the way that the, the fabric is placed and everything like that. Fabric combinations. There it is. There's a list of all your fabrics. So what's G called? Wildflower. That's right. Wildflower. And then what was Q called? Dragging your feet. Oh, I got that one right. And then U, Night Owl. 
Beautiful. What do they call those ones? Oh, Lazy Stripe. Oh, okay. Then there's all your other fabrics there. Beautiful. And then all your, this is your portable reference sheet. That's one you can just have by your machine if you want to while you're doing it. Because here are all your other instructions. Block diagrams. So it tells you which, oh, look. So it tells you which fabric to use for every single piece of all of the different blocks in there. How you make the blocks. Fantastic. Then, so this is, this is, a, then, oh look, everything you need to know, quilt layout, finishing, block construction. So it's a mixture of paper piecing and regular piecing. So then in here, you get four sheets of all your different, look, there you go. Oh, now I see what you mean about them being quite simple shapes. These, it's not a difficult foundation paper no. piece at all, is it? Then you've also got templates for your corner bits as well. So she's thought of absolutely everything in there. £249.99, split pay, 83.33 three times. Huge quilt, rise and shine. Absolutely stunning. Say this again. Lots gone into baskets, lots gone into baskets. Right, okay, so let's start a little demo then shall we okie doke just ironing me piece bits and pieces oh actually the blocks are huge aren't they yeah so there's hold those up that's just two and i think there's how many one two three four five six one two three twenty four so twenty four of those are so they all different every, every single, single one's one. different and it's, it's gonna it'll be huge quilt yeah yeah well it's uh, 183 by 213 so it's as tall as i am and then over two metres wide. Wow. Big. So big for your bed, that. Beautiful. So so I've done one of each block to right. show you. So basically you've got one with all your little squares in. And uh, squares, I don't know what shape they are. Yeah, so you've got one with the, the, the smaller pieces, the FPP. And then you've got the other blocks the, um, of the longer, the longer strips. So we're basically, that's it. And then you just alternate them. So it will be... Uh, yeah, so there'll be three of each along each um, line. Yeah. So I'm going to show you how to make these. So I'll start off with this one first. Brilliant. Do that. So you'll cut out all your pieces and you're going to have, let me do, so we're going to do that one first. Let me just iron my paper because it's folded up. Would you photocopy these? I or, would. Yeah, rather than using her, her block the whole time. Yeah, I would. Only because I. Oh, actually, you're actually going to have to, because she won't have done all 24 blocks worth, will she? She'll have... She has. No, has she really? Yeah. So you get all 24, you so you don't it. need to, oh, yeah, she has. You get you get them all, yeah. Yeah, oh, okay, so you don't need to photocopy it, but then why wouldn't you? Because then if you want to come and make it again in different fabrics, you've then got the pattern still, exactly, haven't you? Exactly, yeah. 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 So you're going to have, for each, for each block, you're going to have two longer strips and one shorter one. All yes. the numbers are obviously um, your, your steps, so you'll do... You, one to five, one to three. So we'll start off with this one here, which is the short side. Yeah. Really, really simple. Um, so what do you need? I'm just seeing if you've got an adequate ruler I can use. Oh, yes. Yeah. So Did we get the adequate rulers out? Oh, you've got them. Have you actually got them physically, Ben? Oh, no, the adequate rulers have been added. You know, the yellow ones with the ridges. So that's be your first piece. So that's got to stay right side up. So if you're new to foundation paper piecing, this is a perfect way to start because it's really, really simple. Basically FPP, doing it like this, it's a really accurate way of sewing. So you know that all your points are going to meet. So all your cutting uh, guide is all in the instructions. Uh, there is a lot more waste when it comes to uh, FPP. That's mainly because it needs to have, make sure the pieces are a lot bigger than the piece that's going on, just to allow for trimming and everything else. So you will have, so it's a good one for you to build up your scrap bag as well because you will have lots of little bits left over and she'll have allowed for that as well in the, in yeah, the fabric oh, yeah. allowance yeah oh you get you get so much i mean i had a look on one of the pieces um like i said it was the whole width of the fabric you're going to use about a third of it oh wow so you're going to have loads absolutely yeah. so, so even you know i know you've got backing fabric you could even piece it or yes yes, yes yes yeah yeah, because this this uh, this bundle only uh, not only it's for the front and the binding. You have to supply your own backing for it. So first piece, what you're going to do is that you want to cover it and that make sure that it overhangs on either side of your paper. And then you're going to have your next piece. So 
number one is already in place. You can put a pin in it if you want to, but the, the pieces are quite small. So what I do to, for my first one is that I just, my nails. <laughs> so I'm just gonna hold it up to the light and I want that first piece to go, you can't see it, you will once I've sewn it. So you are just holding it up and I'm doing it by eye, basically a quarter of an inch that hangs between one and two. Right. And all I'm going to do is sew over that with a short stitch length. And uh, How short? I'm going to sh shorten mine to 1.5. Oh, okay. Very short then. Yeah. So bearing in mind, uh, this is where, you, if, again, if you are new, definitely photocopy one just to have a bit of a practice. Oh, yeah, definitely. But as we say, it's not advanced foundation paper piecing. It's very, very simple, beginner-friendly foundation paper piecing. And already, one and two are now in place. Like that, so. And that's it? That's it. It's so easy. I wonder why she did that foundation paper piece, then. Uh, I know it's I all to do with know. precision and everything like that, but... Strange, isn't it? Because you think a lot of designers just sew two strips you together. You just sew those together. I don't know if it's because they're then being on the cut on an on the, angle. On an angle but okay. But it's no, no, no. But I don't. I'm not. I'm not disparaging it at all. I'm just saying it's a very, very simple foundation paper piece. So I'm going to do this by eye. I'm not using a ruler. I'm just going to do an eye of a quarter of an inch. Okay. Only because I didn't have my card with me, but I'll use that in a bit. Right. Okay, so one and two are in place, and then I'm just going to finish it off. How weird. That's it. It's okay. really that easy. So that's creating the border of block number one. Whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, hang on. Oh, oh, hang on. I thought that I hadn't mentioned it because I thought that was your price. Well, wow, hang on, there's so much fabric in here and it's such a huge, beautiful quilt. I thought that was a fair price, right? Um, Ben's, this is Ben's Christmas present to you. How much? Oh, it's a funny price. 22499, split paid down to 74.99 now. So 75 pounds three times. Brilliant. I had no need to that. Now, if you've already checked out, which quite a few of you have, you will now, you only pay that fine price. We haven't taken the money off your card yet. It doesn't get taken off till midnight. So, um, so basically, you, everyone pays that price now. That is it. Don't expect any more. That's your price. That's your price. And then I'm just trimming it up. So when you cut out your, the paper pieces, don't go all the way to the end. Just go roughly around the edges. And then when you trim it up, Go right on the line. Yeah. Make sure you add on those little doggy ears as well. And that's it. Okay. So you just keep making them? Oh, I suppose it's because you're doing the end. She's getting you to do the ends on the right angle. Otherwise, that's it'd be it, like, take part, a ruler, yeah. get a 30 degree angle, get a 60 degree angle. So that's why she's done it. So I mean, the, I knew there'd be a reason why, but it was just. Um, yeah, so there you go. So, okay. so that's one. And so I need to now do the longer one. This one's a little bit trickier. This one's got the diamonds on the end. So we'll go and do that one next. Oh. And those are all your bits and pieces left over. When you say that, oh, it's the shorter one because it hasn't got the diamonds, the, mi yeah. the middle bit's still the same size, but you're adding the two diamonds onto the end. Yeah, I so so those will be the, where the diamonds are. So this yeah. will be the longer piece, which I'm going to make in a minute. That's going to be that. Obviously, it will be facing that way up yeah. because you always sew with the numbers facing you. And so that piece is that one. Right. Got so, it? Yeah. Perfect. And are there any uh, fabrics that you have... Oh, there won't be for this bit, I suppose. You don't have to worry about direction of fabrics because they're just no, dots and stripes. The in. only uh, bit you need to worry about the direction is the centre diamonds and when you come and do the, the, this border here. So Oh, OK, we'll get to that. We'll get there's to that. only one or two that yeah, are directional. Yeah. Do you know what? I really wouldn't worry about it because no. the patterns are done Well, no, I suppose, I suppose the thing is, if it's going on the bed, it's going to go all over the place. Exactly. But I'm just trying to see what she's done on hers. Let me have a look here. 
Oh no, look, her owl. Oh no, I've got it upside down that way. So she's got her finches and her owls all sitting upright. But the snake doesn't matter, does it? No. And she, she's got her, oh well, the thing is she's got her flowers going upwards but the bumblebees are upside down. So it doesn't matter, it really doesn't matter. She's fussy cut the one with the, um, I want to say hornet, it's not a hornet, is it? Um, dragonfly. Dragonfly. She's, she's fussy cut it so the dragonfly one sits right in the middle of the of the diamond. But the others, she's just got, and that one, the um, unusual like, optical one, she's just cut however. Yeah, I saw, I didn't, I just cut that one however. I didn't do it in a, yeah. any special way. Just, if anything, I just did it quite, um, so I didn't use too much of the fabric. Yes, exactly, yeah. So 12 of them will have this striped border on. Yeah. So you're making 12 of this version and 12 of that version, yeah. aren't you? But they are all different, which is nice. So it's none of that, you know, like, so 224 of these together, each one's going to be a little project yeah, it's, of its own. That's, yeah, it? that's what I mean. Everything, it's going to be a really interesting quilt to make because yeah. it, like you say, it does constantly um, change, doesn't it? Each one's completely different. Yep. Yeah. Where's my ruler gone? So I haven't got a card, but what I would, would normally do is use a little bit of card rather than that edge. Okay. And then you can, I so said I'm just doing it by because I've done a bit longer. Oh, she's also suggesting you need some template plastic. I'm presuming that's for when you fussy cut your <laughs> diamond in the middle, isn't yeah, it? So you get it. Well, that's how she's got her dragonfly exactly in the middle, isn't it? Yeah, I, again, I just use the paper. Yeah, you haven't done a dragonfly one though yet. I have. Uh, Oh, have you? I'll cut oh, it out. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, you get your template plastic, oh, fine, yeah. but if you haven't got it, you can. You yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. can do it. Now, it says you can machine wash it cold, but then the, then the little symbol underneath says 30 degrees. Oh, no. So I've got that far with that one. Yeah. Now, so I'll give that a... Are the two purple stripes the same width? What do you mean? Yes, they that are. That one and that one are the same width. They so you are. haven't got to worry about what one being the right way up or anything like that. It's no, no. So then I've done one, two, three. Now I just need to do four and five. So you fold. Chop. I'll put the graphics through later for the uh, added quarter rulers. I think I'll just trim that one. I might as well while I'm here. Yeah. There we go. So now I'll add the two end sections, which not there. See, I love this stripe. Yeah, I do as well. Love it. So, There's a famous shirt maker called Pinks, and that, that was what they were famous for. Men's, you know, city oh, yeah. suits, you know, meant for men's city. It's just that lovely, yeah. Really funky, isn't yeah. it? So, a little tip when you're going to come and put your, your diamonds on, obviously, when, you've, when you're going to, because that's obviously going to be right sides together. So, then when you fold it back, obviously, it's going up on an angle. So, you want to make sure that you're covering the whole of the diamond. Yeah. So, dependent, I tend so to. So, does go, she not tell you what size to cut your pieces out? Yes. Oh, she does. So, she's allowed for that. Yeah. Though. So, always start below and go fold towards the direction yes. it's going. But always, always either pin it or do what you've just done and fold it over to make sure it's going to cover the whole piece yeah. of paper. Yeah. Because yeah. sometimes you think, oh, that's going to go. And then when you fold it, it actually folds the other in the opposite direction. It goes upwards instead of downwards. That's so right. And then, because you're sewing with a shorter stitch length, you don't want to be caught out on picking it because it doesn't like being unpicked, just paper. So that's that one in place. Then okay, I'll Steph's confused. One. Morning, John. That FPP doesn't make sense if it's only quarter of an inch seam on those strips. 
Steph, explain, is, explain more fully. It's definitely only a quarter inch. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I always just trim it off. Yeah. And then that's. Yeah, perfect. perfect. Done. So I'll trim all this away. That's a huge piece you've got on the end there. I think I'd be a little bit more frugal than that. I know, but I was, you know, it's yeah. sewing on the telly, isn't it? <laughs> well, don't start using that as an excuse. <laughs> so let me just. You should pop this. a ruler for that one. Do you want a longer one? Are you right? Uh, I'm, I'm alright. Oh, there, I'm alright with this. I can manage. So you just trim. Trim it all away. Need to change my blade. It's a bit blunt. Is it not a fresh blade for a new project? No. That's Charlie saying that, not me. I never change. No, well, maybe in the I, new year. I do change my blades, just not for every project. No. I'll never have any money. I'll spend it all on blades. On blades. Yeah. Although I do like to treat myself. When you do uh, start cutting up loads of fabric, I do like, because it's like going through butter. It is, it? yeah. Let's say you do have quite a lot of bits left over. And there you go. There's your next piece. So you're just going to do that. Yeah. To do all two sides. So I'm just going to quickly trim up these. No, no, sides. that's fine. That's fine. Because these are the ones. Uh, I made kit two hundred twenty four ninety nine. Let me just move that out of the way. Um, you get all of this fabric. There's so much fabric here. Now, I don't know. She hasn't put how much. Oh, actually, my tail in here. She hasn't said how much you get in total. Normally, in these kits, it tells you how much you get. But um, the blocks are twelve inches by twenty one inches. The finish size is 72 by 84. Intermediate, piece and foundation. Oh, actually, I could add it all up. Hey, Have you read that somewhere? Hang on, nine. I'll add, and while Delphine does some sewing, if I go quiet, it's because I'm adding it up, right? <laughs> right. So make sure you've got your iron always Shh. on. 25, 28, 31, 31, 34, 34, 37, 40, 46, 52, 59, 59, 59, 66, 72, 78, 85, 92, 92, 99, 99, Oh, it. Where are you Sorry. going? Oh, he is. He's adding up all sorts here. Yeah, pens. What? 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 Nothing. I'm just like. Eleven, twelve, I don't know where you got yours from, Ben. Yeah. Yeah, you have. Right, carry on. Sorry, Duffy. So, that's that all trimmed up. So, fussy cutted out the diamond. I recommend that you uh, spray all your fabric with a bit of best press or um, some starch before you cut it all down. Yeah. And so, the way it will piece together will be like this. So what you do first is you do your small ones first. So we're going to sew those white sides together. Yeah. 
So, and what she's even done as well is you line up that flat edge so you haven't, you haven't got to worry about offsetting your That's seams. why I think this is what Steph's getting at. That's why I said at the beginning, why aren't they just sewing the strips together? But actually, she's given you all the angles that you don't Everything. need to worry about. She's cut off the dog ears that you don't need to worry about. That's why she's done it as FPP. Because otherwise, I would have... It, it, when I sew these type of shapes together, you offset by a quarter of an inch. Yes, yeah, exactly. And you're having to measure and pin, and you where you do don't that. have no, to do exactly. that. Exactly. I am going to switch to my quarter inch foot loo. Oh. I like my, I like my quarter inch foot. That box is very messy, Delphine. That's it's a working. It's her own. It's not ours. It's not our, ours being messy. Jane from Elna's watching now. She'll be on that phone. <laughs> There we are. So I've switched to a quarter inch foot now. Lovely. And then you sew these on. There we go. Just going to make sure that that flat edge is lined up perfectly. Because this is where you really want to take your time to line up your edges because at least then when it's all sewn together, all your points will meet nice. Yeah. Because then, once you open it out, you see yeah. it's lined up perfectly with that other one there. So nothing's been offset, so it's all all fits perfectly there. So you do it with the bottom one as well. Yeah. So now I'm going to give that a press. Lovely. I'm just adding it up. I'm still adding it up. Are you still adding it up? Yeah, because I realised there's two pages. I've only added the first page up. There we are. That's looking good. And now I'm going to sew the two longer strips on but this is what you're looking for you're looking for those points to to meet together there okay. so be quiet John. i'm just concentrating i'm feeling the pressure now yeah come on we're in your sewing room now, let me concentrate. £224.99, three split, well, it's, if you imagine it's 225 it's three split payments of £75, isn't it? First one, and it's interest free as well, remember, the thing I need to tell you about interest free, while Delphine's saying that, is no matter what happens in the world, this price will always stay the same for the next three payments. If, even if, because interest rates went up again, didn't they, last week? If interest rates go up and up and up and up and up, you will, uh, we won't suddenly go, oh, interest rates going up, you need to pay us more money. That's it, because it's interest free. You don't charge any interest whatsoever. And we send it out to you the minute. So we'll take your payment at midnight tonight. Uh, I'm not sure. So we'll, what day is it? I, 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 obviously, it's not going to be any time for Christmas because it's Christmas on Sunday. But it, it'll. Be, I think now are our warehouse working during the, the, the bit between Christmas and New Year? They must be, mustn't they? There was a time when I worked in shopping telly where on Christmas Eve or the day before Christmas Eve, you got every trolley for the next ten days lined up outside the door. Oh, now. You can buy this quilt elsewhere in, in the UK. Look, you can buy this quilt elsewhere in the UK. And how much is it? £336 in stock. Just hang on, just have a good look. Wow. Okay, is that only showed that if it's a big company, not if it's a little, if it's a little independent, yeah. Basically, we haven't found it, we haven't found it this low price anywhere else, at all. Oh, oh, actually, okay, now hang on, 
We found it, we found it a, a little bit more, but it's coming from America, so you have to pay duty on it. £67 for delivery. So that would take it way, take over the £300 mark again. Not ours, not ours, not ours, not ours. We take, deal with all of that for you. You don't do any of that. So what are you saying, Duffy? So that's the diamond all done now. Right. So now... I didn't see how you put the middle bit in. You were... Hmm. Well, they have. Oh, that's fine. It's on the <laughs> did, you, did you explain what you were doing? Yeah. Or you in silence? Yeah, I did. Are you sure? The two short ones, two long ones. Yeah. Press it as you And go. how did you cut your diamond down? Fussy cut... Oh, I'll show you. Thank you. <laughs> see, that's why I'm here. And would you like to lift that iron up? <gasps> <laughs> There's a message on the bottom. Tell Velfine all the best artists have messy boxes. <laughs> Merry Christmas, both here from Linda in Warwick. Linda, I'll call in on you on the way home. I keep forgetting I'm not with my Elisa. Yeah, you're not getting your Elisa on. It's a, so we've gone to another pressing mat, everybody. <laughs> another burnt pressing mat. Look at Becky's face. Write it in the show report, please. <laughs> Oh dear. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Somebody will come in next week and go, oh, look at the stain on here. Who did that? With me. Well, no, I'll make sure I'm watching and texting. Yeah. Do what, what? <laughs> she's gone through all of them. Every single one we've had, she's gone through. I've got two. Two. All right, then. Two. Did you burn the one outside as well? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, two pressing mats and a horn table. <laughs> Somebody else did that before me, though. I didn't do the first burn. Oh, I right did the then. second burn. It wasn't as bad. Well, as well no, he took it back. He was in tears. They're there to be used, aren't that they? That one wasn't. I know. That but was our sample, just to it show It was really piece. nice, though. It no, was it's so brilliant. handy. You know the horn tape I'm talking about, the one that you can fold up and the ironing board comes out and everything. Jason left one bit... Yeah, Jason, Jason, yeah. Uh, one, left one behind for us to show it, and somebody started using it in the press room, at that, and the pressing uh, prep room. And um, then we had to tell him that we burnt his iron. Yeah, we burnt the iron, and then somebody's transfer got stuck on yeah, there. Yeah, that looked like one of Mandy's transfers. Yeah, didn't it? so we, we, it's not all me. No. It's not all me. Right, so you'll have your diamond. So all you do is position that over your. Um, oh, I've done one here. Yeah. Alison says, Morning, John and Delphine. Busy morning filling my Alison Marion crackers with my Alison. Mar Alice and Marion crowns also wrapping up some table gifts for Santa and elf aprons I managed to make with scrap bag I had last year oh Alison you're true she is busy yeah you should sell the burnt off ones cheap still usable and loved well that's a good idea well, I don't know exactly. how we do that I mean I, I, I've got one of these at home and I got a mark on it within a couple of days yeah the no. thing is you do don't you that's it you can't be precious about it, it. no you no. can't be no. okay uh, now has Alan brought that advert down yet can you message him? Because we're nearly finished. Yeah. We've got a new advert that I filmed just today. Oh, then nice. Munch filmed one after me, and we've already got Munch's, but we haven't got mine. Oh, it's no good, is it? No. Not? So anyway. you've, also, you've also got your two triangle pieces as well. Right. Uh, it tells you how to cut them out. So you're going to have to cut two, fab, two triangle A and two triangle B templates per block. Right. Depending on where, how you cut them out. What's making that noise? Is that your clunking? What are you doing? It's oh, it's you. That's right. So, depending on if you, um, in the book, in the instructions, yeah. so it says put fabric, uh, an A triangle here and a fabric B triangle on the other, on the other yeah. side. If you do it like that and you think, oh, they don't fit, you've probably just cut your template on the wrong side of the fabric right. or the right yeah. side of the yeah, fabric. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So just bear that in mind, thinking that's not right, that's that's all that's all it yeah. is. So but even though these look the same, they are quite different. So I'm looking for my fabric A piece. Well you need to do your uh, your your bit of border first as well, don't you? I've done done that. I'm doing I'm putting that on now. Oh okay. Yeah. Oh it's you're still on that one? Yeah. Oh, okay. But you finished that one. Oh, well, I have, but uh, do, you, uh, do you want me to show you no, these keep going, bits? No, keep going, keep going, keep going. You sure? Yeah. I can do the other bit if you like. No, I want you to do that bit first. Okay. Did you show us how you fussy cut it? <laughs> Are you here? <laughs> <laughs> Did I? Uh, yes. Did uh, you? Where well, you were talking. To who? Pe people. Oh, people. Oh, there. Yeah. Okay. So, you, you, you get your diamond, yeah. you pull it over the bit that you want, and yeah. you cut it out. Right. Yes. Fine. Oh, that's, that was your masterclass, was it? 
Yeah, no well, well, that. well, that was it. Like, okay. Look, I got this out and everything. Look, so yeah. what I tend to do is when I put it on the fabric, just make sure, because that, obviously that's a symmetrical yes. piece. So those are more difficult to pick out. Yeah. But as long as it's still symmetrical on either side of your diamond, you're going to cut it out. Lovely. A bit like when you cut Jason Yenter stuff out. Oh, yes, 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 yeah. yeah. Right, Boss. so you've done your two A's, your two B's, and you're now sewing them on. Yeah. Thank you. So now you've still got paper on your... You haven't taken the paper off the foundation no, yet? No, no. Yeah. I wouldn't take the paper off until the very end. Right, OK. In fact, I didn't read that bit, but when I do FPP, I don't take it off until the end. Uh, is Delphine bringing back the sheep cushion? Well, I hope so. She'll have to talk... She's got to go upstairs for a meeting afterwards anyway. Um, yeah. So can you ask if we can do more sheep cushions? I or will, Oh, you already yeah. have? Yeah. And you are? <laughs> yeah. Oh, there you go. There's your answer to your question, Yvonne. Oh, apparently Jeannie Lambert has got the... Well, it's, I think this meant to say she's got the terrible bug that's going round, but the, Christine's put she's got the terrible big that's going round. Oh. Get better soon, Jeannie Lambert. Oh, no, that's why I'm taking my Lemsip and my nasal spray and everything. I'm not catching it before Christmas. Lost me a bit now. Oh. oh. Only got 20 minutes left as well. What? <laughs> oh, no, you're in the next hour anyway, aren't you? Oh, yeah. I thought oh, I was done then. No, oh, yeah. you've got a whole hour to do yet after that. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Did you bring cake or anything? You stuck... No, I haven't even had a drink. In my oh, break. isn't it funny? All the other guests brought chocolate and cake. Oh. And when it was at their last show before Christmas. Let's get Ursula to pop round with some homemade cake. Before. I just about managed to get here in one piece, yeah. no matter bring cake. <laughs> I've not even had a coffee this morning. Have you not? Was I've had, not in the cup and on I've the had cupboard? a diet coke and a biscuit. That's all oh. I've had. No, there isn't any in there today. No. Is there no coffee in the well, kitchen? I couldn't see any. I probably looked in the wrong cupboard. Yeah. Oh, there's coffee right next to Charlie, where Charlie sits. In the green oh. room. <laughs> Oof. And then you put your other two They're bits massive, there. aren't they, these blocks? They're brilliant. They are huge. Again, it's got that folded edge up here again, so again, you don't have to worry about offsetting the seam. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's all he says. Is it because I'm not talking? You, I bet you were a real rascal when you were little, weren't I wasn't. you? Did you not? Was no. you a really good boy? No, I'm, <laughs> my upbringing was so strict. Like, really? properly, properly strict, yeah. One more. Is that why I'm what, Charlie? Why well, I let it all out now? <laughs> yeah. Well done. Another one's just checked out. You're loving this quilt. Oh, no. Oh, what's the matter? It's right. What's your thread come unthreaded? It came unthreaded. It's all right. Done. Get, get. Okay, I've got, while Delphine's doing that, before we move on to the next one, I've got three um, extra wide backing fabrics here from Tula. I've got a yellow, a pink, and a green. Now, um, I'm going to be a bit... No, no, I'm not, no, I'm not. I've got a favourite, that's all I was going to say. You can use all three of them. You know sometimes I go, oh, I wouldn't use the yellow one or you use the pink one. They, there's fabrics in there that match all of these, right? These are 108 inches wide, so you'll need uh, two and a half metres. You'll need five units of this. So which colour do you want to do first? Yellow first. This is my least favourite one for this quilt. Not my least favourite one, full stop. This is my least favourite one for the, for the quilt. $13.99. Oh, no, not $13.99. $9.99 for Tula Pink. Just grab the other end. I know you're busy, Delphine, but just grab the other end of that, would you, for me? Uh, 20 bucks. Oh. 
Oh, it is big, isn't it? Yeah, look, 108 inches wide. Keep going. Right, yeah. there you go. So now Rebecca's can do a pan. That's what you get for your half a metre. So you're not going to have to patch it or anything because it's at 208 inches wide. Oh, dirty iron in the middle there. <laughs> 9 99 for half a metre. Beautiful. Thank bargain, you. I'll then. fold that up in a second. We won't open the other ones out. Next, what colour next? Pink one next. Lovely pale pink. Except it's not called pink. Isn't that one called pineapple? And there you go. All this good. one's called guava. Yeah, the first one. What was the yellow one? Yeah, pineapple and guava. 9 nine, ten. again, it's 108 inches wide. I'm not going to open that one out. You just saw the yellow one being opened out. And then we've got the lagoon, which is the soft peppermint green. I personally would go with the pink. Which one would you go with for this quilt? I'd go for the green. Oh, would you? Delphine would go with the green. Only because it's my favourite Or favorite the lagoon. Colour. Or lagoon, yeah. It's my favourite colour, though. Uh, ben would go for Lagoon as well. Charlie would go for Yellow. Yeah. 9 .99. Uh, That That price is only till midnight, remember, because it's been crashed. At midnight it goes back up. Oh, Helen says, I hate FPP, but I think I cope with blocks that size. Delphine is doing a brilliant job. Chris, happy Christmas to everyone. Lots of love from Helen. Thank Aww, you, Helen. Merry Christmas, Helen. Okay, so I'm just going to show you what I made earlier, and then oh, yes. I'll show We've got you. got plenty of time, yeah. I'll show you how to do this block, block, border, whatever. Yeah, yeah. Okay, cokey, there we are. There we go. So this is the one we're going to make now. So we need to make these. So this is the one that makes right this one. Oh, so it's the same sort of thing. You make your two shorter ones and then one with two yeah. diamonds on the end. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to show you how to. But obviously they go in a different way. So yes. Um, this one, the, the the one I showed you the first time, that one's probably the easier one because the the strips are longer. Um, but this one's. I say, is it trickier than that? Start with the stripey one. Start with the stripey one, is one, yeah. yeah. So, where, ah. So here's my diamond. Not my diamond, my strip. See, at home, you've got loads of room when you, I'm sort of, uh, uh, uh. There we go. I had everything here. What you lost? Ah. Oh, there it is. I found it, I found it. So again, just like before, take yeah. your first piece, try not to, I don't, I don't want it wrinkled. And your second piece is a bit of pink. I love this colour. It's lovely, I love that oh. pomegranate. I don't know what, she, oh actually I can tell you what she calls it. And th this is a, a nice and easy one because obviously there's no real wrong side to this fabric. Yeah. So, and they need to cover, so that one is cover number one. So when you fold back, make sure it's going to cover so i'm just going she to calls it stargazer that pink stargazer yeah make sure that's going to cover yeah and again i'm just going to hold it up to the light i'm just going to do it by eye you can put a pin in it but not going to And then sew along your first line between one and two. Oh, I've still got my quarter inch foot on, hold on. Oh. Let me just take that off. Takes seconds to change on the Elna 720. Mm. There we go. I'll put it down now, look. <laughs> oh, there we go. There we go. I haven't checked if it's, this is, I haven't even checked if it's going to line up. I haven't shown. Oh. This could be a disaster. And I haven't shown. And you didn't show it. Everything you did wrong in that one. <laughs> but it's worked out. It's fine. Good. Look, yay, it's worked. Brilliant. And then this is just where you can switch off a little bit. And you just... Not switch off, but you just get have your mindful moment. Yeah. So 
so that's one and two in place and now you'd put your next piece in place so again make sure when you fold it it's going to fit so because it's got to fold it's going folding that way obviously it's going to go higher so what you don't want to do is line up because then it's not going to yes, be big exactly, enough yeah. But that's why it's always important, like we were saying earlier, pin, either put one pin in or just fold it back like you have to make sure it's going to go over. Yeah. And then put it back. Give it a press. But you making all the noise now, Rebecca. So that's number three. And then fold. And now I'm ready for number four. Yeah. Also, the thing about doing it on FPP, if you were doing this piecing, you'd have all those different angles going on. With the paper underneath, it's lovely and stable, isn't it? Yeah. So you've not got any of that wobbling of feelings or anything happening. Oh, it, it's, it wouldn't come out that tidy, would no, it? No, no, not at all. No matter how good a, a piece you were. And then fold again. And then the next piece. So make sure you press as you go because yeah. what you don't want to do is if this was pushed back it will just look a bit tatty oh no no and also uh, and also if you don't press as you go if you get a little fold in it and things it then look it, it ruins the whole thing mm. doesn't it There's two more bits to go. So this is the last bit of the pink. Uh -huh. Good. Doing sound effects now, look, so you're cutting and things like that. <laughs> I love the way it comes together though, Does, you know, because it, it... It's lovely, isn't it? Yeah. Let's check that one because yeah. it's a big bit. Yep, yeah, that's off it. And that's it, that's all done. Trim down. So I'm gonna trim that all off now. This move these. This is the bit I love best about FPP, is when you've done all the stitching and then you cut it off and it suddenly looks really, really neat. Really and neat and precise tidy. Precise and everything, doesn't it? Remember you are cutting down to the outer line, not the inner line, because the inner line is your sewing line. It's your seam that, yeah. Definitely need to change my blade when I get home. You've got four minutes in the break. You're going to do that. Are you can do any cutting in the next hour. Uh, I can give you one of our roads to cut this. Oh, go second. on then. I'll have to use yours. Could you get the gold one out? This is as blunt as a spoon. Blunt as a spoon. Yeah. It's because you're cutting through paper as well. Mm. It was it was blunt anyway before I even started. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. For the next time. Thank you. There we go. Look at oh, that. look. So tidy. Yeah. So then you've got two 
of those, and now you just do your small one. Have I got time to do No. That? No. So I'll, if I just frame that one so you can sort of see... That's right, fabrics. so you've made the two long ones, then you make two short ones, which are the pink and the pink stripes, aren't they? Yeah. They're the same fabrics, yeah. And then, where's the other one I had? Oh, yeah. Oh, you made them as well? I've made one. Okay. See, it looks all skew whiff when it's like that, doesn't it? It does. It looks like it's really messy. Yeah. And then I'll show oh, you. Oh, well, we're going to be able to cut it off now. Press hard. Brilliant. You got a trick Christmas tree up in your she shed? No. <gasps> no. No, I like Christmas for the kids and stuff, but I'm not. Do what? Christmassy. I'm not. A, you know, some people are really Christmassy. Yeah, I'm yeah. not a really Christmassy person. Like Karen from Wigan, who's got about nine Christmas trees up already. Oh no, I just think you've got to take it down again. Yeah. Oh. Well, when did you, did you take your joy to twelfth night? No. Twenty <laughs> seventh. Yeah, mine yeah. will be coming down on the twenty uh, eighth. I think. Hang on. Yeah, mine... I'll take the indoors one down straight away. Leave the outdoor ones till New Year's Eve, and then that's they're all you know, gone then. Yeah, I've got a really beautiful. I, I, the one thing I really like is a wreath. I get a really nice wreath every yeah. year. And the one I had last year lasted till the end of January. And oh, I kept it, it up. So. Yeah, you might as well. So I um, didn't get one this year because I couldn't work out how, how to fix it onto my new front door. I didn't want to drill a hole in my new front door. Oh no! I, don't you put? A I have a thing that hooks over. Oh, do you? You know that. Oh, like I to put my ties on. I've got one of those for my ties in my belt. Yeah, you can. You just hook it over the door. Oh, oh I'll do that next year then. And then that office cut it, obviously. Yeah. And then... Dragging your feet. Say that again. I did get a Christmas tree. Yeah. I don't normally have an indoor Christmas tree. You don't? No. And then I've only obviously done the one of those. Yeah. And then obviously it'll go... The pink, the short one goes in there? Yeah. And then you do the same thing again. Now, what were you going to say about watch when you're cutting out the corners? about direction was there anything that you had to wor worry about the, the, the direction uh, of the yeah, corners yeah so on the corners only on some of the fabrics that are directional so just lay it all out but remember that when you put it on when you cut it it's going to be in reverse right so make sure that you, re you double check your position oh okay yeah yeah, yeah yeah that's fine but I don't no, I don't think that matters. I, I, Personally, I, I would, I that wouldn't bother. bother me, no. I would, I, I just, I think we've, you've got enough going on in your head. Oh, I see, you? so you, where she's used the dragonfly, she's made yeah. sure all of them have got dragonflies fi facing upwards. Yeah. But to me, it wouldn't matter which way they were I going. Would, I would no. personally, I think the fabrics are so beautiful, yes. I, would, I would rather save the fabric. I agree with you. I yeah. agree that the inside of the diamonds you do need to think you about do. the direction because some of them are just spots or stripes you yeah. don't need to worry about that but like the dragonfly the birds i think they because that's the bit your eye is going to be drawn to but the rest of it there's so much color and excitement going on exactly. i don't think it really matters about the rest of it no. but just the bits in the middle of there yeah right now let's just do a recap then very quickly this kit should be oh i've got no graphics 249 pounds this should be uh, but at 224.99, we can't find it that affordable anywhere else. I mean, maybe you can, but we couldn't find it that affordable anywhere else. You get almost 17 metres of fabric in there. I've counted. Almost 17 metres of fabric, plus your instructions, plus every single um, foundation paper piece. Do you call them chart or template, whatever? Template. I wouldn't use the ones in here. I would photocopy them and then you've always got these ones for the future when you want to make it in other fabrics because you're bound to. You'll love the design. Imagine that in different Liberty fabrics. Imagine that in different K fabrics. Or if you did the centres, each of the centres in a K fabric and then all of the outsides all in like solid colours. Mm. Or the, You know what I mean? It'd be beautiful. 224 nine times for that whole kit. You get everything you need for the front and the binding. Lots in baskets. Now's your time to check out. Because remember, the price will go back up at midnight because we've crashed the price. And I'm sorry, I know I keep getting bade board saying all the price will go back up. But if Ben crashes the price or any of the producers crash your price, at midnight, the computer resets itself to the default price. So that's what you always have to remember when we crash the price. That's what happens, right? 224.99. Now, uh, don't worry, Delphine's not going anywhere because she's coming back in the next hour where we're going to do an homage to Delphine. <laughs> 
where we've got lots of different patterns, lots of different fabrics, lots of different loveliness, and Delphine staying with us to, to talk talk through them all and everything. So we will see you back here in four minutes. Do I need to say anything else, sorry, Ben? No, in four minutes from now. From native lighting and I just wanted to wish all of Sewing Street viewers a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year and I look forward to seeing you all on set in December and January. Hello everyone my name is Cara Ackerman and I'm absolutely delighted to be here at Sewing Street. Um, I actually originated from Hertfordshire then went down to Hampshire and then it ended up in the East Midlands. I've been in the East Midlands for about 40 years now, which seems crazy. Um, but 36 of those, I actually worked with DMC Creative World, um, which was wonderful. I really, really enjoyed that. And then um, I decided to go freelance and that's how I got introduced to Sewing Street. I love doing anything to do with um, textiles. So embroidery, cross stitch, patchwork, done a bit of quilting, bag making, toy making, oh goodness, there's loads and loads of things. Um, what I love doing is just trying something new and I think one of the tips is don't be frightened of trying something new. Um, you always learn from it and you know, don't be scared of making mistakes either. We all learn from the mistakes that we make. Um, little bit about me that you might not know and that's a bit of a surprise. Um, I once went to the garden party down at Buckingham Palace, the Queen's Garden Party, for some work that I did with Marie Curie. I was so, so lucky to go there and just a wonderful time. Um, so I hope to see more of you on Sewing Street and I hope to try lots of new crafts with you. So see you again soon. Bye bye. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Make sure you tune in this Thursday for the brand new launch of Liberty Fabrics. Join Vix and Susie Duncan for the next instalment of the Flower Show Collection with 15 designs available and fat quarter bundles. We'll be bringing a neutral palette of soft moss greens, buttercup yellows and pale blush pinks, which sit harmoniously against cooler greys and charcoals. Make sure you tuned in this Thursday at 9am on Sewing Street. Are you a fan of Sewing Street? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your mates, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing community. See you there! Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet. Then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere. Browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals. And message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. about all the different ways you can shop on Sewing Street. You can shop on our website, sewingstreet.com, and you can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. Just call 0800 001 4433. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app, 
onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Are you a fan of Sewing Street? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your mates, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing community. See you there! Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet. Then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere. Browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals. And message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one P&P all day. Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Now, no, we're not both in vision. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, oh, what shot's that? Uh, anyway, Delphine's back. Look at all the gorgeous delphine around me here. <laughs> now, 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 now. I need to tell you about this because whenever we bring this to air, the first time I saw this, I was like, oh, that's... Oh, oh. Anyway, each time we bring this to... Ben has never seen it because each time we bring it to air, it sells out, right? If ever you do a Delphine project, right, lots of projects, you need one of these, right? It's the most affordable way of buying Bondaware, right? Now, I know it's £117.99, pence, but you get 30 metres. You get 30 metres and it's 45 centimetres wide. Now, there's only, what you say, six left. There's only six left. They've been selling out. They've been selling as the show's been going on today. There are only six of these left. Now, what you get is, this is your roll of Bondaware. Huge, look at it, it's huge. Right, but if you do lots and lots and lots of Delphine projects, this is the most affordable way of buying it. Now, when you get it home, don't throw this box away. You can put these in recycling. You get about 100 leaflets, right? You only need one of those. It's how to use the Bondaweb. The reason you get 100 leaflets in it is because this is what Bondaweb normally do. They sell this to fabric shops, right? And so you'd go into the fabric shop and you'd say, I'll buy a metre of Bondaweb. And they'd measure off a metre and cut it off and give you the leaflet, you see? Keep it in its box. Um, I think you can, is there not a way of, yeah, you do it like, like you do Snappy's cling film. You bring it out and over so you can just leave it in the box the whole time. Don't leave it on your windowsill. Um, but it'll last you and last you and it is the most affordable way of buying Bondaweb, right? 58 99 twice, 117 99 uh, I, I know when I first saw it, I was like, oh, I'd never spent £117.99 on Bondaweb. But actually, you're going to save money in the long run because if you buy lots of these... You see? If you buy lots of these or lots of the little packets, that's fine if you want to do that. But if you want, if you're going to do lots and lots of projects, I'd get this one. Right, so be careful, be careful, because that's been flying out all morning. Mm, I definitely need it for my projects for the first week of January. Oh, well, yeah. there you go. And it won't be going yeah. in, the, it, there'll be a clearance, obviously, over Christmas. It won't, things like that don't go in clearance. So don't be thinking, oh, I'll wait till, I'll wait till Boxing Day or whatever, whenever they go to clearance. It'll be sold out by then. Be sold, lots of people got it in their baskets today. Right, so let's start with this one here behind me. I've never seen this one before. It's called Going Down of the Sun. 
Now, the little story is when Delphine made the demo, she was only given fat quarters to do it with. Hang on, there's something in the way. There you go. She was only given fat quarters to do it with. In the bundle we're doing for you today, you've got half meters. So you could make a huge version of that. Huge. So what you get is you get the um, instructions and then you get three meters of fabric. So you get six different colors. Look, you get the bright yellow, the gold. These are the splodgy, uh, not melange. They're called blenders, aren't they? Orange, dark orange, sky blue and dark blue. So you can make a much, much bigger version because you're getting half a metre of each of those fabrics. Hang on, one, two, three, four, five. yep, yep. Plus your instructions here. Now, does this need bond to for this? No. Uh, yeah. No. Can't remember. The whole point you're here is to be able to tell me yes, what Yes, you do for the sun at the centre. OK, then. Yes. So you do. £29.99. No, yes. No, yes. No, I can't remember. Anyway, look, all the fabrics you get. Half metre, half metre, half metre, half metre, half metre, half metre, plus the instructions. Hmm? £29.99. £29.99 for that gorgeous bundle. Uh, can you get the instructions on their own? I'll tell you. Yes, you can. Here's the instructions on their own. Nine ninety nine, nine pounds and ninety nine pence. There we go. Nine ninety nine. The instructions on their own if you want them. Brilliant. Brilliant. No. Koi carp. Now, when I did the other day, I, I must done um, uh, quilt kits that you will love. I was only given the blue version of this. I didn't realise there was a purple version of it as well. The blue one is on the wall on hanging behind Delphine right now. Are we doing blue or purple? Blue. So what you get in here is you get the koi pond instructions and then you get three metres of fabric, one fat eighth and five fat quarters, right? So, that's your instructions there. Again, all the templates that you need, all the shapes that you need, all the information that you need, right? Then, here's your bundle. So you get half a metre of this green batik. You get half a metre of your twinkle chiffon, except you call it... Organza. Organza. Oh, that's a big wadge there. Two metres of your background fabric. Then you've got, now, one of those, that one there is a fat eighth. And these are fat quarters. Batik, orange splodge, black. Oh, that's a nice one. I've not seen that one. And then another one that looks like it's, um, they've dyed it by scrunching it. Anyway, all of that for £38.99. Would I need anything else, please, Delphine Brooks? Just, just your bundle web. Yeah. Uh, that's it. And the back, because this is just for the front and the I binding. I used your threads to do all of this. You use the John Scott threads? Yeah. Oh, I've got those on today. I they use, didn't bother putting those I in. I use those all the time, John. All the time. Aww. But this is all your turquoise and I used um, some of the, um, the variegated thread for these. The pink for, the, for these. They're threads. available on the website, those threads. They're available on the website. So that this, this bundle will basically make that, won't it? Yes. And you need a backing fabric. But it depends where you're going to put it. If you hang it on a wall, you could use calico, couldn't you? Yeah, you can use it. I, yeah. I think what I did. Use? Oh, there you go. Yeah. It's lovely, isn't it? Gorgeous. I think that would look lovely in like a garden room or in a conservatory or something mm. like that. Kind of the, 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 the bit goes between the outside and the inside. Yeah, you know I mean? and you want something to pick up the shine of the Yes. Oh, yeah, you've got to have a sunny, sunny room. Yeah, because it... Uh, it's only it's tip is don't put your iron on your organza. How, now, how did you attach the organza if you didn't bond a webbit on? I did. You did, did you iron it? Yeah, I can show you if you like. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Do you mind? Yeah. I know you weren't meant to, but if that, that's, no, no, yeah. No, I can show you that. So you get Have your... you got some organza? I have. Oh, blimey. I know, I've never organised. Well, I'm not, because I'm going to need to still use another panel in a minute. Okay. So you get your bonder web, turn your iron down. Yeah. Okay. Where is it? So I'm going to make a bit of noise. Yeah. 
No, I'm just like, I'm willing it to cool down. So yeah, do you, want, do you want me to... Oh, no, go on, can, can you? Hang on, just make sure that cools down a bit. So I'm, I'm going to do it so I know I'm not going to... I don't want to get anything on the wall mat. Yeah. If it was mine at home, I don't, I don't care. But I think it adds to... The la the, yeah, the, the history of the mat. Well, you've seen my ironing board. I have it? indeed. It's functional. I'll be, I'll be ever so upset if I replaced it. Oh no! Yeah. I was going to buy you an iron board cover for Christmas. Well, I'll have to you know, quick, make it dirty really oh, okay. quickly. Okay, I'll, I'll take it. You back can't then. be too precious about things like that. No. Right. So what, you've got your gorganza, and yeah. you've got your bond web. Yeah. And then you iron it on. Please be careful when you're doing that, though. You do a test. At home. Yeah, because your ganza can just shrivel up under it, and then and oh, you, you have to wait to cool so down. So if you feel that. Yeah. It's almost like some of it does burn away, but it doesn't go on your iron. I don't know where it goes. It's magic. So I'm just well, no, because it went into the mat. That's why your mat's that colour. No, no, it doesn't. Because you ironed that with the fabric No, because when I did it at home, because my ironing board is so minging. Yeah, I had <laughs> I to put to, it nicely. I had to do... Uh, I, I did put a piece of fabric underneath. Just to save your work, not to save the ironing board. <laughs> yeah, not to save the ironing board. And then when you pull the bond web off the off the organza, yeah. it doesn't rip the organza. No. Well, I never. I mean, I, you do this the very last thing you do. And then yeah, yeah. So you've made you've made the you've put all the other fish on and everything, haven't you? Because they're just the are they just waves then? They, then you haven't put them on top of fish. No, I've just I just thought it would be a nice little effect. No, no, no. It's nice. And then, well, next no, we used it on the Buddha one, didn't we? That. Yeah. Effect. And, then and you've done it on something else as well, haven't you? Where you put some... Uh, oh, the, the um, dragonfly. Yes. Yeah. And there you go. Oh, wow. Oh, so you can. That was my tip gone for a Burton then. Um, I wouldn't recommend you iron it l loads. You yeah. Know, just but, but it will... That will stay on. I think that on, on just the white. I think this quilt... I mean, it's great having the navy... But now I think it would look really nice on white as well. Or would you take it to a, like a very, very, very pale blue? Yeah. Rather than the stark. Yeah. I mean, you're the designer. There's Don't loads let me tell of the, you, Yeah, but that, that would work. Because white might be a little bit too stark, yeah. mightn't it? But very, 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 like a tinge of blue. Yeah. Sort of thing. But if you're going to, when you stitch this, if you've bond webbed it, because obviously bond web, it, it, it's permanent. not permanent. Not permanent. But if you stitch it, don't use a blanket stitch or zigzag just to go over it with a straight stitch. Straight, yeah. Twice. Do you go over it twice uh, or just once? No, straight stitch, but don't go for a short length. You go for just a normal length yeah. because if you go too short, it will rip. It'll rip off. Yeah, it frays, doesn't it? It, frays. Yeah. it kind of pulls but, away. So, so you can. Lovely. Thank you very much indeed. That is no your worries. first tip that you've learned this morning. We've also got it in purple. Now that'd be nice. So that would be your background look. So there's movement already there. So you get two meters of your purple. And then that's your fat... Oh, don't you get any organza in this one? Or do I just got to swap it over? You should, I think you yeah. did. Same organza, right? So there's your fat eighth, and here are your fat quarters. There you go. Are they the same? Yep. Oh, yeah, it's the same. It's the same, same. So the only difference is the background. The only difference there is the background. So you have the purple. But look, <laughs> that's going to look like the movement of the water anyway, isn't it? Thirty-eight ninety-nine. Beautiful. Plus the instructions. Now, are those instructions on their own? No. You cannot have those instructions on their own. No. Koi carp, purple, yes. Pattern, no. Right, next. Uh, are you going to, what are you going to do? Are you going to, oh. Uh, what? What? What, 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 what? Uh, are you going to do that now? I might. I'm just what prepping. What number is it then? What? I don't know. There, I can see it there. O, O, U, E, U, E, N. That one. Right. I'm just sort of playing. I'm just sort of prepping something. To... Yeah, didn't you say in prep this morning this is the one you were going to demo on? Yeah, I you can demo. You just dropped a pen and you're wadding and everything. Can... Oh, look. So this is a panel. There's no instructions with this. This is one of your... Um, inspirational panel so you've got fox at the end there that's not the noise a fox makes then you've got your little squares five inch squares four and a half inch squares i'll measure it for you now and then at the end there you get your lovely little flowers right so delphine 
What are you going to show us? I'm going thing? to show you because I had a lady message me the other day about um, how you actually quilt it. Oh, okay. How do you quilt it? So then, I, um, because these are really nice, almost like you're colouring in with a sewing machine. Right. So I've just quickly switched that. Around. Yeah, they're four and a half inch squares, these. They're not quite five inch squares, four and a half inch squares. So you start in the centre and work your way out. But because obviously Freeman, you definitely want to put a backing on it. Right. So I've just got a bit of 80 20 behind mine. Yeah. I'm not going to change my thread. We've got some 80 20 on the show. But what you would do is you would start off with your dark colours because you've got to think about your threads like paint. So light paint sticks to dark paint, so it's the same when it comes to threads. Yeah. So start with the dark colour and then you build it up. But imagine I've already done all that and I'm yeah, going yeah, straight to the yeah. lighter colour. I'm just opening today's um, Alice and Mary and Mary and Alice and Advent calendar. But I had one of those emoji chocolates the other day and I felt a bit sick afterwards. Oh. Do you want one? What have you got? Emoji chocolate. Oh, Ch Charlie would like that. Take it for him. We yeah, can open I will them. do. And John, does he want oh. his joke as well? What? Where does Santa go when he's sick? The elf centre. Oh dear. That's lovely. That is, isn't it? Yeah, no, it's gorgeous. Alice, Mary, Mary, and Alison's in with me. On, we won't be doing this, but she's in with me on Christmas Day. But she Ooh, made I us this for all of us to open. She's doing Christmas Day. You what? I said I saw a pod. Well, last time I was in, did I see it? Last time I was in. What? Or one time I was in, not long ago, I saw, I saw she was upstairs. Oh, yeah, yeah, bringing all the stuff. In, yeah, and it yeah, looked, yeah. Oh, yeah, it looks amazing. All right, so what are you doing then? So you're taking the panel. So make sure you pin. Is, so pin as you go along. So make sure you pin it so it stops it from puckering, that's all. Oh, the chocolates. No, 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 I'll be, I don't want to put the iron on it, that's all. I'm surprised I haven't burnt that mat as well. Yeah. <laughs> Give it time, says Charlie. If there's anything, any ironing mats, it's probably yeah. your my fault anyway. So, and then you just colour it in. So you just follow wherever your, uh, the white is. So you drop, drop your feed dogs. Yeah. And then I've already done a lot of the movement of the fur. And you just follow the shape of where the fur goes. Oh, Hazel, I wonder why we haven't heard from you. Good morning all at Sound Street. Can't get you on the telly anymore. Watching on the laptop. Good to see you all from Spain. Oh, Hazel, I hope you're having a lovely time. Uh, Diane keeps a second grocery cutter for trimming uh, FPP blocks because the blade's blunt cutting through the paper. Yeah, Diane, I told her. But did she listen? <laughs> I do, I, I've got lots of them, but I'll just... Yes, yes, yes. I'm just all over the place. I know. <laughs> Here, I know. Do you want one? She's like, she says you're allowed to because it's Christmas. Yeah, but she's like this all year round. <laughs> I, I just don't met, iron over those pins. I know. Uh, and you just iron as you go. I might as well just move my pins. Oops. Oh, Did you no. want that? Yeah. Thank I'm, you. I'll need that in a minute for me, for one of the demo. So you just colour it in as you go. You can barely see it. I haven't done that one. Very quick. Yeah, but if you use silver threads or gold threads and things like that, you can really give it some um, yeah. definition, can't you? But, but it's like you don't need to cover, because obviously the one I did that's down there... Where is it? It's in the frame down there. In the frame down there. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I'll get it. But you don't need to do loads. Just do a little bit here and there if you don't want to... Do, or you don't have to touch it at all. But the one I did... So I coloured it all, coloured it all in with threads. So you, you can... use you use the flowers from the end of the panel to create this all this foliage round here. Yeah. Did you use any of the squares? Yeah, to do the hills. Oh yeah, 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 I used yeah. Use the squares to do the hills, and I also traced some of the flowers that were already on the panel onto the other bits of fabric. Yeah. Fabulous. Remember, it's eleven ninety nine. It's a panel. You get any instructions? What date did we do that on? 7th of June, wow. four days before Ben's birthday. Where's the time? It was then? his 30th birthday. Oh. No, he looks much older, doesn't he? Right, next. Everyone's nodding. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bless you. Uh, what number's that then? X8, D, H, 14, X8. 
Is it a panel or just a bundle? Oh, instructions. We'll tell them. Right, yo. Felicity Fox. She's here behind me. Oh, there, 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 there. No, it's not all right, mate, because it's a lady. Felicity the Fox, 999 pattern only. Am I in the way? Is someone in the way? We'll just have a shot of the Felicity Fox cushion on the shelf there. Beautiful. Gorgeous. Right, so that is um, Confident Beginner. Again, all the instructions come, all your templates, placement guide, everything all comes in your pattern there for £9.99. Beautiful. We'll do patterns. We'll do a pattern fest next. Now, Candy. Now. Candy is a doggy, not a corgi, isn't it? Yeah, because we had this discussion yeah. last time, didn't we? Yeah. 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 But they don't, well, well, they don't live in Buckingham Palace anymore, though, do they? Oh, where do they live now? They've gone with one of the children, haven't they? Anyway. Uh, 9.99. Right, gorgeous. Now, have we got... I've, I'm sure I've seen him around. Did you bring that one back? I don't think I've got him. Oh, okay. There's, that was um, for the um, uh, one. The ju was it the Jubilee we did that for That's, before I the Jubilee so, or the Queen's think. birthday maybe? It was something like that. Yeah. Anyway, there it so. is, Candy the doggy. All the bits you need, all in there at nine pounds and ninety nine pence. What date was that one, please? Twenty fourth of March. Wow. Oh, there's your life flashing in front of you now, isn't it? Twenty fourth of March. That's candy. Next, Derek the donkey. Now I've definitely seen Derek the donkey. Or maybe I haven't. He's there. He's there. There he is. So this one hasn't got any glasses on. But I have. So Derek Donkey, applique cushion. Anything you need to tell me about that? No. What, what do I need for the really, rest of He's lovely ears. I think if you like the Highland Cow, you'll really enjoy doing the donkey. <laughs> Third of August, because donkeys and cows are so similar. <laughs> oh, you know, they're, they're very similar. Yeah, now you can do it with the mouth the other way up. I did my stuff this did. with you. You did, that yeah. was so funny. And you can make him no, a sad face donkey if you wanted to. Oh. But he's got all... He looks like Cliff Richards. <laughs> no offence, Cliff. I bet you won't remember singing with me. He and I sang together on that this morning. A Christmas, a Christmas that special from... We were in some... Um, we did all the shows from um, West Wickham or somewhere like that, and he and I sang. Oh, very nice. I know. Oh, anyway, there you go. Everything, he has a story, doesn't it? a very it? colourful life, haven't you, Joe? I have. Yeah. It's not it's sort of black and white at the moment. But what he, are you saying about this one? He has got loads of extra bits with him. He has he's got, got extra bits. He's got um, glasses, bow ties, ties, all sorts. Flowers. Where? In the back. Oh, is that a tie? That's a tie. Oh, yeah, bow tie there. Glasses there. I was looking for them on the set. A fried egg there. It's a flower. Oh, it's a flower. <laughs> beard? He's got a beard. Oh, no, tuft of hair at the top of his head. You can give me a, or a beard. It's got a goatee, yeah. Little goatee. On the donkey. A square glasses, heart <laughs> glasses. Yeah, goatee on a donkey because he's like a cow. It's all going ever so well, this, isn't it? <laughs> right now, I've got fighting hairs. This was an early one, wasn't it? Fighting oh hairs. yeah, this is a yeah. I saw somebody did uh, this. Came as a pair. I did this one and another one, and someone put, made it the other day and put it on the Seven Street fan page, and and it looked beautiful. Did a really I, beautiful job of it. I don't think I've got that one, have I? No, but they're very they're very similar. No, I don't think I've got either of them. Um, I think I know where they are. I think, because we made those in the old studio, didn't we? So they'll yeah. be in that storage place next door that they call the garage. Uh, when do we do Fighting Hairs? 10th of May, not this year, just gone by the year before. Yeah. yeah. We're in the old studio wow. then. Charlie wasn't here. None of, the, none of you were here, were you? None of you were here then. Oliver the Owl. Now, I've seen Oliver the Owl. There he is. 
There you go, Oliver the Owl. There's a, he's down the, he's, I've, I've done two Oliver. There's another one down there as well. Is that? Yeah, the dark blue one. Oh, which one? Blue one. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Watch that trip. <laughs> Upside. <laughs> there you go. So what do I, they, we obviously did this with a panel, but you just need some uh, jelly roll or uh, five inch yeah. squares or 10 inch squares. Yeah. In fact, any scrap fabric you could do it with, couldn't you? Now he looks a bit friendlier in the blue than he does in the, that one. He looks a bit angry in that one, doesn't He's he? He's supposed to be really fierce and just, you know. Yeah, but he looks cute on this one. Does he? Yeah, he's, he's almost going, hello, on that one. <laughs> Whereas that one, he's going, get out of my way. <laughs> you see, my cats can do that. They can be lying on the bed, all be yeah. strokey, 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 and then just turn like that and look at you and go, OK, stop stroking now. Really? Like oh, Luther no. especially, like, yeah, OK, I've had enough now. And then he'll just turn back like that and put, it, put his back to you. Anyway, Oliver the Owl there, cushion, applique. Lovely. That's, uh, they're doing impressions of owls now next door. Hummingbird. When was this one? Now, this one was a quilt hummingbird. I haven't got hummingbird, have yeah, I? Yeah, I think so. Have I? Have you? Have I got it or have you got it? Um, What's this one here, then? That's either hummingbird or a birdhouse. Ah, oh, wrong That's one. birdhouse, that one. Right, not to wait. Hummingbird, 7th of April this year. Beautiful. Pattern only, obviously, pattern only at 9.99. Hibiscus flowers. <sighs> Where's the hummingbird then? There is there. Oh, yeah. There he is. You got two. Two birds. Two birds. One going that way, one going that way. Yeah. Oh, you like your wonky beaks, don't you? <laughs> well, no, but look, that, that, that one, the Yeah, but if look. it was just a straight, it doesn't look right. I wouldn't it. It doesn't, no. I bet, I, I, you know, kowtow to your knowledge. What do you say next? <laughs> I've only got one left. I've only got one pattern left. Trio of confetti quilting. There's that one. There's one down there as well. Okay, there's that one. Now, this one's brilliant because there's there's... There's what? That wasn't true, yeah, that's not it. Oh, there is another one. Oh, it's, on, it's on, on, on the boxy thing. Oh, these come off your lounge wall. Because the trio, there's actually four in here, if I remember correctly, yes. aren't there? There's actually four patterns in this book, even and though it's called trio. Whenever I teach this, I, I, whenever I go to Harrogate, Ali Pali, or anything like that, this always sells out, and yeah. they absolutely love it. Yeah. But in the part, you're pa look, 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 you're paying 9 99 there's four different versions in there for the 9 99 yeah. So there's something for when you first start, then when you get a little bit more adventurous, then a little bit more adventurous, and then fully adventurous. Isn't that yeah. right? Have I yeah. got that right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. It's weird what your brain holds on to. I can't yeah. remember what I had for my tea yesterday, <laughs> but I can remember this show, doing this show <laughs> yeah. with you. Oh, let me, there you go. So 9 99 and you get four different patterns in there. So that's like £2.50 a pattern. I know. And now in there, will it be listed all the fabrics I need? Because obviously we're just yeah, doing the pattern, but, but, we're not doing but, a yeah, bundle. So you need, but, but batiks are the best to use because yes. obviously they're the same. Oh yes, side. because you get your own, you cut, your cutting mat, you go like that, backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards, yeah. backwards and forwards, cut your fabric. And if it's white on the back, you get white speckles yeah. in it. So you want a fabric like a batik that's got the colour on both sides, yeah. don't you? But again, that's, this shouldn't be more, this should be way more than 9 99 with all the work that's gone on in here, look. Yeah, why have you done that, Ventus? Because I we... want everyone to try something different. Oh, not um, because Hayley okay. told her to. No, I just like to think, you know, if you have like... Because you get, when you have, buy, buy batiks, because you don't need an awful lot of it. Yeah. You don't need an awful lot of fabric. So, you know, you can start at the more simple one and then just do it step by step. And then by the time you've got to the fourth project, yeah. you've got the templates in there as well. So. And which is one, that, yeah. is that the one from your lounge? That was in the lounge, yeah. That, and that was in the hallway. Oh, okay. Yeah. We'll have to make and sure we pack you up proper today then. Yeah, you, and then I've got another one that I forgot to bring, that, which is the more advanced one. Oh, OK. And that's the last And then we had, in the old studio, we had the three in a row. Like we've that got, was beginner's one, yeah. Yeah, that's Those that one in, that's in there, is it? That's in there as yeah. well, yeah. So it's brilliant. Yeah. OK, what's next then? Oh, sorry about the chocolate. I didn't try it before I put it in. No, everyone else liked it, Alice and Mary and Mary and It's just me who didn't like it. <laughs> Apparently it's awful. That'll teach me. We'll try another one. I'll try another time. You can just bring more chocolate in, that's all. And we can stuff it in the box. Right, next. Rooster. 
Are you, are you doing a rooster? Can, oh, is this I one can, you need to cut up? What's the number of it, please? Okay, so you have to tell me the numbers. No point saying there's three, nine, and two others. That one, that one. I've got five, eight, six, one. And what was the other one? He's not here. I haven't got three, nine. Three, I've, I've got three, six, three, six, six, three, seven, six, six, five, seven, four. I think I've got one. That... Five, eight, and 61. Let me do these in, this, in the order then. Which one first? Five eight first, and then we can do the demo, right? Oh, thank you. Right, so this one here. Oh yeah, but oh, that's right. That one there. So what do you do with this one then? Well, I was going to do a little demo. Oh, okay, perfect. So buy this one then for eighteen ninety nine. No instructions. You just get the great big panel. In fact, that should be nineteen ninety nine. That panel really, eighteen ninety nine. So you get the rooster. And you get all those coloured fabrics on the side there. So there, what cut? What's that one called then? That one's called brights. So I've obviously got it in pastels over here. Oh what? Oh autumn. This one's called. So again, you get the um, cockerel, and then you get the autumnal colours there. So that one's sixty-one, eighteen pounds and ninety-nine pence, and then this one here. Oh, I see, this one doesn't come with any fabric. This one's just a cockerel, and it's already got a background on this one. It's got like a patch background on that one. So if you've got your own fabrics you want to do that one with. I think I've brought him with me as well. Oh, you got him, I'll go and find him then. Right, so you do, you do a demonstration with that. Could, do... I need the one with the colours on. This one? I'll have that one, yeah. Okay, lovely. Oh, this one, which one do you want? I'll have this one. All right. I've not made this one. All right, and I'll find I've him made then. the other ones, but I've not made this one. What does he look like then? I could have sworn I brought him. Oh, hang on, I've got, what's this one? Yes, that's him. Her, pin. Oh, there you go. This is the finished thing. Oh. So now, is that, you made this one out of a different, that's not out of this fabric, that's is it? That's the panel on its own. And, and I you used case. Yeah. Yeah. But this is like the version where you get the fabric to cut up them to go yeah. with it. So I'm just going to separate those colours from the panel. So what we have done as well, we've put a key in at the bottom. Yeah. So obviously these, these are all uh, different patterns. And then if you look at the key down here, it tells you exactly which colour to use. Oh, OK. So if you, if you feel that, oh, you know, if, you're not, if you don't feel that you're very artistic or you, you struggle to choose fabrics and colours, we have put that in there for you. But you can do whatever you like, really. Yeah. It's just an extra bit to hold your hands a little bit. So I've just separated. Oh, they've all, got, they've all got that pattern on the background. I didn't see it on the one I picked up. Yeah, they've all got it. Oh, John. Must do better. And all you do yeah. is you choose your area. So this is where you will need quite a lot of underwear. Yeah. Draw on the glue side. And you just trace over your pieces. So that's a few. And then what I'll do that is I will And then you can you choose whatever colours you want and you just press it to the back. Right. So you can either follow your instructions or choose your own colours basically. Yeah. So so let me just move that out of the way. You turn the iron back hot. Oh yeah. Clever. I just turned it cooler then. Some bit of teamwork, but yeah, we're being very um uneconomic. Let me move that over that way. You cut them all out in that one pattern fabric, then. Oh no, let's have a bit of blue. I 
I'll have a, I'll have a yellow one, John, okay. please. Oh, a little yellow one. Oh. Oh, okay. Let's have another yellow one since, right, since, since we're there. And then the last two, what should we use? Where should we Well, you've got orange, blue and yellow so far. Well, let's have a red. Okay. And we'll have a flowery blue. Okay. There we go. So I'll cut these out. This is also the exact same technique for the butterfly. Oh, okay. I'll get the butterfly on that next. I have to wait for Ben to tell me the number of the butterfly one. What number's the butterfly one, Ben? Oh, you cut them out with the rotary cutter? I do, yeah. I've, these small ones are quite handy. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I've got two 36s. I've got... Yep, yeah, got it. Got it, got it, got it. I'll show you the butterfly one in a second because it's the same technique. So you, would you cut, if you did this at home, would you trace off all the pieces and press them all and cut them all out at you, the same time? No, I'll do it in sections, only because you might forget what piece goes where. Yeah. And I've already forgotten. Okay, fine. So, no, do you it. You could write a number on them, I suppose. Yeah, just do it. Just oh, no, no, you couldn't, because you can't write on the panel, can you? You've got to see it as like you're painting with numbers. Yeah. Put so in. It's got a couple more. Got quite a few more. Oh, hang on. I'll just cut out a couple more. Yes. Yeah. I won't do them perfectly, otherwise I'll be here all day, but give you the idea. But again, I've seen a few of these on the same on the fan page, and they they are. Oh if yeah. If I say so myself, I'm really impressive. I'm really. Quite well, the thing proud. is, you could sell that to 100 people, and they'd all bring it in, and they'd all be slightly different, wouldn't they? They'd yeah. all be have their own personality on them. And some gorgeous colours as well that people yeah. are put, doing their own thing as well as just doing. It was quite nice seeing this one done actually, because I hadn't made this one. Oh, had you not? So somebody had done it, yeah. It uh, was... There we go, that'll okay. do. Okay. And then you get your panel back. Of course, we're giving you the little pressing mat now. I know, it's because you think they can't be trusted. You should have kept No, 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 it's because we've got that one for sale in this. Hey, you can have the big one. I'll have, I'll have the dirty one back. <laughs> there you go. She hasn't got a fresh one. We haven't got a fresh one to give her. And you just take it off the back. And then you just press it into place. Oh. Where's that one go then? I think it goes there. Oh, so you haven't got, you're not building his head then. You just took, done random. I've just done random just to show you the different yeah. parts. But I quite like the purple, the blue tails. They have got like a blue tail, haven't they? Yeah. Yeah. I've, they're I've like those um, iridescent blues, aren't they? And iridescent blacks they've got in their tail like that. You yes. know what I mean? They're like a black feather or a blue feather, but then yeah. you can see different yeah, peacock gorgeous. tones in there. Yeah, yeah. oh, peacock. There was, um, oh, that'd be nice, yeah. There, were, there was a, a, a whole flock, would you call flock of chickens? That were living, you know the four alls as you come yeah. over the bridge, right? Yeah, yeah. And they were living there, and they were just on the roadside, and they were the most exquisite birds I've ever seen. They were all black. The feet were black, the bodies really? were black, the beaks were black. But then they've got that kind of this beautiful shimmer to them. They're all just like wandering around quite happily. I don't know if they were ducks or if they were chickens, but they looked, they were all, every bit of them was black. It was beautiful. They were beautiful. It's nice pub, the four alls. So that we, we came to the one in your... Uh, different pub obviously uh, into your village the other week which we were like if I knew exactly that I thought we were going to have to go round and knock on your door and get you to join us for a oh yeah well Ben's in my oh well, no Ben's in the four rules on Christmas Eve who is? yeah Ben is and Charlie when he was looking after my house with Hattie they went to the four rules as well yeah it's nice there what's the other one in that village? the bell that's oh the, the bell one. that's won all the awards that's yeah. the fancy one isn't yeah. it oh we don't go to that one no 
<laughs> Don't go to the fancy pubs. It's not that fancy, is it? Dulcie goes there, so it can't be that fancy. <laughs> a lot of famous people go to that one. Yeah, it's like a, a date night pub. Isn't yeah, it, yeah. One? Oh, yes, 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 yeah. I'm just putting this. And the other one in the in, in, in Long Welford, uh, Lo in Welford on Avon. It's called the Bell. It's won loads and loads of awards on the side of the wall in the car park. He's got all the all the awards they've won written on the wall. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? There. There you go. So uh, you get the idea. I'm yeah. Just sort of building it up. Right. Under, while you're sticking that, let I'm me show you the butterfly the version. <laughs> Which one would you do first? Thirty-six first. There's a lot of movement going on up there, isn't there? There you go. There's the. Oh, now this one hasn't got a butterfly on it. This is just your five-inch squares with butterflies on. Beautiful. Well, they match this cushion behind me. Yeah. Fourteen ninety-nine. Not too long, please. Oh, thank you. Then I've got sixty-five or seventy-four. 65. So this one's the same look. So you've got the outline of the butterfly and then you've got all the fabulous fabrics to create. Is that that one? Yeah, I did it as a cushion, but you can do it as a wall hanging. Yeah, you can do it yeah. as a quilt. You can do. Beautiful, isn't it? No instructions, no instructions. Just do what Delphine's just doing over there with the cockerel. And then there's this colourway. Oh, that's nice. Oh, hang on, no, no, I've got this wrong again. It's not a colourway, it's just four fat quarters. They, I don't know if they are, but they're just called fat quarter plus. They're 70 by 50 each. So you've got butterflies splodge I've done it like almost like batiks yeah sun and then little butterflies there sorry so that's your only panel with the butterfly on it then we've got the five inch squares and then this one's the one with the fatter quarters for 19.99 lovely then where are we going next then oh it's a bit of a mess at uh, what is that uh, what Oh, uh, what? 94, yep. Yeah. Oh, this is the clock. Isn't this the clock panel? I don't... No, that's just... No, no, it's so. not. There you go. Stag and Alpines. From the theme of, like, the, the, yeah. the clock, wasn't it, there? Five-inch squares again. Lovely. I just wanted to see that one from upstairs. There you go. Loads of details, lovely colours there. Is, is that what's coming up in a minute? Right, so then 36, did you say? Oh, no, 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 that's the owl one. Oh, now I've seen that one somewhere. That's down there. I'll get that for you now. Beautiful. Okay, that can make you, is it this one here? Yeah. Sorry. That one. Beautiful. Keep your eye on that one because Ben's got his eye on it for his house. In his master bedroom. Well, how big's your small bedroom? 63. This is your stag. You need to go to Richmond Park or to Woolly, uh, Richmond Park or is it Woolly Park? I can't remember the name of the park in um, Hampton now, where you can wander around the stags and everything. Oh, you can it. Um, where is it? Near me, by the airfield. You got stags? Yeah, Charlcote. You know Charlcote? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I've only yeah. ever driven past it. It looks oh, like a big posh house. Loads of them. Yeah, yeah, it's a national trust. Oh. Um, they're always that. We walked past them last weekend and right up by the fence. Yeah, yeah, in, in Richmond Park. Yeah. Well, Richmond Park, not so much. What's the park in Hampton? I can't remember what it's called now. We always take Charlie the dog for a walk there. And literally, they're all around you. They're, yeah. they're like grunting all around you. Then I've got number 76. So what's this one? Oh, this is nothing to do with animals, this one. Battle of Britain. This is Battle of Britain, this one.
So what do you do with this one then? Oh, I've got this one over here, haven't I? Oh, that one. What do you make out of this one? Oh, you can make anything. I did. I did wall hanging. I've Is that this thing. here? Uh, I think no. That one there. Yeah. This one's got writing on it. It's oh, yours that was what the same thing. So you're oh, that, the, oh, one you, the one you're walking over. <laughs> <laughs> so those I did little planes. Yeah, Chalcot's your one near you. Yeah. I'm thinking of the one in, in Hampton near um next to Twickenham where you walk the dog. Anyway, these are all different things you can make from this one. And then that one. Did you do that right? Oh, you did that writing with your computer with your sewing machine. Yeah. Gorgeous. Lovely. Now, what else have I got to show you? I've got a wool pressing mat, the big one. $24.99, that's your price. That's your 42 by 29.7. How is the bonder web, the big bonder web doing? Oh. I thought it was what you were coming for. She was coming at me then with the pressing board. <laughs> five, still five available of these. Make sure you check out, you've got it in your basket. Oh. I've got some fabric apparently. Well, I've got Osnaberg. Oh, I love that. Yes, I do. So this mm. is brilliant for um, cross stitching, embroidery, open weeks, like a posh calico, this one. Mm. It's a... Uh, TGLJ48. Very popular. That would be nice if you did my sheep cushion. Oh, yes. It would be lovely. Yeah. It is lovely as a backing or a background mm. or anything like that. Slightly open weave. Fantastic for embroidery or cross stitch or anything like that. Oh, lovely. It's 2 dollars buy, buy the half metre off the bolt. I love the texture of that. That's lovely. Oh, now, now would you? They, they would look like the koi fish were swimming, swimming in sand, though. Mm. I want a well stew posh for the back of that. Charlie. So don't insult it. <laughs> it needs to be seen. Yeah, it needs to be it? seen, Charlie. Okay, and then I've got two other fabrics here. It looks like I've got naturally seeded FGLJ35. I like that one as well. Yes, yeah, it's as lovely as a cream. Mm. Oh, it's not naturally seeded cotton. Oh, it looks like it's got the slub in it, though. Anyway, it's the cream. Naturally, see, uh, not naturally, the cream, 100% cotton, 44 inches wide. £3.79 for half a metre. Charlie, everyone's rolling their eyebrows in here. Beautiful. And then I've got a blue, like a sapphire. It's sadly, I've been doing this way too long, isn't I? Oh, Hazel loves the chicken and the butterfly. I know, they're lovely, aren't they? I've got the smaller bonder web as well. If you're thinking the big roll is too, I've got this bonder web as well. In case you think the big one's too much for you. Bushy Park, thank you. Who said that? Yvonne, thank you, Yvonne. Bushy Park. That's where you take Charlie walking, and you could park up behind the flats and walk for ages. It was lovely. This one here is your uh, your five meters, thirty centimeters. This one we normally open and give to Delphine to take away. Yeah, I oh, know you haven't today. Have you opened that one? No. <laughs> Daddy 3.99 Got me an eye on that one Well I could do <laughs> No Becky's like no <laughs> I've opened that one now Duffy. That's naughty <laughs> you <laughs> are, That's naughty she says I'll have it though <laughs> Yeah. Exactly Merry Christmas 23.99 <laughs> I'm not opening this one as well Oh, there's only four left of those big ones. And you're going to take one off as well because they've been taking one. <laughs> no, no, no. Four left, four left, four left. Right, well, what else have got? I've got a plique mat. How many minutes have we got? Oh, I've got to go. Give me a minute. A plique mat. Now, let's talk about... Well, I'll talk about these in a minute. When well, I'll talk about them now. I've got these Gutemann mm. metal effect threads. Mm -hmm. Now they go very well, but you do have to be careful they don't shatter, um, 
What's it called when you put it through it the needle? Up. Yeah. yeah. They kind of uh, shear, don't they? Yeah. They kind of all cut. I just I use them in my machine. All I do is just go slow with them. Okay. If you if you just uh, if you're quite a heavy footed like I am, um, just just turn your um, speed. speed down, but a medium speed and i just put a normal plain cotton in the bobbin yeah, yeah oh yeah yeah and then put those in your yeah. bobbin right because they look gorgeous but they will I'm, I'm trying to think of the words it, uh, the friction goes through your needle the eye of your needle sometimes it will shatter yeah. the thread yeah. but if you use a, 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 a machine needle with a bigger eye that always helps with yeah. those as well but they're beautiful they're gorgeous and you can make fantastic effect in fact you use them on your um Baubles coming from your antler from and things baubles, like that. Yeah, all yeah. That on the stuff. owl cushion, I use them on the owl as yeah, well. Yeah, on I, the owl as well. Yeah. At fourteen ninety nine. Right, Delphine, you're not again the game before Christmas, are I'm you? I'm not. No. So, would you like I'm to done. give a message to your ladies and gentlemen? Oh well, thank you for everything this year. It's been a really tell nice them, not me. Yeah, and you as well. Yeah. You're, lo you're lovely. No, thank you all for having me this year and I'll see you in the new year. Lots of new exciting things that we've I've got to go upstairs now and have a chat about, but um yeah, so all good. But I hope you all have a safe Christmas and a happy new year and I'll see you on the fourth. Oh it's changed, doesn't it? Doesn't yes. It? Yeah. I'll see you in the new year anyway, but yeah. I am gonna I've got a few more days work and then I'm gonna enjoy a couple of days off and but I look forward to seeing all your projects on the Sewing Street fan Absolutely. page. But no, wish you all a Merry Christmas and a happy new and year. And where are you going for your Christmas lunch? I'm going to the pub. In Stratford. In Stratford. Oh, you come to Stratford on Avon. I'm Stratford on Avon, yeah. Yeah. I should give you my keys. Then, yeah. if you can't make it home, you could just go and crash at my house. We'll go and crash at yours and yeah. uh, have a party around John's. Yeah, I won't be there. Oh no, of course I will. I will. Maybe you can feed the cats if you want. I'll pop in and feed the cats. <laughs> no, but we'll be there. But oh, no. brilliant! Listen, have a lovely time. Thank you, my love. Mm. Good to see you. And do right now. Tomorrow's <laughs> menu. I'm not in tomorrow. It's fixed tomorrow, it's fixed tomorrow. Oh, she's only got a Liberty launch tomorrow. I was meant to be in tomorrow, but Vic's had to swap, so I'm now in on Friday. So, uh, she's got bulk buy deals at eight o'clock. Don't know what that is. What's a bulk buy deal then? Uh, oh, like three for two and things like that. Oh, that sounds nice. Uh, then at nine o'clock, she's Susie Duncan's in and they're doing the brand new, in fact, has the advert gone out yet? Oh, is it? I haven't seen it. What do I, because it's my voice, isn't it? Liberty Flower Show, pebble fabric. Oh, I know it's lovely soft tones and everything like that. That's at nine o'clock. Then at 10 o'clock, they've got quilt kits and wadding at 10 o'clock. Then at 11, oh, they're obviously going to use the pebble fabric look. Pebble Dash, they've called that one. Uh, tote bag, that'll be a Susie Duncan um, pattern. And then clearance at 12 o'clock. Right, clearance 12 o'clock. Now, what's a hobby maker doing after us today? Oh, she's not sent the sheet. Oh, yeah, we, yeah you can put that on if you want to. Um, but uh, have we not got a hobby maker? We'll have a look. Laura didn't send it again. I don't know. Right, so this is what a hobby maker are doing this afternoon. So they've got Crafters Companion with Craig. He was on earlier this morning. He's not there. He's not there. He's doing it from up north, you know. Then now I've seen that lady. That lady's in the green room. Mm -hmm. What's she called? Gwen. Gwen was in the green room minutes ago. Oh, he's seen her. Princess Warrior's on today. Then they've got uh, Craig again doing hobby maker highlights. Then, oh, and then Craig. Oh, no, that must be the picture must be in the wrong place, is it? Because then it's Craig again. Look, it says Michelle, right? And they put the picture of Craig up. That one there's not Craig, it's Michelle. Then Craig comes back at the next hour and does Crafter's Companion and then Creative Expressions again after that we went. Well, they have long days, don't they? Uh, so I'll see you on Friday now. Oh, the calendar didn't arrive then. Oh, well, hopefully it'll be here for Friday. They did want to launch it on Christmas Day. That's the day they wanted to launch it. And I said, we have to do it before then. Um, but it's my calendar, 2023. Uh, hey, what? Well, you wait and see. You wait and see. Uh, thanks, Delphine. I'll Thank see you, you after the new year and the yeah. new year, and I'll see you on Friday morning. And here's the advert. Make sure you tune in this Thursday for the brand new launch of Liberty Fabrics. Join Vix and Susie Duncan for the next instalment of the Flower Show Collection with 15 designs available and fat quarter bundles. We'll be bringing a neutral palette of soft moss greens, buttercup yellows and pale blush pinks, which sit harmoniously against cooler greys and charcoals. Make sure you tuned in this Thursday at 9am on Sewing Street.
that's nice, isn't it? That Merry Christmas. Is that branded? Is that ours? Or did you just pick that up off the internet, Charlie? Oh, it's lovely, isn't it? Morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. How is everybody today? I've got my very subtle Christmas shirt on today. They're, look, it's, they're Christmas trees. Do you want to see? Come in close, come in close, come in close. Look. Claudio Lugley. Anyway, 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 I've got loads. Of, oh, do you know what? Today's the day my calendar is meant to arrive. The John Scott 2023 calendar is meant to arrive today. But we got an email last night saying it will be delivered to the warehouse tomorrow anytime between 8 a.m. and 8 p.m. What do you bet? What do you bet? It's at one minute to eight tonight it's delivered. And I'm not in tomorrow. So it'll be Friday. If we can't get it on the show today, it'll be Friday. It'll be Friday. Right, okay, shall we do today? Oh, we've got Christmas early bed. Here we go. Ding, ding. Sleigh bells. I remember we did the Snow Queen as our Christmas show when I was at primary school. I said, I love it. Anyway. Today's early bird is fantastic. Now I'm freezing cold now, Becky. She's got a cheap acrylic jumper on. She's like, it's too hot in here, it's too hot in here. Can't work in this heat, I'm too hot, I'm too hot. I'm freezing. What? Come here, come here, quickly. Don't crash the place yet. Here's Becky, right, with her reindeer jumper on, right? And she's very proud of it. We won't be, you have to jump, Becky, or lift it up like this. There you go. Did you make it yourself? Yeah. She did not. She paid for it in Tesco's or wherever it was. Anyway, she's boiling hot, right? Because she's wearing her acrylic, right? I'm standing under the... Anyway, this is a gorgeous uh, Sherry and Chelsea Seashore Drive. Should be $47.99. It's Moda. It's Moda and it is gorgeous. The fabrics in here are lovely. They go through... Look at their lovely colours in there. Beautiful colours in there. Now, you know what they are? They're two and a half inches wide. They're 44 inches long because they're with the fabric. And look, guess how much she's going to? Should we see it from upstairs? Oh, is it not? It was just... There it is, there it is, there it is, there it is. 29.99, £29.99. £29 right, while you're checking out, Carol says good morning. Margaret says good morning. Out and about, catch up later. Mar oh, another Margaret, very nice shirt. Jill says, morning, John, love the shirt. Very classy and flattering. Claire says, morning, John, all loving that shirt. Becky Alexander Frost, what's she doing up this early? Good morning, John and team. Do you know what? They've got even less space to eat now, those poor kids. Now she's got a long arm quilter. There's nowhere for the kids to eat their breakfast. They have to stand up by the front door now to eat their breakfast like this. 29.99, 20, look at the colors in there. They're beautiful. This is so spring, isn't it? Ready for your New Year's makes, I'd say, this one. 40 strips you get there. Two and a half inches wide, 44 inches long. Look at the colours. They're beautiful. Lovely creams in there. Then we go into your chatrous. Then we go into your lovely soft coral, would you say that was? I still love going to Monty Coral's house. She lived on the River Dean. You put your hand outside the dining room window and put your hand in the water. The water came right up to her dining room window and it was high tide. Anyway, then we got this. Now, what rose would you call that? Rose. Then we go on to a, like a spearmint. Then we go on to a soft jade. Oh, jade. Talking about jade, jade, jade. Oh, talking about jade, jade, jade. I'll tell you later. Uh, then we go into like coffee. Latte. Do you know what? Yesterday I had to buy two, um, you know those things you put your Christmas lights on and they come on and off, and timer switches and everything, right? So I had to walk into town from, I parked at the top of town, walked into town, went to, you know, the electrical shop in town. No, we haven't got any. Walked back, went to every, went to Curry's, don't sell them. Ended up getting them in Georgia Astor's, right? Brilliant price and they're fantastic. Anyway, look, I don't know why I was talking about, oh, because I was going to go for a coffee, but I didn't in the end, so I was so late after all that walking. Beautiful coffee colours there. Then we go into that lovely, rich, rich mushroom. Would you call that? 29.99, this is. 29.99. Should be 47.99 and will be 40, will be 47.99 again tonight at midnight when the price, because it's a price crash, can't speak, price crash. 
Uh, right, hang on, let's see. Uh, Donna says, good morning. No, she says, they're not eating breakfast at the door. They have to eat it outside now. Oh, that's nice. Mother of the Year award she's going for, isn't she? Anna says, morning, John. Hope you're feeling better. Uh, 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 Anna, thank you, I am. I'm feeling... The thing is, I never felt poorly, Anna. It was just a very bad eye, and that, this elbow was really bad, but it seems to be fine this morning. I did overdo it yesterday with all the wafting I did yesterday, and I woke up this morning a bit sore, but I've got my I believe. I believe in every drop of rain that falls. Um, I've got that on my arm. <coughs> Brenda says, morning, only watching for a bit. Got to go to work. Oh, Brenda, go through your pre-order, Brenda. Go through pre-order. Uh, morning, Anne. Sharon says, morning. Need to move and get ready for work. I really can't be bothered. Ooh, honestly, you're going to work today. It's Christmas week. You should be off. Anyway, beautiful colours, gorgeous colours. Make sure you check it out. There's loads of you there. L over half the stock has gone now. Over half the stock has gone now. Uh, well, Angie's doing Christmas baking while she watches. Or oh, she'll be posh if she's got a telly in her kitchen. Message on the bottom. Here we go. Morning, John. Love the shirt. And Becky, love the jumper from Carolyn Anglesey. Thank you. Oh, you've made her day now. <coughs> Good morning, John and fabulous team. Sending you all Christmas greetings from Georgina. <coughs> Remember... Well, the advert hasn't gone out yet, but we are reading out Christmas messages on Christmas Day. And I want you all to send hundreds and hundreds and hundreds in, because we're going to send them to Kate in marketing, and she's going to put them all on lovely boarded things. She'll be expe she's expecting loads, so get them in on studio at sayingstreet.com. Studio at sayingstreet.com. We'll forward them all on to Kate. You know Kate in marketing, who does those adverts and everything? She'll do that. Twenty nine ninety nine. If only, but these Barnley families need us. Oh, Sharon, exactly. <coughs> oh, excuse me, I'm getting all coffee there. Lou says, good morning. Good morning, Lou. Keep going through, keep going through, keep going through. 29 .99. I know. Ah, uh, no, it's gorgeous. I love the colours. I look at the price. Now, the, the thing about prices is there's only one way to go in the new year, isn't it? I'm just saying, just saying. Because, you know, Claire from Native Lighting was in, and I said to her in the show, didn't I? Oh, I suppose you'll be putting your prices up soon. She said, I already have done. She's charging us more for them. We haven't passed them on to you yet, but obviously there's going to come a time when we're going to have to. Same will be with fabric suppliers and everything. It's not our fault, and I'm not trying to put a dampener on the week or anything, but that's the way of the world, isn't it? My Tesco shop now, other supermarkets are available. Uh, you know, it's changed completely. Anyway, 29.99, keep going through. The other Jan says, morning, John and everyone. Jo Donna says, you keep me company while I sew. Day job, not fun sewing. Ooh. Laurie says, morning, cheerful, John. Have a great day, everyone. <coughs> I've got a bit of a frog in my throat. I think it's the, the fluff that's come off this. I've got my drinks here. I've got my ginger water and I've got my plain water here. Thank you. And what? I've got what? Oh, I've had my dash water already. Hang on, what are you saying, Ben? Oh, oh right, they've all gone. Once you've all checked out, these have gone. So if you want it, check out, check out, check out. Have you got your microphone on, Ben? Yeah. Oh, okay, right. Oh, there you go. Now you're fine now. Yeah, did, Hannah did the first 10 minutes yesterday. I kept saying, your microphone's not on. Sure, it is, it is. And then Bruce went, your microphone's not on. <laughs> but no, no, you're fine now. You just, you were sitting further. You were la slouching in your chair, I think. That's what you were doing. 29, 90, uh, yesterday, Hannah had a fit of the giggles in the middle of the show yesterday. And Bruce did camera, camera cam, whatever it's called, gallery cam and everything. She couldn't speak. And we have no idea why. We have no idea why. She just said something to herself, started giggling, and, and then Bruce started then. And all I had done here, I'm trying to do a sale, and Bruce and he, little girls giggling in the gallery. Bruce was on form yesterday. Oh, yeah. 29, 19, check out, check out, check out. There's not enough to go around. Hey, what? Going to leave that with you for now. Let's have a look at today's menu. So, coming up today, clearance at 8 o'clock. That's now. I'll be moving over there in a minute. But I want to stay here to show you a couple of other things before I do. 9 o'clock. Now, we've got the rustic home denim cushion. Now, we've got the old cushion. Not the old. The one she did first. No, hang on. No, no, no. Did she get both of them? That one. That one. So, we brought that one back because so many people missed out on it last time and the people who've made it absolutely love it. Now, it's not the same technique, but it's the same effect. Look at this one. Oh, that's denim. That's done with denim. It's lovely, isn't it? I love the perspective of those. What are those things called that go into the sea like that? They've got a funny name like grockle or something like that, haven't they? It's not a geezer. Right, 
Anyway, move off there now. She's had enough time. Then at 10 o'clock, John and Susie's Crystal Hour with Susie Menham. Now, I know there's going to be a mixed reaction to this, but I just want to tell you very quickly. A couple of weeks ago, I mentioned on air about a rose quartz. I had a rose quartz home, and Ben was saying, oh, but rose quartz is for unconditional love, blah, blah, blah. And so many people responded to it. We thought, do you know what? It's all about mindfulness. It's all about making yourself or gifting something special, isn't it? So, I, I, not only to have it in your craft room, but just nice for... I, I've got crystals at home. I have crystals around the house, but I also have crystals that sometimes you just sit... And, like this one, right, for example. This is coming up in the hour, right? This is jade. How beautiful is this? How lovely is that? Right? So that's coming up. So it's just an hour of like, and, and for those of you who don't know Susie, she's completely gorgeous. She's on Jewelry Maker all the time, right? But we love her. We love her. She made me this bracelet and I've never taken it off. I take it off to go to bed at night time, right? Never taken it off since she made it for me. I, I, I broke it. She, she's going to mend it for me. I broke the little love heart on there, but it's lovely, right? Even, you know what? Sometimes it's just nice just to do that with a piece of cool jade or a crystal or something like that. Anyway, uh, moving on, moving on, back to the menu. Delphine is back at 11 o'clock. We're doing the Tula Pink Rise and Shine quilt. Here it is. It's huge. It's enormous. It's a uh, foundation paper piecing, but very, very, very simple foundation paper piecing. Then Delphine is back in the last hour. Uh, we're doing a roundup of Delphine Brooks patterns and kits and everything like that so uh, that's all at 12 o'clock there are three ways you can get in touch first way is by email studio at sewingstreet.com studio at sewingstreet.com the second way is by facebook live which ones i've been shouting out let me see if we've got any more oh hang on oh screen's gone blank here we go uh, Sharon says, uh, morning, John. I spend most of the morning on the phone trying to sort out my bank card issues. Oh, from yesterday. Is it sorted now? Very exhausting as kept being put through to the wrong department. Oh, no. Mari says, morning, Johnny boy. Have a good day. I will. Amanda says, nearly a week till I'm testing positive for COVID. <gasps> Got so much to do, but you're keeping me going. Oh, no. And they're called groins, apparently. Uh, grockles, not grockles, groins, they're called, says Anna. Right, OK, so that was that way. Or you can go to the website, www.sangstreet.com. You can click on Watch the Show Live. Oh, it's gone red. Uh, oh, that's because he tried to send it without writing anything. That's what happened, right? And that's what comes up on my bottom later. I scroll down the page and you will see two columns in a minute. Now, that, that basically, as soon as you've all checked out on that early bird, that will have sold out. Right, so this is what's coming up on today's show. Uh, we've got uh, clearance. They're not in clearance. Sewing machines aren't in clearance. This is all clearance fabric here. Now, we're going to be crashing. Those prices are going to be crashing. They are not the price you pay. Anything we don't get to, Ben will put through at the end of the show. He'll put them through at the, at the new reduced price. Everything there, everything in this house is still being crashed, right? Fabric-wise, everything is being crashed until you get to look there's loads stop oh no no there right now we start on delphine's hour so there the, oh now there you go beautiful 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 there's the one. keep going keep going keep going then here's the gorgeous crystals now are these the actual prices these are the prices you will pay these will not be crashed They've already been crashed. They've already been crashed. And we'll explain what they can, if you believe in it, you can, what we can bring into Look at that lovely butterfly there. Oh, that one will be going low. The multi-gemstone rough kit pack of 20 will be being crashed, but none of the others will be. Delphine's chakra is in there for a reason, because the whole show originally was all going to be about chakras. Oh, there's that, there's that uh, jade that I just showed you. Type A jadeite. Beautiful, isn't it? There we go. Beautiful. More jade out there. Oh, is that a leaf? Beautiful leaf there. And the little, now, the little black cat is selling out already. Oh, I'm not surprised. £4.89. Uh, now, there's another jade out there. Look, a cat jade. I didn't see that one. And then the rose. Look at that lovely amethyst rose there. Oh, they called it a carved flower. I called it a rose. Right, then we're into Delphine's uh, quilt. Uh, 249 pounds plus your backings and everything. Now you need your foundation paper piecing there and your cutting mat. Then we move on to, it's all still Delphine's out there. Uh, for, oh yeah, add a quarter rulers and everything. Then we go on to Delphine's kits. 
These are the best of Delphine's kits. Look, butterfly, rooster, stag, big rooster, owl, a owl, as little Paul says, a owl, fox. I think we're going to be doing a demo on the fox, aren't we? Uh, stained glass, butterfly, fat quarter, bud. Oh, now you see that one on the right hand side there, the sunrise wall hanging. I've never seen that before. It's, uh, I'm going to nick that sample. I love it. I'll borrow it for Christmas. I'm going to borrow it for Christmas. Be rude not to. Anyway, we won't get through all of those, but there's all of Delphine's things. And then it's the end of the show. We go home and you turn over and watch Hobby Maker. Back to me. Right, first hour. Look, I've got to be talking for so long already. I'm exhausted. First hour, clearance. Where are we going to start? Oh, this, this one. Now, these are going to sell out because you've already been buying these on pre-order. This is Moda. What it is, is there, it's a Lucky Dip bag. They are from Design Rolls. I got, a, somebody bought one of these, messing me, go, oh, John, they're all thin strips. It's a Design Roll, they're Design Roll pieces, right? Now, they'll all, they all go together. I think someone's put two together. I'm not going to show you that one because I think people have put two together in that one. Right, here we go, I'll open this one. Oh, no, I'm not going to open this one. There's only three left. Basically, if you look in there, this is one of the ones you, one of you will get this one. One of you will get this one, right? Basically, they're strips that are two and a half inches wide or two and a half inches with a selvage on there. But there's only three left and it's 17 99 And it's done by weight. It's half a pound. Half a pound in there. I didn't show you that other one that I had out just then because that was two had been put in the same bag there. Okay, it's five in baskets. Don't worry, Bex. Five in baskets. Uh, three left, two left now. Two left, two left, two left. Check out, check out, check out. That's all I'm going to say. Thank you, Bex. Right, next. We will indeed. Green patchwork for peace. Fat quarter, right? Where's my look? They've moved all my um, my thingies. There you go. Six ninety nine already a good price. Already a fantastic price. Oh, Auntie Pauline's Auntie Pauline's watching. Happy Christmas to all Sewing Street from Auntie Pauline. Now, did you see her on Hubby Make? Yes, I told you to go. She's had her hair cut, right? It's taken ten years off her. She only looks about seventy four now. Five pound fee. That wasn't my word. That was her best friend told her that. I just said, you look 10 years younger. And then she went, and? And I said, no, and. It's all flicky. It's all playful and flicky now. I know. £5.59. She was doing some cardboard thing next door. £5.59. Loads of people looking forward to the Crystal Hour. Crazy Lorraine says, morning, John, and all Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Yeah, because it, oh no, Charlie and Becky are in tomorrow. But I'm not in tomorrow, so this is my last day with them before Christmas. I'm with Ben on Friday, and then I'm with Hannah on Saturday and Sunday. Charlie be watching on Sunday, won't you be cooking the dinner? And now, what, what do you have? Do you do um, Taka Dal? Oh, right, they're not having any of these Indian specialities. Do you not have one little dish? Who was on the radio this morning? It was, oh, I know. I'll tell you it was. It was the lady who did Pause for Thought on the radio coming in. And she said, uh, but she was talking, she's a, uh, she was, I'm not getting political or religious or anything like that, but she was a Hindu lady. And she said she loves Christmas only because she loves the feeling of community and everything. And then she'd cooked Christmas dinner, but she always has a few of her special dishes alongside the turkey and everything. Five pound fifty nine. What's the matter? Yeah, do a little taka dal or something. Oh no, sagalu. Oh, do a little sagaloo with it. Morning, gorgeous. I'm looking for. Oh, there you go. June's looking forward to the Crystal Hour. Thank you, June. Five pound fifty-nine. Those. So I'm moving on. Moving on. Oh, sorry. I'm just, what's next? Oh yeah, what's right? Here we go. These are cute. Now these are Christmas. So these will have to be for next next year's Christmas. But I know what you sewing people are like. You so up uh, we sewing people are like. Doesn't matter, does it? You could make a Christmas thing in January ready for next year. Oh, I'm so cold. We're going to have to switch it off in a minute. Anyway, if you get me coming down with a cold, it'll be Becky's fault. If I get a cold for Christmas, it'll be Becky's fault, everyone. Oh, hang on. What's Crystal Greater Manchester say? Good morning, Mr. Scott. Oh, Crystal, that's my bank balance gone. That's Chris the boy in Manchester. Now, he's an ambassador for Santangle. And Sandra Santangle is on Hobby Maker on Christmas Day. Do you remember, also you've got to know on Christmas Day, I'm here from 8 till 12, and then Hobby Maker 12 till 4 on Christmas Day, so it's a bit different. Well, we'll have gone by then, so it's fine. 7 
Gorgeous. How much were they supposed to be? Twelve ninety nine. Look, you say five pounds on those. Beautiful. Moving on. What is the clearance? That's what we do in clearance, Charlie. We crash on everything in clearance. Right. What? What? Oh yeah, this, 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 this. Sweet baby. These are ten inch squares. $44.99 these should be. Look at the price this goes to. Beautiful. They're lovely, these. Here we go. Look at the price. Clearance, $29.99. Basically, can I just tell you, you're getting Black Friday prices because a lot of this fabric... Remember the mix-up on Black Friday in the morning, right? We didn't play two hours or an hour and a half's worth of fabric, did we? So we've got all that fabric to show you. So a lot of this is from that, from that hour and a half at the beginning. $29.99 this is. For a 10-inch charm pack. Pam Mini Harney says, good morning, lovely. Have I read that, Hilary's morning, John. Merry Christmas, she says. Kat says, good morning. I'm having a sneaky sewing street watch while the husband is having a lie-in. I want to wish everyone a beautiful Christmas. It sounds like everybody's switching off for Christmas today, doesn't it? But thank you, Kat. Some of us are here till Sunday. Well, I'm off tomorrow, but some of us are here till Sunday. I'm going out for dinner tonight. Well, I'm not quite sure. I'm going to Dulce's and either we're driving to another friend's house for dinner or Dulce's cooking and the other friends are coming to Dulce's house. I'm not quite sure which way around. You doing what? Oh, um, uh, uh, Charlie watched Matilda the other day. Oh, did you? It had mixed, mixed reviews, though. Beautiful, because um, Dulce was the costume supervisor on Matilda, the latest film, you see. 29.99. What was that? Oh, was that your knee? Blimey. One fine day. There we go, 47.99. Not today. Clearance, well, it's only clearance for an hour, remember. <clears throat> this one goes to $34.99. This is predominantly red, this one. Beautiful. There you go, $34.99. Uh, this is Modar, remember? Modar. So it's a layer cake. Oh, got a bit of orange now. Oh, no, here we go. There come the other colours. Orange. Green, Elaine. Uh, morning, John. Got the carved cats. Oh, there you go. You see, people got them already. Got the carved cats for friends and the amethyst robes for myself. I am an amethyst. Uh, I use an amethyst pebble for stress release. See, sadly needs Elaine. Elaine, I hope I, I hope I help you stress as well. Not make it worse. I hope I don't make it worse. I hope I make it better. See now, you see the crystal hours selling already. Selling already. Beautiful. Then we've got the navy blues at the back there. Gorgeous. Right, moving on. Can't spend too long on anything in this clearance though. We've got so much to get through. Yes, we can. Now, this will obviously have to be for next year as well. There you go. Look, you can make a Santa sack with different things on both sides or two different sacks. Uh, thirteen ninety nine. What's it reduced from? It's already been reduced. We're not crashing this one. It's massive. Twenty pounds. Nineteen ninety nine. This was. Thirteen ninety nine. Oh look! Uh, look! Look! Uh, Sandy chocolate chip cookies message in everyone. Morning, John and team. Really looking forward to the crystal hour. Watching whilst so my last Christmas beard. Bear. 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 Uh, or, yeah, because she, she makes bears. You know, she, she's research for stuff. Uh, Sandy chocolate chip cookie. There you go, she signed herself off. Ch Sandy chocolate chip cookie. Ah, Right, moving on. Right, now, I've got Shabby Chic, I've got Hannah Basics, I've got Deck Chair, and I've got Camo. Camo, oh, would be the furthest one away, wouldn't it? No, I'm here, I'm here, I'm ready. I'm like a... Boiled, no, coiled spy, what's it called? Coiled spring, ready to go, raring to go. Right, now I've got pink, olive, and blue in the small camo, and I've got pink and green in the big camo. 
Oh, okay. Right, okay. So I'll do this one first. KJUI57. Now, yesterday, when I left for work, left, left work yesterday, KJUI57. No. Oh, hang on there, hang on. Because yesterday, the, I think the new batch of stickers we've got. Shall I come back to it? They, they all flew. Yeah, it says 57 mine though. I definitely haven't got no, we'll come, we'll come back to that. I'll come back to that in a minute. I'll come back to that one in a minute. So then the other big one I've got is WZU106 or IO6. Uh, it could be, it could be yesterday half it arrived with no stickers on. 5.99, this is animal camo. Now, the reason it's called animal camo is it's a range that do animal prints and they do camo, but they just put them both in. 2.99 for half a meter, this one. June says, how did your wall wound today? June, my eyebrow's fine. There's, I, I mean, I've got a big black eye, but it doesn't hurt at all. My elbow's still a little bit. Oh, I can't wait for it to heal. I'm going to have one of those gangster eyebrows. Well, no, what I was about to say yesterday was, as I left yesterday, there was a man got off a great big motorbike, right? Like a motorbike. He was a big, chunky man. And he had like bright pink camo trousers on and a leather jacket. And I was like, where's he going? Anyway, he went straight to security. So, and he left his motorbike switched on. Because I could hear it revving. Two ninety nine. I don't know who he was. He had a lot of earrings in and things. Two ninety nine for half a metre. Beautiful. Then I've got a blue one, which is a smaller print, P-O-L-J-63. Now this feels like a different fabric, this one. This one's called Army Camouflage in the blue. I think this one's more like a poplin, this one. It's 100% cotton. It is 100% cotton though. 2.99. Yeah, for war, they should be able to see me, would they? But then, can you only wear blue camo in the sea? Oh, ice, ice and snow. I don't know, because I haven't got any. Ice and snow, that is. Beautiful. Then I've got a car key one, ending 69. I remember when we used to do the James Bond films, we used to have to have all the costumes made. There's so many different, um, types of camo and where you wear it and what you wear it for and things like that. they have to get it right otherwise the first thing you do is you get an email from plumbing going that would they wouldn't have worn that in that desert <clears throat> uh morning john lying on the couch feeling sorry for myself as i've caught a cold feeling yuck from sandra oh sandra scott mills couldn't do his show on the radio yesterday because he got it as well yeah gabby rosling had to fill in at the last minute <clears throat> well no that's why i had a limb sit for my breakfast this morning and I've squirted the nose thing. No, not the nose thing. The um, cold killer, no nasal spray. I've had that already this morning. Victoria Pete's watching from Gibraltar. Uh, message on the bottom. Uh, Hi, John. This camera is perfect for my granddaughter. She's just been made Lance Corporal and will love this fabric. Oh, Denise. Is that important, Lance Corporal? Uh, now I've got the black and white one. Or grey. You know it's going, 2 Have you got any camo, Charlie? Oh, yeah. They both, both he and, and uh, Ben had camo jackets, apparently. Were they? 2 Charlie, you want to be in the RAF, Charlie? Yeah, my dad was in the RAF. Right, I'm going to get this one out because I've got 57. Okay, I'm going to... Uh, here you go, you have that. I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> 5.99, not 5.99. 2.99. 2 99 Beautiful. I love this pink one. What would you... It would have to be a fashion statement, wouldn't it, really? Well, yeah, yeah. Was he a fashion statement, the biker, yesterday? Yeah. 
Oh, oh, look, there's one piece of fabric. It's got four stickers on it. The black and white one has got four stickers on it. And none of them are the... No, no. no. Oh, they could be off any of these then. You'd have to check, double check that one. Or just take the stickers off. Just take the stickers off so they didn't arrive without them. Right, next I've got Shabby Chic. Shabby Chic. Right, hang on. Let me sort it out into uh, designs then. Because I've got roses. I've got stars. I've got stripes. I've got roses with script, I've got spot, I've got damask, and I've got hearts. Oh, and more roses. Oh! What mate, what, what, what? The agate and the tiger's eye cats have both sold out. Sorry. Blimey. Right, so let's do roses first. And what, what? Oh, and the butterfly, the rose quartz butterfly, there's only six of those left. You're flying in for those. Right, so I've got EHU196. It's roses in lilac. It's, uh, now, this is a fabric that is 55% linen, 45% cotton. It's extra wide, and it should be 5.99 for half a metre. Victoria Peak, morning, John. Just back for a couple of days in Malaga. Oh, very nice, seeing the amazing Christmas lights. That's Victoria Pete. She's not, you're not coming home at all over Christmas? Because she's, she's living in Gibraltar now, isn't she? 2 99 You've been there for ages now, Victoria Pete. Maybe you should get them to post your husband back to the UK now. Yeah, yeah. 2 99 Oh, yeah. Beautiful, that's roses with lilac. On oh, grey, yeah, that's right. Then I've got grey ones, a JAU136. Again, extra wide, linen and cotton mix. Beautiful. Goes to 2 Grey roses on grey, that one. 2 99 for half a metre. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. I am going fast because there's loads to get through. Right, I'm now doing stars, right? So I've got NVU182. You certainly will be the envy of all your friends. What's going on up there? Oh, nothing. Yeah. Beautiful. 599 is where you should be. Extra wide linen cotton mix, 299. I know it's brilliant. Cushion backs. It doesn't have to be Christmas just because it's got stars on it. Stars are not just for Christmas, they're for life. And like a dog that is just for Christmas, not for life. Did I get that wrong? 299. Has anyone sent any messages? Fast forward on to Kate. We need to get a hold of when you see Alan in the break, message Alan. He said he was going to be in early today. And we can get my Christmas Day advert ready. Oh, sorry, she needs a number. Oh, she doesn't bring it down. He, he Oh, I haven't got one. This will be one of those labels off your um. So it's, cre it's Cream Stars on Grey, I think this one will be called. Do you want me to come back to it? Oh, you got it. Shabby chic. So he just sends it, does he? Yeah. He's very busy at the moment. He was going to come in extra early this morning because I had to do another one. Oh, talk of the devil. What time do you call this extra early you said you'd be in? So I stayed late yesterday, so he didn't have to come in early this morning. Yeah, but he's got children, you see. He's got children, you know, he doesn't want to be leaving early, does he? Two. So which one have you finished, mine or Vix's? Where's he gone? Oh. I don't care. What time will mine be ready? No. No, we've already advertised it today. Go on then, get upstairs and do that. Honestly, you can't just do it with one... No, I'm not in tomorrow. 
Two ninety nine. Honestly, he's got a whole team of people up there scurrying around after him. Right, now I've got this one. I've got Gingham and I've got Stripe in this one. Don't be standing there chatting. Go and finish it. He's what? He hasn't got anyone else's to do, has he? He'll be going home after that. Right, which one first, Stripe or Gingham? Oh, number, you want number. SPU198. Again, the linen and cotton mix. Julie Vaughan, Julie Vaughan says, morning, John and team. Where have you been till now, Julie Vaughan? You missed a fabulous early bird. 2.99, this is 2.99. I can't remember what she made yesterday. She put a picture up of something she'd made yesterday. Was it a bag? I can't remember now. Charlie's made a bag, have you brought it in? Oh, you got a picture? Oh, make, get it up then, put it on the system. Get Alan to make a video about it. You might get it in a week on Friday. Two ninety nine extra wide, gorgeous. That this is one Hannah wants. Hannah wants this one and the next one and the next one. I know she said it was getting a bit limited that one. Then there's this one here, which is the striped one, which is JGUI fifteen. These are all shabby chic. These are all the linen and cotton mix, mix even. Do you know what? Why am I hungry already? I've had my toast. I find... Did anyone bring chocolates in today? You've got a what? Freddo. What the heck's a Freddo? I've got no idea what a Freddo is. It's a what? Little frog. Has it got anything in it or is it just chocolates? And why is it called that then? And how many did you bring in? Oh, she's got two. One for me, one for her. Right, then I've got spots. Are they expensive, Freddos? Or 5p? Oh, 50p. 50p each? Do you buy them in a bag of 20? Yeah, yeah. A mum buys them, obviously. Yeah, likely. Does your mum supply all your food and everything? And how much rent do you pay? Trudels, I have to have words with you in the new year. She, it's for her own good, it's her own good, because when she leaves and she suddenly has to start paying bills, she's like, what do you mean you have to pay for electricity? What do you mean you have to pay for food? Right, I'm doing the brown one first, S-I-U-I-O-8. This is, I love this one, it's a rich, talking of chocolate, rich chocolate brown, that one. Always what? Yeah. Two ninety nine. Julie Vaughan, you've cost me a fortune since you started on Sewing Street, John. Yeah, don't be blaming me, Julie Vaughan. Julie Vaughan. I may, oh, Adam Brooks, she made Adam Brooks's Baker Boy cat in a really lovely green tweed. I saw that on the picture, yeah. Georgina says, morning, John and team. What is the width of this fabric? I'd say this fabric was 55 <laughs> inches wide. Wait a moment, wait a moment. Oh, just drop the tape measure. Hold the line, caller. Oh, 60. 150 centimetres, 60 inches wide, this one. Uh, just these shabby sheet linens. Just the shabby sheet linens. Uh, all the others are 44, like usual. Have we got a little, like a little cushion or something? Well, no, I can't lean on Delphine's cushion. She goes mad when I do that. Only because I can just feel my elbow keeps banging on the table. And I'm... Oh, yeah, that will do. It might be a bit big, that. It's just like that. There you go. There you go. Right, okay, so now we've got the uh, linen, linen coloured with the brown spots. That's not going to spoil your picture, is it, Charlie? Oh, no, there you go. Oh, brilliant. What fabric's it made out of? Oh, hang on, well, let's do the graphics for this one first. Um, ZPUI39. No, that's next. That's a heart you're looking at. Georgina says, thank you, you've got our pleasure, that's what we're here for, Georgina. Or oh, Mr. Helen's message, Helen says, morning, John and team. Oh, hang on, Julie said, sorry, I've been seeing my decorator in and making him a cuppa. What, Julie Vaughan, what you haven't painted? Hey. 
I bet she lives in a really posh house, Julie Vaughan. Message on my bottom. Great deals, John. Want to wish you and everyone a Merry Christmas from Lorraine in Kempshire. Thank you, Lorraine. That's crazy Lorraine, isn't it, that one? I thought, well, I just read it out from here, didn't I? Oh, look, Charlie made this bag. Is it one of Lisa Lambs? Lovely. Moving on. Right, now we've got the hearts. Well done, Charlie. I thought it was a surprise, though, for hats. She'll be watching later. She always watches my shows. Anyway, look, which one do you want? Pink or grey? Grey, U-C-U-I-O-8. Five ninety-nine. No, it's not five ninety-nine. Six inches wide. Julie's having her hallway and her lounge done. It's very close to Christmas. We're having decorating done. Oh, we're all going round to Angie's later. Gingerbread cake in the oven. I love gingerbread cake. Can watch you properly now for forty minutes. Is how long it takes to cook? But surely you should be like the people at Starbucks. You're making the next one now ready. So when you take that one out of the oven, the next one's ready to go in. Gingerbread cake. Is that like parking? Is it like parking? Oh, oh hang on. Just tuning in before I head off my routine blood test. Oh, Michelle. Uh, then prepping for our Christmas party at work with little people. I'm a childminder. Ah, oh, I thought you were talking about Charlie. I was going to say, Charlie, you didn't say you're going to a party. Ah, oh. there we go. Now, Charlie, you know you're in the gym every day building your muscles, right? You know the lovely cleaner in the morning with dark hair? Her son was in yesterday and he's at university at the moment. He was here working in his summer holidays. And he was like a fit, you know, lad and everything, young lad. He's come back and he's like a muscle bound. And I went like this, oh, someone's been hitting the gym. And he got all kind of like, because oh, his mum was there, you know. And he's like, oh, hello, look at your muscles. And he's like, sharp, sharp. And he's like kind of did all that. K-E-U-I-98. So you've got competition there, Charlie. And he's tall as well. And he's younger than you as well. Had to dash the door. As your, oh, brilliant. Julie's had delivery from the Long River this morning. Uh, yes, like in parking. Oh, I don't like stolen. Stolen biscuits ready to go in afterwards. Stolen. That's got a lot of nuts in it, hasn't it, Stolen? Don't do nuts. It's what? Oh, he's got marzipan. Well, that's nuts, isn't it, marzipan? Stolen, it's like... Um, uh, German uh, Christmas cake thing, but she's doing biscuits. They won't have any butterflies on them. Anyway, moving on. I've only got a couple more of these left to do now. I've got pink roses and script. Uh, hang on, let me find the label. Oh no. It's got Cree. Oh, here you go, here you go, here you go. H S U I 24. I think it's French actually. C'est à toi que je pense. Oh. Il est arrivé un ange. Oh, I wonder what that means. Now I've got toi. La joie de vivre. Oh, yeah. No nuts, fruit and marzipan, she says. Oh, okay. Marzipan's got nuts in it. Morning, John and crew. Wishing you all a very happy Christmas. Gary's been given... Fantastic news. Oh, brilliant. From the hospital. So now looking forward to Christmas. Oh, Karen, that has been such a worry, hasn't it? He's been at this hospital, at that hospital. But he's been looked after brilliantly. He's been looked after fantastically. But it, was, it wasn't, it wasn't, you know, not, I wasn't saying it was looking bad, but it was serious, wasn't it? It was quite serious. Now, I love this one. I, the first time I saw this one was yesterday. I'm surprised there's any left because unless they put, shared it in half from yesterday and today, M H U I thirty two. I got oh yes, yeah, only half the stock now. Should be five ninety nine. Two ninety nine. Beautiful. Two pounds ninety nine. Now hang on, what day is it today? So I thought, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you stay at this year. Gorgeous, 2 99 I love it. I love that print. Beautiful. So you didn't do Secret Santa, did you? Did you do Secret Santa, Charlie? Did you do it, Ben? Oh, honestly, what's the matter with you all? Why? Oh. 
Two ninety-nine. Oh. Well, yeah, hopefully you've made them. Ben's made all of his presents for all of us. Oh. Yeah. There you go. Right, now where are we going next then? Oh, got 15 minutes, yeah, I'm all right. Shall I just shout out a number? I'll just work my way through them here. MIUI42. It's a tealy green... Is this a Hannah Basic, this one? I can't remember if it is or not. Oh, uh, uh, oh no, they just called it um, Quilters Coordinates. Checkers, this one. Straight down, not five. Now, we're back to 44 inches wide now. 44 inches wide, this. What? Oh, I've not had a hobby maker present. What did you get? Oh, oh, tips, not a gift, sorry. Charlie's muttering this morning, hungover. You still drinking your, um, what's it, not gluten-free, what's it called, alcohol-free Guinness? Yeah, you, I, 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 cause I thought you'd be better, because I, I was going to get you some for Christmas. But no, I couldn't find it anywhere. Went to Waitrose, went to Tesco's, went to Sainsbury's. No, Tesco's didn't have any in. Oh, uh, OK. Well, I'm not going there now. OK. But it wasn't there. They've, they've got Guinness. Because like, I don't drink this, so I don't know. Guinness made with coffee. Is it coffee-flavoured Guinness, then? O-F-U-I-O-1. This is the same fabric, but in a very, very bright green now. Two ninety nine. £2.99. Well, I know coffee's very popular. You see now how much Nespresso Charlie drank. Oh, no, don't mind. Don't mind at all. That's why I put it out for you. Lowe's watching on a tour of Scotland. Is that Carol? Is she in pain? Is she falling over? What's she, what are they doing next door? What's the matter with Carol? Is Laura's in? What's the matter with Carol? Is she in pain? Festive. She's what? Oh, she's being festive. Oh, that's singing. I thought I'd, have I made that much noise when I fell over the other day. I'm fine, thank you, Laura. What are you doing in so early? Traffic. Traffic? That means she makes you later if there's traffic. Oh, you left early. All right, then. It's Laura who's producing Hobby Maker. Don't forget to send your menu in. She never sends a menu in. Right, now I've got Psychedelia, BLU178. Lovely. Ten minutes left. Oh, now Julie says, I haven't crocheted for years, but I'm making adventures in crafting, snuggle up and loving it. Lowe's in, in oh, in, I said she was in touring Scotland. She's in Inverness at the moment. Now, I don't think I've ever been to Inverness. Oh, Ben's going there for a wedding next year. I've been to Perth and I've been to Glasgow and I've been to Edinburgh and I've been to Kinloch Burphy and I've been to Fort William. They were all places I filmed when I did films and everything. Uh, now I've got Love Hearts on pink. We'll tell you, we're jumping all over the place now, aren't we? W-I-U-I-09. This is pretty. Oh, get this ready for Valentine's Day. It's Valentine's Day in about eight weeks' time. Less than that. Oh, actually, what date is it today? Do you know what? Tomorrow, summer's on the way. 21st, the shortest day, isn't it? So from tomorrow, the days start getting longer. Oh, Becky's looking at me like a man. So today is the shortest day, right? So it's still 24 hours, but it's the shortest amount of daylight. So from today onwards, the days start getting longer and it starts getting lighter again at night and in the morning. We won't come to work in the light for a long time yet. <laughs> Because just as we start doing that, they make the clocks move, don't they? And then it all gets confusing again. Anyway, look at this. This is gorgeous. 44 inches wide. Yep. Yeah. And we'll just make sure you're not on that shift the next day. Then we've got typing letters in mustard. I-D-U-I-68. 
This is like a typewriter who's gone a little bit crazy. Goes 2 dollars 2 dollars Has Susie arrived yet? Honestly, where is she? You'll have to do it then. Okay, now I've got the same fabric but in pink now. O-A-U-I-20. Oh, I like this pink. Beautiful. Oh, my, uh, my, um, what they called? Uh, subtitles have got stuck. Honestly, what's going on today? Can't get the people to type quick enough, can you? Right, get that. That's what I thought used to happen. I thought it was somebody who was typing the words. When you watch the news and the subtitles, I thought it was somebody in the other room typing. Right, R, R, no, I'll start again. R, Y, U, I, 96, musical notes. I started watching last night before I went to bed. Top of the Pops 1978 came on, Christmas special. <gasps> Boney M, Paul McCartney, Mall of King Ty No, well, he wasn't a Christmas album, it was a roundup of the whole year. 2.99, 2.99, 44 inches wide. Quilting weight, machine washable, 100% cotton. It was, they were singing Rasputin. But they, they had four number ones that, in 1978. And I just looked back, I was 18. I was 18 and we're, oh, do you know what? I had such a brilliant time. N-T-U-I-89. That's a lovely blue, isn't it? I've had an awful lot of Christmas cards this year, which are just emails, and I don't like those. Well, you can't hang them up, can you? Morning, John. Could you wish me a happy birthday? No celebrating. I've got COVID. Marie. Oh, Marie in Swansea. Borada. Uh, Diochenvauer. No Dolly Cloud. I don't know what happy birthday is actually. Someone has told me once, but it's quite long, isn't it? The happy birthday one. Anyway, this should be five ninety nine. Yeah, that's you, Crash. Ooh. Ooh, I'm gonna have to eat something this break. Who's it? It's Delphine next day, isn't it? Oh, I can just let her get on with the demo and I'll have my breakfast while she's sewing. Bit early for the cheese board. I've got my mini baby bell, but that's for later. I've got, I've got a lemon gluten-free muffin. I might have that. ZQUI29. I've only brought one, you see. So if I have it now, there won't be one for later. Yeah, I've definitely brought the lemon one in. I checked. Geoblender in Sky. Uh, Geoblender, now they looks like, are they leaves or are they part stars? Maria. Morning, John. Sorry to hear you at your arm. What happened? I missed it. Oh, Maria. Maria, social media. There's over a thousand messages. I'm so touched by all your messages, by the way. We had an accident at work. I know, management, obviously. Right, so yesterday I got home. Flowers from the management. I've only been in here all day. Flowers from the management. And the big, big top manager, Colin, sent me a text. <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> yeah. I haven't mentioned if there's, you know, where there's a blame, there's a claim. I haven't mentioned that. S-T-U-I-32. Um, oh, we had a, it's nobody's fault, it was nobody's fault. And it hasn't, it's the trouble is it hasn't made me incapable of doing my job or anything like that, so it's fine. And I was due to have three days off, I just didn't do the social things. I could sue for all the social things that I didn't get done, couldn't I really? But you know what I mean? I'm blaming little Paul for not putting the wires away. Two nights. I would say little Paul. Also, also, I'm not sure what little Paul's up to. But if you walk past his desk, there's boxes and boxes and boxes of like control underwear. You know, like I want to say Spanx, but it's not Spanx, it's a different make, you know what I mean? But of that underwear, loads of it all round his desk and everything. I don't know. Don't know what he's up to. He's obviously looking forward to the Christmas party. Right, yeah? Make him stand better as well, wouldn't it? Make him stand a little bit taller. YSUI72. I'm going to have to go in a minute. I'll do these last three and then I'm going. Static clouds, this one on move. 
You'll have to stop wearing your high heels at work. Well, no, I have my big workman's boots on because we were in prep. Uh, anyway, two ninety nine. Two ninety nine. Two ninety nine. Right, two more and then a break. All the others that are in pre order after the show, they won't be done till after the show, they'll all be crashed as well, won't they, Ben? Afterwards, yeah, because there's too much to do in the break and everything's in there. <gasps> Love this one. Is this one. Oh, sorry, sorry, I didn't give you the number. Yeah, oh, 09, yeah. Uh, yeah. Static clouds in pink, yeah. You know where it's going? 2 99 Fabulous. Did you fall, John? No, I didn't fall. I tripped. There's a difference. They obviously thought, they tested me for, they, they made me do that, that when I got to the hospital. And can you lift this arm? Can you lift that arm? Can you lift this leg? And I went, it's my head. It's my head. But anyway. Anyway, look, they were fantastic. I'll say, have nothing said against, against the NHS. They were brilliant. Hannah kept texting me saying, why don't you just go to Costa? And I was like, um, it's not that kind of A&E department. Oh, sorry, number. 83, yeah. And then they're going for a break after this. This is a lilac floral. Lilac flowers should be 5 99 2 .99. 2 .99. Go and check my Facebook. You'll see all the details on there. 2 .99. I know it wasn't filmed. People have asked if they can see the footage. It wasn't filmed. However, yesterday, I realised there's a camera in that studio there exactly where... Because it didn't happen in this studio. It happened in that studio there. There's a camera exactly where I tripped, right? So if somebody switch that on by accident then it would have all been on it would have all been on you'd have seen hannah stamping her feet and going looking for the accident book you would seen becky as white as a sheet just passing me tissues like this i oh, know it's all right i'm all right though i'm all right right we, oh morning susan says morning everyone i'm back in norfolk for christmas with the family oh how lovely right graphics out uh don't go anywhere straight after break delphine is here Oh, look at what we're doing. We've got, the, the, we've got repeat of the cushion that she did before. That one. And that's all uh, jute and, and calico and everything and felt. And we've got this one in denim. Beautiful. Don't go anywhere. We'll see you in four minutes from now. Merry Christmas, everybody. Um, thank you ever so much for all the support that you've given me in 2022. And I cannot wait for 2023 to bring you all the new designs on Seven Street. Happy New Year, everybody, and have a fantastic Christmas from me, Becky Alexander Frost. Bye. Are you a fan of Sewing Street? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your mates, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing community. See you there! Hello everyone, I'm Delphine Brooks. I've been part of the Sewing Street family now for over a year and it's been the most incredible journey so far. Some of you may already know that I like all things sewing, anything from quilting to toy making, needle felting and of course applique which is my favourite. The best thing about being part of the show is being able to share with you my imagination and bringing you new ideas and new designs and patterns and seeing how you interpret those designs and make your own work and then sharing your images of those is the most rewarding part for me. I'm currently working on lots of new ideas and exciting projects that I cannot wait to bring to the show and share with you all. But in the meantime, take care everyone and happy sewing. Make sure you tune in this Thursday for the brand new launch of Liberty Fabrics. Join Vix and Susie Duncan for the next instalment of the Flower Show Collection with 15 designs available and fat quarter bundles. We'll be bringing a neutral palette of soft moss greens, buttercup yellows and pale blush pinks, which sit harmoniously against cooler greys and charcoals. 
Make sure you tuned in this Thursday at 9am on Sewing Street. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet. Then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere. Browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals. And message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. If you're a Sewing Street customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP, even if you check out multiple times in one day. Delphine's here. Say hello, Delphine. Hello. Oh, hang hello. on. There she is. There she is. Oh, there I am. Hello. Yeah. You have to wait because you have to press the button. You can't. Oh, you know. okay. Hello, everyone. You come as Adamant today. Of what? Is who? A Adamant had a top like that. Who's... Don't you know who Adamant is? No. Prince Charming. Prince Charming. <laughs> it's no? all trendy, all the military look now. Is it? Yeah. Oh. Well, according to Mint Velvet, it is. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm behind on the thing. Fashion guru, no. Right, I need to tell you something straight away. Both of the kits in this hour are absolutely flying out already. A third of the stock of this one's gone already and I haven't even shown you the graphics or anything. So Delphine was in on... Oh, I can't remember. She won't know. Bring the graphics in, we'll tell you what date they were. Right, so you get the kit to make this cushion. 1999. Say that again. Oh, is it, have we got, has it got different fabric in it from last time then? Mm. Right, let's just have a look. Let's just have a look because there's no history of it. Is it different fabric? No. Oh, no. Anyway, it's 1999. We'll have to, if any of you know what date Delphine did this, can you text in? Because Ben's got no information on his computer and she, <laughs> she doesn't know what she was doing I, yesterday, I let alone. Know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, we'll, we'll look it up in a minute. What's the matter? Oh, it was done in November. November, says Becky. Anyway, it was on with me. Anyway, look, 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 look. So what you get, what you get in this bundle for your 19.99 is, here you go. So uh, you've got rustic home sheep cushion uh, instructions. Oh, overhead, overhead, overhead. Oh, it's because I've got so used to not having it. Can you come in closer though, please? Thank you. So you get the instructions in there and everything. We'll find you the date, because we're not going to demo this one today. We'll find you the date of, that we did it on. Then you get your uh, half a metre of calico. Then you get your felt, your three different felts there. You get your jute, uh, and you get your canvas, and you get the this, and you get the plaited. £19.99, that one. 11th of November. Oh, 11, 11. Oh! That was it. Was it? Yeah, I suppose that sounds, yeah, that rings a bell. I think I was, yeah, I was. In fact, I was wearing this top because I was, it was Remembrance Day. And I didn't mention, was it me? me? Yeah. I don't remember commenting on your top. Oh, I'm sure day. you commented on something, John. You be careful, your microphone doesn't rub on your um, frogging. Oh, yeah. Anyway, we'll let you know, we'll let you know. Right, that's to make this, that's to make this. We're not doing a demo on this one today. That's to make this one at 19.99, right? Now, today's kit... Now, it's funny, because during the show, I said to Delphine, oh, this is a lovely in denim. And she kind of did this face at me like that. And afterwards, she went, the next design is made of denim. Look at this. 
Oh, it's only 16.99 this one. 16.99, right? How beautiful is that? So you can you will get the kit, the bundle to make this. Let me show you. For 16.99. So let's have a look at the instructions first of all. Let me get in the right place. There you go. So there's the instructions. As always with Delphine's, lots and lots of written instructions and picture instructions. Everything you need to know there. And then there's all your templates and your placement guide, not to size, not to scale. All your bits that you need there. Everything you need is on there. That's your instructions. And then what you get in here is you get half a meter of your calico. Which doesn't tell you how much, look, it just says calico. You get your felt, your white felt, and then you get your three fat eighths of denim, of the three different coloured denim there, for $16.99. Now these will be big fat eighths because the fabric's wider, look. Oh, yeah, look, that's a fat eighth. Normally they're about that big, aren't they, a fat eighth? So you get, because the fabric's much wider, you get a bigger fat eighth. So you get your three fat eights, your calico, your felt, and your instructions, $16.99. Now you will, you will need to embellish with this, right? So I've got two bundles of embroidery thread. I think one's for one and one's for the other. So I'll do this one first. I think this one must be for the denim, which is 623, 6623. And you get a dark blue, a pale blue, and a white. For four forty nine. Denim, yeah, denim rustic home. There you go. So that's for this one. That's for this cushion that I've just shown you. For the other cushion, I've got this one here, which is the six six five nine. That's for your other one. Sorry, I should have shown that when I was doing it earlier. Beautiful. And you'll need some bond web. Now, if you might already have, and in the last, in Delphine's last hour, we've got the big box of bond web. But if you haven't, if you're just going to, if you've not done it before, and you just want to try it out, then this is perfect. This is, this is big enough, isn't it? Yes. This piece here. Two ninety nine. that's your bond web. That's your fusible. Right, that's all I'm going to show you for now. We'll get on with the sewing, and then I'll keep, I'll keep you up, up to date of how stock's going. Right, okay, I'll put this back up here, and just if you need it, just grab it, Delphine. Right, so where do we start then? Uh, right, so your instructions with your bundle web. So obviously you've got, these are the ones I've just printed off. So the only thing I really want to point out to you now is you've got three different hills on the back page. Uh, one is obviously the one in the foreground, one's the water and the other one is the, um, I suppose, the sand in the, in the, um, in the foreground. So as you can see, they're all colour coded. So the re the, we've done it in a way, in fact, let me show you. So there's a little join on the template. So if I just, for example, choose the black one, this the hill that's in the background, what you'll do, draw on your glue side of your web, trace over one area, and then you'll see there's a dotted line like a little hash mark because the other part of it is at the bottom there so all you do is line up and then that will be one hill and then you've got you've got two others so just make sure that you match up on the hash line with the black to the black the red to the red blue to the blue perfect um donna says it was the 11th because i recorded it and princess says her 780 arrived yesterday it's huge i, I told you it would be I told you it would be Right. So that's that bit. So that's yes. the only thing. But everything else is really simple. Oh, so, okay then. So I'm going to put everything on. Yes. And then we'll go through different ways of embellishing Perfect. it. Perfect. Lovely. And also how to create those waves. Yes. Yeah, because that's fun. That looks like my jeans in 1982. That was the year I was born, John. 1992. <laughs> Were you born in 1982? I was, yeah. I was 22. <laughs> You're not going to be my dad. I know, thanks. <laughs> Hang on, 82, where was I in 1982? Col uh, no, I wasn't in Mercury Theatre Colchester. 82 was a year, I, I just, oh, I'll tell you where I was. I was at Theatre Clues in Mould, just about to go to, or was it York? Yeah, just about to go to York Theatre Royal. That's wow. where I was. Anyway. Crikey me. So you press your piece of calico, do I have to cut the calico to a certain size? Yeah, yeah. Is there enough then in the half metre to do the back and the front of the cushion? There is, there is enough to do the back, um, or you, you get so much denim 
that oh you can patch your back that you can patch the back so um i go through all of the instructions of the, the exact side i use the denim because yeah really can i yeah yeah yeah, yeah 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 because really even though you've got three denims you've actually got six shades oh of course so i also use the back of the denims as well right. so if that's one you see that they're two different shades yeah and the same when i've done the water as well i actually use the back because it's lighter so you've actually got six colors six different shades of blue yeah. yeah exactly yeah. so i do go through the instructions of the exact shade for which one so i talk about you know if you're wanting the dark side you obviously press your bond web on the wrong side but yes. i also talk about putting it on the right side to cut it out the okay. other way do you know what would be brilliant as well it's once you've made this you've got the pattern you could use your old jeans yeah. If you're going to make another one, you could just use old jeans, old denim jackets, old, you know, upcycling it's called, isn't it? Yeah, and definitely yeah. keep hold of anything like that because, yeah. oh, you, you, jeans I use for needle felting through or patchwork. Oh, do you? Yeah, yeah, because it likes, when you do needle felting landscapes, it likes um, a loose weave and denim is one of the best things. For I watched a bit of um, Kirsty's um, homemade Christmas last night. I only watched about five minutes of it because Nicholas Ball was on it. You know, lovely Nicholas Ball who's been on here. Anyway, um... I didn't see his bit because I'd moved on by then, but they had three, four ladies making Christmas wreaths mm. and the first lady was a needle felting lady. Oh, really? Yeah. No, I haven't done it. She's any. making a donkey or something like that. I can't remember. I didn't watch it. But. I haven't done any for ages. I started a landscape back in the summer, but I've not done yeah. anything with it. Hers were like the 3D sort of animal shapes and things. Oh, like. right. Okay. Yeah. No, I'm more, I'm, I'm in 2D. Yeah. yeah. 2D. But then my friend Michelle, she makes all three, 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 D shapes and everything from it as well. Oh. It's the same thing. You just, you it's exactly the same. Yeah, yeah. But you make it into round. Also, I've uh, on, one, on a couple of the pieces, I quite like to use the raw edge. Oh, okay. So because you that, tell us that in the thing. Or yeah, not? yeah. And because when you put it on like that, it almost looks like there's the way. Oh wow! Country. Yeah, straight away. Yeah, clever, isn't it? That looks like when we go on holiday to Catalonia. If we sit on the balcony of our house, there's another island across the water, yeah. and it's so lovely in the evening just to sit there and watch the water. Lovely on yeah. the beach, on the and you can't see any people or anything like that, but just to see the break, the break, the sea break. What do you call it? Waves breaking onto the rocks on the other island. Yeah, so it's going to be all about waves this morning. because yeah. we're going to. I'm going to show you little tricks of if this is, you know, obviously basic applique, but it's it's just teaching. A, playing around with different materials yeah, exactly exactly and just making things i really like a lot of texture at the moment i'm going through a bit of a texture phase oh are you? yeah yeah just coming up with lots of different getting broody oh no <laughs> <laughs> no okay. no i've had my babies well you still get broody i can get broody can you yeah no no definitely not no I've done that been there yeah definitely not all right, nest bit. All right, not broody nest building then for the winter. Yeah, I suppose. Textures, warm, yeah. cosy. Yeah, I'm sure it means something, yeah. doesn't it? But no, I'm just going through a bit of a texture <coughs> phase at the moment. Oh, blue sun. Yeah. Mm. Why not? Why not, indeed. I've got blue sand, John. Oh, is that sand? Yeah. Oh. It could be whatever you want it to be. So I'm going to do my boat. So the boat's done in two halves. So I've tried to think about the shade of where the light's going to catch. So yeah. it's just going to make it a bit of a more rounded composition. Oh, yes. So that's my boat. I'm going to put my boat there. I'm not going to glue it down yet. Let me just check my piece of coffee. I'm just going off. Yeah, that's that. And then you've got these two other bits. That's my flag. I don't need that bit just to make the boat a little bit more interesting. Uh -huh. It's a nice little project, especially if you, you know, over Christmas, sit and do a bit of this. Yeah, definitely. And every, if this is so achievable for anyone to do. <coughs> but also you're, you're taking them through all of these steps at the beginning. Mm -hmm. And then later on, they can, if you're at home, you can think, oh, Delphine did this. I might try this or I might yeah, try that. So you absolutely. can learn different yeah. techniques. Of course. <coughs> Excuse and me. That goes, that's me pole. Yeah. And then... Mast, uh, I think it's called. The, yeah. Well, I don't know. I don't know boats. Don't you? <laughs> yeah. Weren't you in the Navy? <laughs> no, it's in the Air Force. Same thing. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> 
The only boats I know is cruise ships. I like a cruise ship. We're going on another cruise in May. Oh, yeah? Where are you going? We're doing the fjords again this year. Oh. Next year. Yeah, next year now. Yeah. yeah. You're taking the kids and everything? Oh, the kids love cruising. Yeah. No. It's really good for the kids. Is it? Yeah. Because there's loads of kids' clubs. You wake up in a different port every day and... Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. No, oh, kids love it. We've been. Do you have a balcony view? We had a balcony the first year. <coughs> we were really lucky. We were right on the bow of the ship the oh, first wow. time. Oh wow! The went. bow, the front of the back. F front. <laughs> front. Okay. Yeah, yeah, because the back's the stern, isn't it? I don't know. I thought you'd know all of that, John. Why? I don't know. Because she. Yeah. No. I got seasick on the Royal Iris on the Mersey side when we were at school. We went on the Mersey, went on the Royal Iris, or was the Royal Daffodil or whatever, and that got seasick. On the Mersey River, River oh. Mersey. No, I don't get seasick. We did have um, the last cruise we went on. Um, it was pre-COVID, and we went through um, a storm, and we the whole ship listed, and uh, it was really quite scary. Even the captain on the uh, on the what's tannoy. it tannoy, he said, you know, take one hand for yourself and one hand for the ship, and we were walking, and it was like this. And we went to our cabin and the ho we were literally looking at the water. <gasps> um, we've got a video, there was the re in the restaurant, there, there was uh, all the, the swimming pool on the top deck to sort of empty. No, no, my next door neighbours went on one and they yeah. took a video of the swimming pool and the water was going all over yeah. the place. Yeah, and then there was plates crashing, yeah. people falling well, you're over. you on the same boat, on the same ship. Right, it was really bad, it yeah. was like a gale force. Yeah. It was like a, um, there's a number, isn't it, when it's a gale force. Yeah. But it was really bad. The thought of the kids did, were really quite little, so they didn't really. No, they didn't oh, really no. notice. But there's, we've we've got a video of it. But you, I mean, obviously scary. you're safe, but you kind of think if if it's rocking that much. Right, stock update. The denim one, third of the stock of the denim one has gone, and we had lots of these. I tell you what, we had lots of these. So a third of the stock has gone, and the sheep over half the stock of the sheep have gone. That's the sheep, nineteen ninety nine. That'll make you. This one, there's your sheep one there. 1999, that's your sheep one. Over half the stock of that one's gone. And 11th of November, if you want to go and watch it on YouTube. And then the denim one, which is up there, 1699. Now you see, when I say over a third of the stock, that's hundreds have gone. Hundreds have gone. Right, that's Duffin. Hang on, have you still only using denim or have you used any, I any felt? I yet? haven't used, the only thing I've used for my felt is my flag. Okay. And then I'm going to come over to my seagulls in a minute. So I'll, okay. it will get more interesting in a minute. Right. I know you're just watching me cut out random bits. Of no, that's fine. But all these shapes are all in the pattern anyway, so we've not, we're not, one. you've not left them high and dry or anything. No, no, every single one is in the kit. So use your placement guide for the positioning of the... Oh, Great. now, Amanda's going on a fjord cruise in April. When did you say you were going? May. Oh, you, she'll be getting off as you get on. Yeah. yeah um, and May. Julie Vaughan says, morning, Delphine. Morning, morning. That's it. There we go. So I've just, make sure you use your placement guide to position. Do you know they're called groins? Is that what they're called? Yeah, because I said earlier, oh, these got a special name. I think they're called grockles. And somebody mentioned, no, they're called groins. Oh, I just call, I've just called them sea breaks in the... Sea breaks. Break, water breaks. you did your oh, research. Oh, I don't know what they're called. <laughs> I was writing it and then I was just like, what were they, what are they called? So usually with my patterns, I usually um, put a little bit on, sew it, do a little bit more, sew it. But this one, you can put it all on. Oh, okay. Right, let's have some seagulls. We were filming a, a Poirot once called the ABC Murders, right? And we were filming on a beach one day. So I got all everyone ready up at the truck and everything. I wandered down to the set, which was on the beach. And then I could see the crew over there. So I just walked across the beach, the crew, and they just spent hours raking it. So it was all beautifully, sh so they could shoot it. So I can unwalk on bit. And there's my footprints of me walking. So they had to re, re um, rake the whole beach. That's a lot of effort, isn't I it? I know, I wasn't popular that day. And I was like, they were waving at me. I'm like, I am, um, just coming now. And they were like, just get <laughs> off the sand. I'm like, yeah, I'm on my way. <laughs> so with the birds, I'm just put the, the, the felt on. So the felt is the body, is it? And then the wings are yeah. the denim. Yeah, the wings are the denim. And then just make, oh, and just make sure you leave a little gap because I stitch the feet and the beak on. Oh, okay. 
Oh yes, it looks like he's hovering at the moment. Yeah. So I'm just putting him on like that. See, it comes together quite quick, this one. There we are. That's my last details for now. And yeah. then... Will you be doing any sewing? Yep. I'll be doing quite a lot of sewing in oh, this. Oh, good. Yeah, good. I'll be doing lots of sewing today. Yeah. Because I'm going to show you all the different techniques. I'm going to show you straight stitch, free motion, Brilliant. blanket stitch, hand stitch, the lot. So, that's it for now. Right. Oh, no, I knew there was a... That was annoying me. Oh, what's that bit? I had uh, one of my stones. It didn't look right there. So, there we go. There's my last one. So, there's all the bits that you're going to put on first. Right. And you're just going to go round and stitch them down with... I've, I use a blanket stitch. I know it's not everyone's favourite. But if you're new to a PK, just stick with a zigzag stitch. Yeah. Oh, I'm a bit messy, John. I'm just going to... There's a, you've got a bin. Don't throw it on the floor. Oh, yeah. oh, half it went on the floor. I'll pick it up in a bit. There we go. So I haven't, no, I haven't done the waves yet. I'll come back to that. So okay. I just want to show very quickly. No, no. Um, Do you so know what? This would be good for a beginner because you've got really, really stable fabrics on there. You've got your calicos, yeah. your basis, and your uh, um, denim. Uh, both really, really easy to sew and work really with, aren't they? Easy. So fantastic for a beginner. If you've not done anything like this before, fantastic. For it would be nice hand sewn as well. I oh think. yeah, 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 yeah. It would look really yeah. nice if you've got the patience to do it. So go around zigzag stitch and everything. In fact, I did hand stitch down the seagulls, but you can do it. Oh, did you? I'm sure, I did. So I'll just do a little, just to hold it all down. And also, because you've also got the, the white threads running through the denim, you, you, you can hardly see your stitches. Right. So what thread have you got, sorry? White? I've just got white, um, and I'm just using zigzag stitch. So my go-to on this machine is the is mode two, number 43. Right. That's if you've got the L, the 720. Yeah. So I'm not doing any fancy stitch. You can just stitch it all down and leave so it So not that. free motion or anything, you're just doing a normal straight stitch and just following the edge of the denim? Um, this one, I've done a blanket stitch, but oh, I've just blanket, followed sorry, the edge stitching. of the denim. So I'm just going to sew around the main part of the boat and then we'll start yeah. adding a few details. Oh, now Marina thinks it looks like Lou Island. Is that where you got the... Um, the... Oh, Lou. I love Lou. We went there in um, in the summer. We I stayed remember. down in Lou. Yeah, because it was you that was telling me about all the different yeah. places to go to. I suppose it was actually inspired a bit like that, because I was looking through some of my old photographs of what where I've been in the summer. Yeah. And, also, uh, didn't you do some little, like, like miniatures? Was that where you did your little miniature paintings yeah, as well? Yeah, yeah, that's why I did my little mini ones. Not that I'm stalking you or anything. You can stalk me, John. Aww. Yeah, that's where, um, yeah, because I was torn between doing... Two lovers. <laughs> I was That's torn... a song, by the way. <laughs> I know. <laughs> not, I'm not accusing her of anything, it's a song. <laughs> So I was torn between doing um, this this one, or um, I did have a photograph on my phone of, oh, where was it? it down, down near Lou, and it was a gorgeous little seaside town. You know, when you're looking down the streets to all the different buildings and houses, oh, wow. I thought that would be quite nice. Yeah. I might do what that next time, I'll see. Did you go there, Ben? Ben thinks he went there when he went down to uh, Cornwall. He did a tour of Cornwall. Yeah, we're going to go again next year. What, with those little roads? Yeah. Well, I'm never going again. Nick towed the caravan down them. Oh, well, he's more of a man than I am. He, like, he doesn't mind towing. I, I, was, I don't know. I I spent... Towing's not the bad bit. So if, once if your bus comes, you have to re reverse oh, with a caravan on the back. There was, one, um, there was one of the days we were going down into, I can't remember it now, but it's, again, it's like a little seaside town not far away. Yeah. And it was a boiling hot day, and then there was, there was a car coming the other way. There was a, the road was blocked, and he completely burnt his clutch out going around down those roads. There was a bus coming the other oh. way. Luckily, we were all right. Yeah. 
So a, it'll have been Liskyard, no doubt. So, I've, yeah. Liskyard. That, miss, that there was also nice. Talon Bay, where Richard and Judy live, where the hotel, Is lovely it? hotel I stayed in. Yeah. Oh, I thought you no, meant I'm Richard, giving anything away. I thought you meant Richard and Judy from this morning. I then. do. Oh, right. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> That's the only Richard and Judy I always yeah, think yeah, of. Yeah, 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 yeah. They've got their oh, right. Talon Bay there, yeah. So I've just gone round a few bits there just to show you how Was it Foey, Mevagissi or Polpero? Polpero. Says Alison it, it Marion. Was, it was Polpero. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Lucy oh. Pixley says, beautiful project, Delphine. Really oh, enjoying watching you. you. Happy Christmas to all. Going to Australia in March and cruising the Pacific Islands, says Sharon. Oh, oh nice. Very nice. So, all I'm, you can use the straight stitch now to just yep. add a little bit of details to the boat. So, I'm going to do that. Gorgeous. Yeah, we've got ages. And then we'll... Oh, yeah, Marina said Polpero as well. And then uh, Susan says, morning, everyone. Upbeat John and Dynamic Delphine love the project. And my ex-neighbour loved the Staghead Delphine. Have a lovely Christmas. Aww. Can't wait to see what you've got lined up for the new year. That's a lovely message. Thank you very much. Yeah, that was Susan. Thank you. Merry Christmas to everyone. I oh, know, it's, fr it's frightening to think it's at the end of the week, isn't it? I know. I can't really think about it just yet. I'm ready for Christmas, but yeah. I've still got a lot of work to tire. I do your tree up and everything. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the boy. We had, we've had that up since the beginning. And have the boys been to see Father Christmas anywhere? No. No. Oh, do they not want to do that anymore? No. Okay. No, I'm just a bad mother. And just oh, yeah. Oh, them. just haven't taken them. They don't yeah. know that Father Christmas is in your local yeah, department the local store. garden centre. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the in-laws are looking after him to them both today. Your in-laws what? The in-laws are down, Ursh and Peely are looking after them both Oh, today. nice. I was going to say they'll be on holiday now, weren't they? Yeah. Not Ursh and Peely, I mean the kids. Yeah, the kids, yeah. So Nick's at work. He's ah, he's had to go away with work today. So. Oh, is he? Yeah, so he's in... It's not far, he's only had to go to Birmingham. It's not like the old days, is it, where everyone kind of winds down the week before Christmas. Everyone works right up until now, don't they? Yeah, I'll be working, right, I'll be working Christmas Eve morning, yeah. I think. So that's how I've just done a little straight stitch there on my boat for a bit of... Oh, yeah, to make it look like the planks. Yeah. No, but I thought, yeah, I didn't want to name it because I thought you could... Everyone else can have, like, you know, when you name a boat. Yeah. That you could stitch a little... Oh.